<laughs> what up and welcome on in. It's Saturday Night Sports and it's the afternoon edition here. We got ourselves some UFC popping off in just 10 minutes or so till first fight. We got ourselves a great sat. What a great day to live stream today, Jeff. We got March Madness starting 6.30 p.m., 9.30 games as well. We got the NHL, just a couple of days left in the National Hockey League. Major League Baseball's got a juicy afternoon and evening schedule for us. And, of course, the NBA. It's going to be a lot of fun. Going to get that cash. Got to start now. What's going on with you? Not too much. Whole lot going on. We got uh, Cage Warriors is rolling right now and uh, looking uh, looking forward, obviously, to the UFC card like usual. Going to be uh, going to be a good Saturday. Got a couple of golf plays out there. Love really, it. Love working here. everything we've today. Got, we've got two hockey games that are going to start at 3.30. We're watching this Tampa Bay-Pittsburgh game right now. Appreciate all you guys rocking with us out there in the chat, ready to roll. There's our guy, Real Deal Prime, says, somebody slap me. Real Deal Prime. Your saber slapped my flyers yesterday, and I'm still a little salty about it, but that's all good, man. It's all good. Congrats to you and your victory. Uh, yeah, not much more I can say about that. 716, real deal, Prime, man. They're getting ready for next year already. Let's go. Let's see what happens. My guy, Juggler23 in the house. Over the last three NCAA tournaments, the ACC boasts a record of 33 and 13. 33 and 12 against the spread on NC State plus nine. Me too, juggler 23 plus nine and a half plus five in the first half. I haven't sprinkled the money line out there. I know it's Purdue, but look, I got Purdue in an 0 and 9 spot. We'll talk more about that in just a little bit. Murky Bumps, there. We got the professional downhill skier in the chat right now. It says, let's get this cash. NCC has been made up of two or three teams. In that data relates to NC State, I see it not applicable, but I get it with NC State. I see UConn bossing them around, pulling away in the second half. Perky Bump says, need those A's and cards and Dylon in the house. Well, you guys know the deal. We're going to bring him in here. It's our guy. We're going to give him his intro music as well. Here we roll. Make that money. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what up, Dylan? What up, boys? What's up? Oh, you know, I'm ready to bet this fucking card. I looked at it yesterday briefly, and then this morning I was trying to put together some bets, and then I found the problem. I'm trying. Don't fucking try. So I'm not, I didn't place any bets pre-flop. I'm just going to watch this shit live, and we're going to smack the fuck out of it. Let's oh, yeah. do just that. Uh, my guy goaded in the house says, Mike, who we like in the Lakers game. I like the Lakers in this spot. I haven't looked at the NBA too much because I saw that they were kind of starting later, but I was looking at that side of things here. And uh, look, we've got plenty of stuff going on here today. It's going to be a lot of fun. Listen, I said this earlier. I was talking to Jeff a little backstage. We're a little conflicted on this early upcoming NHL game, but we have four revenge spots in store today. When you're the home favorite, you lose. Now you're rolling out there on the road as the favorite in those revenge spots. As long as it's in the same season, very critical that it's in the same season. Huge margin of win advantage for those teams out there. We've got four of them today. We've got Florida. We've got New Jersey. We've got Philadelphia. And we've got Edmonton all in play in the revenge spots today. Edmonton won't lose. Yeah, Edmonton should beat them boys up. It's going to be fun to see. We got Jeff Rockin. He's got the Canadian hockey angles today. We'll hear him talk about those as well. But as far as the NBA, I really haven't uh, I really haven't delved too deeply into it just yet. So I will. Um, I, I was looking at that Sixers-Grizzlies game. I know that was one that I was kind of honing in on the over in that spot, but haven't made anything official yet. Just kind of riding out the string with some of these afternoon spots here. But let's, uh, let's talk about this first bite, fellas, here. We're just a few minutes away from this thing popping off. What's the story here? Let's pull it up. Let me get the uh, let me get the dashboard situated here so we can attack today. I attacked yesterday. Shout out to uh, them Arizona Coyotes. You know what? It's fucked up too. We were watching that Arizona Diamondbacks game, and uh, it looked like they had like a two run lead, but they must have taken one of them away because it ended up being a one run game, which meant my plus one and a half of plus one thirty cash. So that was a pleasant little surprise to wake up to today. Uh, as we, far we, as we got, to, we, we got, to, we got this first, this first fight's about to kick off. Uh, 
I'm on uh, Mullins by uh, by decision at uh, minus 125. It's a women's fight. That. Sorry, Mike, I didn't mean to cut you off, but it's literally what? about to start. Cornello, Cornolo, Cornolo, whatever her name is, has been staring down back-to-back -back split decision losses. You got to figure she needs to beat this girl up or bust in this spot here. Cornolo. Yeah. Now, I've, I've been a little astray with some of these spots here, so I don't want to get too out of uh, – out of the elk here, but I'm going to take a shot with her. I got her by decision. I'm going to take a little sprinkle on the KO as well, plus a thousand money for her to get the knockout there. Yeah. Woo. Woo. <laughs> Jordan says, Mike, is this only for Twitter? How I find this on YouTube? Uh, you know, inside the link that I sent, everybody has that too. I got to figure out a better way to promote this thing. Uh, there is a YouTube channel brewing. Uh, let me see. Let me see if I can find it here. I believe it's Mike M at Pimp Slap P O D is the YouTube channel goaded. And then you'll see down there, uh, we are streaming live on it. So appreciate you guys rocking here. Looks like we got almost 20 in on the YouTube side alone, let alone you guys watching us over on X. Love to see the comments. Trisha M in the house, Big Scott 510. Big Scott 510 says, LFG, Love Mikey, and Jeff, Scott. let's get paid. Victor Hugo, Walker, Moneyline, and Campbell, Moneyline's out there for our guy. Big yeah. Scott 510. Let's go, guys. Let's get into this thing. I just yeah, decided I'm purely I'm taking a, a number Hugo shot here. Well. I'm purely taking a number shot at 300 on this girl. No other reason than the number. Yeah, mine just kicked off 15 seconds ago. Hey, I, I didn't like the. Uh, I didn't like the. Well, I like the favorite Mullins, but uh, I, I, I just, I can't see her losing this one. So Mullins I again mean, with, the, with with the total being a, what minus 210 at the over two and a half. I don't know. Felt like it's the right play to take her uh, her by decision. Mullins. Yeah. Like you I said, minus one point five. Too, obviously not uh, anybody follows this deeply. It was Melissa Dixon before, and then she yep. got married. Now it's Tanya Mullins. So what up, Lee? It's good to see I you. We don't like those. Uh, I usually don't like those spots. I don't know why they seem to be moving forward in their lives and not paying too much attention to MMA. So. Does seem Fuck to be around and find out is what happens in that spot, Dylan. <laughs> Police says fight doesn't kid. go the distance at plus 120. I was thinking this is a sneaky KO spot, but we'll see. Cornol, Cornolo, Corn Julio. She's lost back to back fights by split decision. So certainly not enough to get the job done here. Mullins trying to have her way with her early, but a quick knee to the midsection by Cornol, Corn Julio. The great Corn Julio. Here for the TV. <coughs> When Dixon tries to take down, she gets the underhook in and defends. Well, we got another guest. <coughs> We're rolling, baby. Let's go. Let's bring him in. Let's give him a little cued up intro music as well here for our guy. You know the deal here. Everybody gets their intro. Let's go. I don't think you should be doing too much gambling tonight, Alan. Gambling? Who say anything about gambling? It's not gambling when you know you're going to win. Ah. Oh, in the house, baby. It's Who messes with us in? Hey, I'm uh, scaring around real quick. Oh, they're already off. My bad. But uh, I'm looking over here at Keeneland, uh, so we're gonna we're gonna bring some horses to the action. Let's go, what up, Jeff. What up, Mike? What up, Dylan? What up, what what up, what up everybody up? in the chat? Uh, beautiful Yo, Saturday here in the land. The sun's shining. It's a little brisk for some, but uh, here up in the in our in our part of the states. And in Canada, uh, Dylan would love this weather. We love this weather. Fuck it. It means spring's right around the corner. And it's hell yeah. The sun I, is out. Jump down again. Dominate. I was talking to Ick earlier this morning. I said, man, it's hard for me to focus here. I got the windows open. The sun's out. It's, uh, the, you know, it's a sh I can't, I'm distracted. I said, I had the attention span of a mosquito this morning as I was trying to catch the car. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Those were his exact <laughs> words. Mosquito. <laughs> But I am sweating out this two nine ten exacta box and two nine ten eleven chai box over here at Keeneland race five, and uh, they are racing. <coughs> they are racing. Keep us a prize <coughs> situation there. I will tell you shortly in some horse racing as well. I'm still trying to get situated here with oops, what's sorry. cooking. This looks like an uncomfortable position for. 
Sorry about that. Yeah, it's classic women's fight. Oh, oh, right as you said it, Cornhole gets the reversal. Let's go. Is that her official name? Two's out front. That's what I'm going to go with, Jeff. I think it's Come good. on, get up there. Cornhole. <laughs> Cornhulio. She's here for the teepee. It's going to be a two. She needs it for her butthole. Seven finish. Two fourteen seven. Real, real, real deal through the TP out there. <laughs> Wait, actually, oh, yeah. fourteen. I think I said eleven. All right, come on. Huh. Don't take a we shit now, Cornoli. We need you. There's nobody for that pun. All right. <laughs> I, I heard it. I'm it sorry. I'm all over the place. Yeah, I was, I'm, I was, actually, I'm, I was watching yeah. the Cage Warriors fight because that's a little more exciting than this uh, UFC fight. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It, it should be. This is terrible to start. What's up, Jeff? Haven't seen you since Tuesday night, my friend. You <laughs> were, uh, you brought the ruckus, you know. We'll, we'll just put it Jeff like that. Cut. You brought the ruckus. I was a problem. Style. It was a problem. <laughs> hey. Love Sorry everybody. about that. <laughs> Love you oh, too, man. <laughs> Let's get some. Well, uh, little entertainment goes a long way, you know. <laughs> Sorry about that. He says. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that wasn't me. That was Hefe. <laughs> that was his alter ego. Cactu Cactulio, man. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. It happens. Whoops. It happens. Whoops. Well, isn't the worst thing. The worst thing you did was drop a whole bunch of F-bombs. Yeah, yeah, no, that's what I was referring to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's like, yeah, yeah, that sounds like Sorry. Oh, no, 2 9 <laughs> and 14 try box. Let's go. Uh, Let's go. Like we are going to cash that. The 14 had a decent price on it. Let's see. Waiting for these uh, official results. The two got win it right out the gate. Fanatical yeah, Jim good. in the house. Let's get his action out there. Let's talk about what our guy Fanatical Jim is on here. He's got the book written out for us here. He says, what's up, boys? Here's his bets today. Uh, Randami by points. Almeida, money line. Peak money line. Walker by KO. Walker, Bob Menes. Money line parlay plus minus 114. Bob Menes, KO plus 190. And Matsumoto decision or sub. I like that Matsumoto spot. So do I. I, I like quite a few of those spots, but that one jumped Matsumoto. out. Matsumoto. Yeah, I really wanted to fade him, but the problem is I got Dan Argetta to fade him with. You know what I mean? But I think he's yeah, right. a bit of a gasser. I think this one should end in round two or three, actually. Unofficial. We got a 2 14 4 10. Ooh, a 31 to 1 came in third. Nice. Nice. Dick, my boy, my boy came in from the land uh, Thursday night. Hell yeah! Hey man, he's like, hey, can I crash at your house? I said, no, you know it. So he uh, he he stopped by with a couple of friends of his, but uh, he was at uh, he was at the Dingus Day. I saw you uh, shooting it out on uh, Twitter there. He was at the Dingus Day festival there. Oh yeah! Last Dingus night when you know, wish you were here as well. They're a great nice. Pink Floyd cover band. Where was that? You know, fun. Uh, that was actually in Akron. Okay, like a forty-five minute drive for me, but. Um, you know, I boozed it up. I wasn't driving. And, you know, those lasers, when those lasers are hitting, you know, I don't have to do it anymore. It just brought me right back to you know what. You know, I have a good time. <laughs> so. But they actually, uh, I, I actually in, in Rochester, they used to do this thing at the uh, auditorium where they do like the laser light show and they do the whole Pink Floyd album. I think it was the whole Wish We Were Here album, actually. That's awesome. Yeah. That'll bring, that'll bring you back. The good times for me. Some people don't know how to fucking hang. Or they're not mentally able to do this shit on the daily. Not drugs. I'm talking about capping and fucking smacking. Shout out to everybody in the chat. Smash that like for my guy, the pimp slapper, and Mr. Jeff, MMA Jeff. Shout out to you guys for giving us this space and uh, inviting us on to have a, you know, a hell of a Saturday. 
Oh yeah, absolutely. We got some shit rolling today too. Mike was going over when we started. We got some college basketball coming up. We got hockey rolling. Obviously, Mike. Tampa's down one goal now, 4-3, 12 minutes to go in that game as well. Court Wiley in the house. What up, Court? It's Mikey Money. Let's get this cash, bro. Let's get that cash. I'll tell you, uh, I'm going to take the Florida Panthers. I know uh, I just, Jeff and I don't necessarily see eye to eye there, but uh, that's okay. I'll ride with you. Fuck it. Can agree yeah, with I, agree. Yeah, I hate Boston, but I I like Boston at home. But uh, I'll ride. I got the uh, Panthers at uh, plus 100 here, so I'll take that. Yeah. I'm on that revenge spot, too. Fuck them. Fuck him. Fuck him. Fuck him is right. Go. Fuck him is right. And then I think we're going to do the Dallas Stars to win the first period, too. Oh, oh, kicked in the face. That's it. That's it. She knocked her out. Oh, 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 she kicked her right in the fucking face. Oh, oh, oh. Quick, quick plus a thousand. Kicked her right in the face. Holy shit, boys. Woo! Plus a thousand. Way to go. That is, that's why you take a woman purely on the numbers. <laughs> she had two splits. There was no way she was going to go to the judges this time around there. Let's go. Let's go. Big time casher. Kicked it right oh, in the face. Yeah, she took her live mic. That's crazy. I'll slam my drink to that and take a fucking Italy. Let's go. Oh, speaking of which, we got a guest backstage. Let's bring him in here. Let's uh, let's see what we got for our guy here. Ah, thanks. I needed that. <laughs> there he is. Picks from Dave in the house. What up, Dave? What up, Dave? I, I didn't realize 3 o'clock meant 3 o'clock your time, but I'm yeah, here. These uh, girls aren't wasting. How about this, Dave? Woman's fight, kicked her in the face, knocked her out. And I think it's a knockout, right? I mean, she kicked oh, her in the face. Oh, that's a headship fail. Yep. A little plus a thousand there, Dave. Kicked the day off. No, that's horrible. I parlayed both bitch fights in an over, so, so no thanks. Let's go. Damn. Fucking things you love to see. I wasn't yeah. on it, but I'm fucking happy for you, man. I want to see Let's everyone go. cash. Fuck the bookies. What up, Dave? What's up? So we meet again, my friend. So really, the I, I come late. The first fight, my bets are already dead. This day sucks. You know what I mean? The fight, the fight card just it's started. Dave, started, yeah. Dave. And we're alive. I don't care. About, I don't alive. care. But these fights suck. In fact, this the, the main events suck. that 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 puss with the ponytail. What's that guy's name? Yeah, I'm betting against him, Brendan Allen. Ponytail boy. Yeah. I think Allen's gonna sub him. He looks like every he. Well, pff, okay, that's going Never. off on that's going off on a limb, right? Um. He looks like every fucking guy that's been on MTV the past like five years and fucking their their challenge thing. He's got the bun. He's a good looking guy. I hate him already. He's a good looking guy. Look at Big Scott five ten says screw Mike. He has enough money. He had a twenty six to one parlay. <laughs> oh yeah, we hit that parlay last night, man. That was uh... <laughs> the best part. Not only that, but uh, smack those boys. The Red Sox got them live. Ended up hammering that Arizona Coyote spot as well. It was a great finish to the night. And it was one of those ones where I was laying in bed and I was trying to see the numbers. I couldn't see the numbers. I was cross-eyed. <laughs> yeah, cross you know yeah, so we are alive to the pick five. Race six, Keeneland. I got six, nine, ten as my next leg. In the pick five, uh, you can get in on um, a pick three here. Nora Cornhole doesn't shoot the bed. Well. Let's go. Cornholio, she's here Let's for the TP. TP for the bongo. Let's go, baby. Let's get that cash here. How about this 300 one? to start. Now I got that money to press on the rest of the UFC. Let's fucking go. What do we got? I'll tell you what we got. Yeah, she's moving, she's grooving. You know it, boys. Let's go. Oh, fuck, like let's go. Holy <laughs> oh, shit, Corn Julio. She needs that TP. Let's go, baby. Let's get that, that ball, baby. Hey, Lightning have just tied it up with the Penguins. Four, four, nine minutes left. They tied it up, they did. Four, four. 
Let's go. I laughed at them boys early, but it not not didn't expect it to go like this. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Let's have a day. Why not have a big day today? Right? It's oh. Saturday. Kicked her right in the fucking fuck. face. It's Saturday. Sticky. That knee just stung her, man. Two kicks to the face. Miss that. I'll tell you, this card, though, does appear on surface to be a little bit tricky. Uh, a lot of low price spots here, which means, generally speaking, I would just be taking a lot of dogs here when they're like minus 140 or less. You almost go to the dog in that That's spot. But, I'm going to shoot for dogs today for sure. Dude, a dog. But I'm going with this uh, Budka by decision in this next fight. Budka decision. Uh, plus 170 spot there. Let me see what FanDuel has here. Maybe I better be switching books. I need Jeff to yeah, come I'm back go here. against him too. I'm on the kickboxer, Cesar Almeida. So the reason I like Budka is because, well, as the favorite, we got this thing, the over is juiced. And Budka is a low volume type of guy, so... He wants to kind of control the ring time. He wants to go out there and just see what the judges have to say about his performance. And I thought that was a good opportunity to take this guy by decision. So that's where I'll be. Fui Mathis is that. Well, Jeff's not here. We're waiting for Jeff to come back. Budka points plus 190 on FanDuel. I'm going to have to gas up the FanDuel account here. Pop this one open. Budka. Can I get a Budka and Red Bull? <laughs> yeah, let me get a Budka and Red Bull fucking lickety split. I'll tell you what. Always nice to start that fucking first fight out like that. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah, it is. I'm I'm with you, Mike Dillon. Budka by points. They think this this is going to go over. It's juiced way the hell the two and a half to the over. So um, I'm with you. Minus two eighty. Yeah, yeah. Those are things we like to celebrate, Perky. Um, it's a great it's a great comment. There's a lot of uh, negativity in the world, and you know what? Let's uplift each other. And celebrate, oh, yeah. celebrate life victories. And uh, he was saying, Dave, you are the man. You look great. Stay sharp. Hell yeah. I feel the same way. Um, <coughs> yeah, keep killing it, my brother. <coughs> Excuse me. Thank you. Thank you, Perky. I don't know if you're trying to hit on me, but that's fine. Not wouldn't be there the first. He He's wouldn't still, be the first. still alive and well. <laughs> wouldn't be like the last. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, I can't believe that first fight popped off like that. Well, that kind of, you know, sets the tone. Fuck sure. yeah, it does. And Tampa tied it? Let's go. Let's fucking go. <coughs> Why not us, boys? Why not us is what I Why say. not us? That's no reason. Why not us? Big Scott says, God, hey, listen, I'd rather be lucky than good, Big Scott. I'll sit on that fucking horseshoe if I have to. Let's go. <laughs> the things I would do to that horseshoe if that's what it takes. You don't even want to know. <laughs> Give me that Jeez. cash, baby. Let's go. Good news, too. We got afternoon cocktails and, uh, and a low margin of, of food this morning. So should be a lot of fun to see what happens here in a couple hours. Yeah, it should be great. Somebody say cocktails? We were just talking about this Budka fight, Jeff. Uh, Lee Mathis wants to know your three favorite plays. Your three favorite plays I'm, out there. I'm on. A, I'm on Budka on this one. I, I was. I actually don't have any pre plays. I'm uh, just kind of rolling live here. I do like uh, Hugo, though. I was saying that to Big Scott earlier. Yeah, I might get on Victor Hugo too with a short notice opponent. Yep. Yeah, I like Hugo. It's all good, Perky. I'm just. I like Hugo to knock him out. First or second round? I was actually thinking that might be a submission in the second round. I, th I think I actually got that out there in the uh, PSR actually. contest. Oh, boy. We got a three-way tie for first over on the Pub Sports Contest, and guess who's part of it? <laughs> He's got two thumbs, and he looks like this guy right here, bitches. Let's go. 
I, I tell you what he looks like, but I use use the F word too much the other night. <laughs> we'll save that. We'll save that uh, Tampa tied it up though at four four. When Dave has to say who. Yeah. That's yeah. crazy, Jeff. We only I mentioned said, that four Wait, times. I didn't, I didn't say the F word. No, I was out. You, you said whoa. <laughs> like yeah, because right. it kept it was like it was like it was I rapid know. fire. And I'm like, <laughs> I mean, I that word doesn't offend me. Granted, it it it's, it's not good, my it's not, place a to good, say. it's not a good brand to uh yeah. <laughs> from all <laughs> they don't want to go all in. But, but, but it's yeah. all good. No, it's nothing but love. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna say that it this what it was for what it was. If if this stream goes into the the the, the night into the end games and and I, I'm there I'm, might be some of those being dropped. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm gonna say that <laughs> I <it>, the over. <laughs> I take the over one and a half right now. It's I juice, but I'll over. fucking take it. Oh. No, yeah. one and a half. <laughs> one and a half. One and a half by who? Me. <laughs> One and a half is a like we don't use that a word. Gift, but but I take the lot. extended two and a half. It's only plus a hundred. It should be it should be concerning when the odds are juiced to the over. <laughs> and they're they're not giving out much plus money on the two and a half either, Mike. <laughs> no. You could probably say, ladder that shit all the way up to a three and a half. I, I think I put it all the way up, boys. <laughs> ladder it. <laughs> oh, I'm putting in. The pick five, I was misspoken. It starts in this uh, next race, race six. Got the two nine with the six nine ten with the three seven with the three nine with the four ten. It's a 50 cent pick five. It'll, the ticket will cost you 24 bucks. Um, we're, we're trying out a new tool here and let's just see if we can get lucky. <laughs> Let's How about go. that? I just threw it out there and threw it out there on X. I gave a little shout out to our guy Butthead, Beavis and Butthead style there. So why not open up cash in a plus one thousand? Cornelio to win by knockout. Let's go. Yo, let's go. So we're all looking at Bootka. We all want some Bootka and Red Bull in this next fight, huh? Yeah, some Bootka, Red Bull, the Miners Hulk, eh? gonna be fun today boys i can already tell it's a lot of fun when you open up the card cash in a plus a thousand might as well take tampa bay to fucking win this game too i mean shit we're here i didn't lie bet them all the way up where or i should have once they went down 4-1 i kind of put the foot on the brakes there but you know they were down 1-0 and uh uh, they were on, they were on a penalty kill and it was plus one ninety five. So I was like, you know what? I Shit. text I text uh, smoke and mirrors there. So I think now's probably the best time to take them. They're you know you're not going to get these now. Granted, they went down. They're up one now. Pittsburgh yeah. just fucking scored. Well, I would be careful now because yeah, Pittsburgh Pittsburgh scored, scored five four. You know what? I wrote that one off, but I'll take it since we're here. Let's roll onward, though. Florida Panthers are about to puck drop. A little reverse line. Well, not reverse line movement, but movement to the Bruins. That's okay. That's okay. Onward and upward, boys. Excited onward about and upward, Here boys. We Here we go. Let's have ourselves a day. Why not us? Do the Panthers care about the rest of the season? Do they have the, the top top deal locked up already or not? Well, that's the challenge that 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 we were talking Jeff and I were talking about too. Like, what does Florida care about this game? But it's the revenge spot. So for me, I was just locking it in. I you know, obviously at this point of the season, the, the angles and the trends are a little more difficult to decipher, but there are some revenge opportunities today. Florida, New Jersey, Philly, and Edmonton all in the revenge spot there. Almost sounds like a parlay, doesn't it? Yeah, go for it. The revenge team parlay. What's that going to pay? Let's just take a look. Who did I say? Florida, New Jersey, Philly, and Edmonton. These earlier fight cards, man, you got to come in ready to roll. I kind of like the Ottawa Senators over the New Jersey Devils in that game, though. I kind of look. I kind of like that. I only have one hockey bet, but I kind of like that one too. I didn't. Maybe, maybe if we, if we fucking said it, we should bet it. What time does it yeah, start? I'm not gonna. Uh, yeah. 
Yes, yeah, seven, seven o'clock, seven ten. I'm I'm also part of the. The only game I'm on is the Kings. The Kings? Are you? I'm on the Kings. Mel like the Kings. They the King. This is the thing. The Kings still have to play, and they've won five in a row at home. That's enough for me. I for me right now, the like you said, the trends. It's the end of the. I mean, th things are basketball and hockey right now is really hard to play. Um, I'm being real selective, and the Kings did look like the best game, but I also, um, just on a taint, on an inkling, liked the Senators. I really don't have anything to back it up, but if you like it, I mean, maybe we should just fucking maybe we should just bet it, put a core unit on it or something. Yeah, I think it's going to be a play on. In what tuned. world? In what world would you have seen earlier in the season? The Ottawa Senators and the New Jersey. Granted, the New Jersey Devils have fallen off at bit, almost a pick them. I mean, you know, it's minus one twenty-five is, I don't know, you know, fifteen cents away from a pick them. It's a, the Devils versus the fucking Senators. Senators suck. All right. Another one that I'm jumping in on. I'm going to take the Baltimore Orioles today too. Little minus one thirty four spot. I was saying earlier today to a buddy of mine, I said, "Man, these these early games for me, hockey specifically, like this is a fucking money pit. I just fall in and yeah. I can't get I'm out." I'm taking Edmonton today. You know why? Why? Well, fuck Calgary. That's why. Oh, because they're playing Calgary. Mike, I'm on first Orioles first. The Revenge five. of the Battle yeah. of Alberta. Yeah. I was taking it. I'm taking them in rag two at minus one ten, and I'm going to parlay it with the Panthers to get a plus two hundred. How about this, Dave? Baltimore. And then where is Dylan Budka from? He's from Baltimore. It's a sign. Let's go. Nice. Hello, boys. Dylan, I'm on the over in that game. The Edmonton, Calgary. Oh, yeah. It's not a bad play either. Look at this panel aligned here on a Saturday afternoon. Everyone's looking to get that cash. We appreciate you guys hanging out with us here. Hit the thumbs up if you haven't done so already. It means a ton to see you guys supporting us here on a Saturday. Just trying to get that cash together. Just trying to get that cash. Let's keep rolling. I'm also on the uh, Dallas Stars first period with a no draw involved to get a minus 105. Which one was that? The Dallas Stars first period, no draw. With a win, draw, win, three-way. Smack the fuck out of these Blackhawks. Man, Michael so B's much, in the house. What up, so Mike? Much action. What up, Mike? Good to see you, Mike. Mike B in the house, baby. Let's go. Hey, these cage warriors. Man, the minus 345. Are you fucking kidding me? Dylan Budka, 24 years old. Cesar Almeida, 36 years old. Almeida, least pro fights on tonight's card with a four-banger there. They're babying this guy into the UFC. and He's shit's 36 and he only has four fights? No. Yeah. Shit's about he was a kickboxer fight. before he just started MMA. Well, you know what? You start the MMA when you're 36? Yeah. <laughs> An idiot. Yeah, I want to be a NASCAR driver. Let me go do that. Yeah, yeah, I want to be a firefighter. Yeah, better, yeah, better out. Plenty of fighting experience. I want to join, I want to join the fucking. I want to join the Marines. He was Fuck. kickboxing in glory. He was at a high level there. He fought the likes of Alex Pereira. He lost to him, yeah. but he went to a decision. Dude, I hope he loses he's that. He's got the fighting stupid, experience. Stupid, stupid ass fuck. What the fuck? Thirty six, and he wants to start. All right, we got six minutes to post, and I got a pick five loaded up starting in race Woo! six and uh, exacta and try boxes at race six. Keeneland, all right, we got That's a two nine seven three dollar exacta box that took will cost you 18 bucks. A dollar try box two six nine seven that will cost you um, 24 bucks. Uh, we're looking for a price with the six and the seven in that one, obviously. Yeah. But for the pick five, uh, we're going to start it off with a two nine in this sixth race. And then from there, we're going six, nine, ten, race seven, race eight, three, seven, race nine, three, nine, race ten, four, ten. 50 cent pick five. The ticket costs you 24 bucks. Fuck playing a scratcher, play fucking Keeneland. 
pick six, race five with me, or uh, race six, pick five with me, motherfucker. Let's go. Okay. Save your money on a scratcher. Play some pick fives. I'll play all the old pick five with you. Just, just yeah, I like this. Just lay on the ground and hump his legs all fight. I'm fine with that. <laughs> yeah. Take, take the all way to the end. <laughs> all the way. All the way. All the way home. Three, nine, four, ten. Yes, I, I don't think Caesar's going to be able to get up. To take a little page um, out of Razor's book here, shout out to Razor Sharp Picks, our fucking guy. The top jockey trainer stats are on the seven and the six here in the sixth race at Keeneland. Um, with uh, on the two, we got Irad sitting at 32 percent, and on the nine, we got Gaff Leon sitting at 20. Oh, it's that group of jockeys, it's like uh Flavian Pratt and like Jose, yeah, some like your horses. Yeah. There's some good stuff going on in Keeneland this this weekend. So let's try That's to get the best group of jockeys here. in the country. That's the best the best group there. So. All right, and Nick, I trust. I got my pick five loaded up here. Twenty four dollars. Yeah, let's you guys, you guys, guys come on. Me? If we can make it to the last leg and maybe find a nice way to hedge, that'd be great. You guys are trying to tempt me. Fuck you. I'm not betting horses today. Sorry. <laughs> Well, that's why I made it a twenty-four dollar ticket. It's a scratcher. It could yeah. be gone right away on the first column of the a, of the scratcher. But it's a top shelf scratcher too. It's one of those yeah, ones. That it's top shelf glass. scratcher, man. Yeah, only, it's one only of the strong can survive. The twenty-five dollar scratchers. Yeah, whatever they are. I mean, fair enough. That's what we're doing here. But like those people that go in there, they're glass. I'll take a one. I'll take a seven. I'll take a twelve. And I'll take a pack of a carton of mall palm malls. Guys will grab those a couple the, Dutch masters while you're there. <laughs> those are the assholes I'm swearing at because they're slowing me down to get my Red Bull. Yeah, all I want to all I want to get is a, a a Gatorade and a bag of fucking Doritos, and these fucking people are trying to become millionaires. You know, yeah, uh, the best that. is when they step they step off to the side and start scratching them right there. Yeah, <laughs> and then they come back. They come right back. <laughs> yep. Yeah. The oh, fuck. <laughs> Whatever. It's all good. We gamble. We all gamble in different ways. I was telling the Dale, story. Dale, Dale, on another note, if I woke up and saw these five faces, I'd go right back to bed. Yeah, I, it's like a, I, night, it's like a nightmare. It's a nightmare. It's like no, I say. <laughs> a fucking nightmare. I was telling the story the other day to somebody. I don't remember who it was. We were talking about scratchers, and I said uh, our buddy Moose there used to work at a at a convenience store back, way back in high school when we were kids. And uh, he was working the late night one night. I came in all shit based, and I grabbed the roll of the fucking uh, loose change. You know the one where you got to get a dollar or whatever. Mm -hmm. Fucking grabbed the roll and I just started scratching away. He had his back turned. He didn't realize it. I was probably 50 tickets deep before he realized it. <laughs> didn't win. Didn't win. I scratched the whole roll at that point too, but didn't win. I don't think I paid him either. You, you just reached in and grabbed a bunch of scratchers and started scratching. I thought he was late night. Nobody was there. <laughs> Did you yeah, pay dude. for them? No. No. no, I was like 18. I mean, that that's a... Robbery. I grabbed, I grabbed some beers and I walked out and I was like, uh, I think there's probably enough there to cover it. I don't think there was, but. Oh, the old fucking just, yeah, grab a 30 rack of Natty or Bush Light yep. and just walk straight out. <laughs> yeah. I had, a, I had a buddy that went to jail times for a week. Times were different. Times um, of the program is what they call that. But we adapt with the times. And let's try to adapt here in race six. As they're loaded up in the gate, Mike, let's go, Ed. You got me watching as if there wasn't enough for me to watch. Now I'm watching the team, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Take the two or the nine. Let's just get through this first leg here, you know? All right. Yeah. The next race, we got three horses. So if we can get through this one. 
We just don't want that four. Raise Kane. Luis Saez on the strap. We got Irad, though. We got Irad. Irad Ortiz. Shout out to Trisha M. She sent me a picture hanging out with Irad. And I said, the loaded nine. up in the gate. They're loaded. I like Ty Gap, too. Minnesota ready. Let's go, Ty Gap. Like While they're story. loading up in the gate, um, let's talk about NC State versus Purdue. What do you guys mm -hmm. like? Um, I've really enjoyed this magical run that NC State has been on. Um, my bankroll has enjoyed it as well. I really like, uh, I think everyone's kind of buying into DJ Burns too. Um, and you got, you got two DJs. That drop step is nasty. And we all knew Filipowski <laughs> was soft, right? But now you're going up against Edie. So Michael I think D, it's a very you. interesting matchup. I think there's going to be some really good live betting opportunities in that game. Um, but I feel if you are going to play something pregame, you probably just take the full game points and, and the money line, because if Edie gets in foul trouble, which I think Burns is pretty smart on how he plays, you might be able to get him in foul trouble. And if you get him in foul trouble, Purdue is kind of shit from there. So I already put a little bit on the plus 340 what do you what are your guys thoughts we got a late I, scratch on the seven damn i took a uh i took a uh uh nc state nine and a half and i got nc state first half plus five uh half a unit on the first half and a full unit on the on the full game i just thought we got to be in this thing here i, I wanted to sprinkle that money line but I just, I just wasn't able to. The get way there. I was thinking about um, taking the first half too, because I did it against Duke and it didn't work out in our favor. And they're off at Keeneland. The seven was a late scratch. The six is the five and the six are out front right now. Two's in a nice spot. There with the one, uh, obviously on the rail. Oh, he's fucked yeah, now. Nice he's out of energy, boys. There. Cast himself out. Yeah, he's he is he is off on him. What a fucking horrible start. Fuck him. The two and the nine are in good spots to finish. Fuck this. Our six is still looking okay where it's at. I'm about to get pissed. Oh, that's it. The oh, five is going to be Almeida. Let's I'm fucking go. Dude. How are you that it, bad? It you were doing fine, and then you just, you, what do you have a switch? Well, he wasted his fucking energy. He gassed out trying to wrestle. What a fucking dick. Let's fucking go. Well, congratulations. Yeah, take your win, bitches. What a, what a stupid <laughs> fucking <laughs> faggot. I'll set it. Oh, there's oh. Come on, get up there. How do you how do you flip the switch like Come that? On, You're winning nine. the fight, and then all of a sudden Come okay, on, I give up. The six is running away with it. It's gonna oh come on, get up there too. Get, get up, man. Beat out this eight, too. All right, we cast a try. Oh, shit. Okay, I'm fine. A six, two, nine. Eh. Our pick five is dead, though. Yeah. On to a pick four, boys. <laughs> you never bet on a fighter named Dylan. <laughs> oh, he's not even there. He's not even there. <laughs> no, he gone. Just like that six horse there in Keeneland. All right, God. here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna give I'm gonna give one here. And we'll see if I can get it. I'm gonna oh. go with um, the one, two, and five at Century Downs. Century Downs, the one, the two, and the five. Then I got to get back to uh, the bread and butter here. But the one, two, five. I mean, look at Century look at Downs. Century. First of all, Century Downs has been good to me. They roll an El Camino out there sometimes for the gate. Uh, and we've got the four at five to two with prices behind them. So we just need to get outside of the price and uh, or out, uh, we got to get outside of the favorite and all the prices should be alive. There you go. Big Scott says LFG Almeida. 
And you Let's said go. one, two, five. I'm going to go one, two, five. One, two. Hurricane. Big boy Malloy. Uh, Montana Slim. Century Downs. Ponder no longer. You're yeah, so right too. You're so serious and popping like Pez. Florida Panthers on the board, 1 0. Out the gate. Let's go, coin. Let's go, baby. Nobody says we can't come out here and fuck. Let's go. Let's do some fucking. <laughs> Let's go. We need Dallas. Oh, that's race fuck. three. Get a goal here, boys. That's race three. That's why I was looking at race two. Matsumoto. The next guy up. I'm taking him. Give me Gene Matsumoto. This fucking guy. I'm on Gene too, but the uh, line shifted 15 points against him. All right, Mike, I'm with you. I played it as an exact the box. One through five. Race three. Century downs. Ponder no longer. So serious and popping like piss. Ah, let's go. Popping like Pez. We just need to get around this favorite, right? If we can get past the favorite, everything's paying. There's only four horses in the race. I mean, that 5-2 opulent dragon. I don't know. I mean, realistically, what should have happened is the <laughs> yeah. four overall. But nobody said you that. can't come out here and fuck. <laughs> <laughs> what up, Perky? <laughs> uh, many Let's go to Perky Bumps. I'm fired up for today, man. I'm excited about the card. Fired up for what we got in front of us. We got the boys here ready to go after it. Let's do it. Let's fucking do it. All we need to do is catch one nice fucking race. You here. guys, you guys have Matsumoto at one minus 168. Uh 165. 155 on DraftKings. He was 180 yesterday. Uh, how does he win? This goes the distance. Distance. Uh, probably. All right, I'll bet that. Gene. What up, Tori Coker? Great to see you in here. Welcome in. Guys, smash that thumbs up button if you haven't done so already. We're just getting rocking, baby. We got the boys ready to go out there and do some fucking today. It's a good day to do some fucking. Let's do it on Saturday. Why not? <laughs> what do we got here? Tell you what, though. I got to pull up the old Clint tracker here. I got to make sure I'm not, not crossing streams. Look at race seven. No, oh, he was on Almeida. <laughs> Tough to follow somebody just to fade him. Well, I'm not necessarily trying to fade him. I just don't want to be on him. You know what I mean? I I see his shit popping up in my feed, and I actually and I'm like, I don't follow this dude. Why am I seeing this? And it's people retweeting it, and then I just I unfollow them. I don't unfollow to them too. Here we go though. Uh, Century don't... Downs race number two popping off here. We've got the one, the two, and the five. It's a four-horse race. We're trying to beat the four. Speaking of four, the one, two, five. Maybe the four blows a tire. Or the four comes out to a lead early. And the four comes out to a lead early. Hurricane J, but not to mess with that one. Hurricane Farigna. Four, one, two, five. Well, they sneak a couple extra horses in there. What's going on here? Oh no! No, the the one you you placed. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was at three. I see what you're yet. saying. Yeah, yeah. No, I that's see what why, you're saying now. That's why I was asking you. Yeah, you were reading off the names, and I was like, "Those aren't names." Well, let's see what happens. It is four one two five though. How about that, Dylan? I jumped on this. Uh, I put it in the chat here. It's probably going to show up under Mike's name, but uh, I took that in the Cage Warriors. It's not till. 515 or something like that, I think. I see Montana Slim okay. trying to make some moves there. Ick. Imagine. Oh, the one is bucking up, though. The one is bucking up and pulling back. The five, the two are trying to close it on the four, but 
Smoke and Joe, the six, is now making a Smoke attempt to pass Big Boy Malloy. It's a waste. It's a waste. I don't have anything in this one. It's going to do it. Yeah, but the one, two, five in the next race is going to fucking smash. Hell yeah. It's only a four horse race, too. Hell yeah. Pocono Downs, race back. 11. That um, that try did pay, though, a little bit. We got 30, uh, 70, 70 for the one, one dollar try, 70 bucks there, and some change. 50 cent try was 35.83. We got the 692 there. And with the seven being scratched, we'll get something back on that exact. Uh, but um, it's all right. We get a little back there. That's a good sign, though. Because this next race at Keenan, we're going to fucking smash race seven. Mike, I just fucked around with a round robin. Nice. Just for fun. What do you got? Uh, hang on. Just trying to click it here. Um, Campbell, Hernandez, and Walker. Campbell, Hernandez, and Walker. Johnny Walker's brother. I like that. I did a parlay earlier today with uh, Morono and uh, Hernandez. This is just even I know, money. Yeah, I, I know <laughs> you and I talk about the round robins every week, and I never seem to get around to doing it, so I just... Yeah, we're here. <laughs> I like all those plays too. <clears throat> I think Damon Jackson's getting fucked. He looked terrible on the scales. You know, the round robin's such a nice tool because if you have a couple spots you like, you can adjust the number of bets you're making, the number, the amount of plays, the legs in the parlays. You pick your. I do that a lot with baseball in the middle of the summer. There, where I'll take four or five games that I like, I'll drop them all into a round robin. I'll do three leggers. Uh, you know, get them all in there. I don't. I don't want to have to keep going in and clicking all those parlays. So it's just a matter of trying. Yeah, to right. Go. You fucking threw me on two heaters yesterday. Shit. Yeah. That one was like a plus five twenty. The other was like a plus seven sixty or something like that. <laughs> yesterday was. Yesterday was sick. And then the Arizona Diamondbacks at plus two seventy five were fucking leading that entire game right to the end. Right to the end. I don't, I don't think I. I don't think I jumped on that one. Pocono Downs here, race number 11. I got the one, the four, and the six. Ick's got me racing fucking horses here. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> oh, this guy's going to lose. He has a karate kid fucking bandana. <laughs> that's a hell of a cap <laughs> and he's not even and he's not even Japanese boy I guess he is he said Brazilian Matsumoto I thought he'd be Japanese it's Brazilian flag <coughs> out of Braganca Polista Sao Paulo Brazil <laughs> one of 12 active Brazilian fighters <coughs> Let's go, baby. Let's go. <laughs> I'm taking a shot at Gene round two and three, plus 1,200 and plus 1,400. I think it's way too wide. I think Dan Arguet is a bit of a gasser, too. So what bet are you on? Gene round two and round three, plus 1,200 and plus 1,400. Took them both. Let's go, Gene. <coughs> Should I just take this? I'm not taking a 160 something. Fuck that. That's reasonable odds, though, Dave. No, it's not. It's the UFC. I don't love that. Muay Thai black belt. He could get a KO. I mean, I'm going to tell you what. People keep saying that, but I, I, I don't know full time UFC cappers, and there's a reason why. Because all the UFC betters I know are taking minus 180s and shit. The odds are the cool. odds, no matter what sport they are. The math, the math, the same across all sports. Math adds up. You got to take some dogs. Agreed. I, that, that's where I try to get cute on some of these plays, where like the you know fight by decision or fight in the second round. And I you know obviously to try to get some uh, some kind of value out of it because yeah, minus one eighty. 
I mean, well, here's the thing: no matter what sport it is, the uh, yeah, it's a different sport. The, the probability is the same. That's where they they set the they set the the money line based upon a, a probability percentage. Perky, I appreciate you tailing, my friend. Rolling six and one, baby. <laughs> Perky, I was on a heater uh, last Friday in the LFA. I think I went six or seven and oh, I went undefeated, whatever the hell it was. I don't even know how many fights there were. Six or seven of them. I lost count. I lost count of my cocktails and I lost count of my wins. <laughs> well, Pocono Downs is rolling here. We've got Annie up and over the four out front right now. We're on the one, the four, and the six. Pretty girl. The one, the four, and the six here. We've got the four. Annie up Hanover at three to two. The six. I'm a captain at nine to one. And there's the one. Swifty laser at five to one. Hopefully they can get on top of this one. The six is trying to make a move. We can get the price out front. It's going to be a decent little payout for us here. Let's see what happens. That four, though, is comfortably trotting along the way. We've got some big moves from the two, though, at seven to one, making a move around the outside. I bet you. I bet you if I went to a uh I went to a strap race there. I bet you I could clean the fuck up if I was in person. Don't do it. <laughs> no. The four gets it done. The question is, was it the six or the seven? We need the six. That seven snuck his nose out there right at the end. Problem is, if I ever went to a strap race, I'd have a hard time telling people. When's the first uh, Triple Crown race? Isn't it coming up? Mm -hmm. The Derby, yeah. Uh... Like the first week of May? Yeah, something like that. I thought it was in April, but yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Jeff, I was on Razor Stream the other day betting on that Buffalo Raceway. That is a fucking chalk fest. There is no money to be made in that thing. That Hamburg there? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's like five minutes oh. away. We could go watch those puppies live. Ponies, I the, puppies. I think the seven got there on the six. Damn it. Damn it. What do they what do they have ski, like skis on the bottom of their other of the of the oh it's probably thoroughbreds, right? Or is it cheering? no it's it's standard breads. Yeah. <laughs> this is live from the poking house. I told a story the other day. I don't know if you're listening. Or a couple um, couple weeks ago now, I went to one horse race in uh at Finger Lakes, and the horse I bet on coming around the last turn fucking died, died on the track. The horse I bet on never been to a horse race since. <laughs> true. That's Straight awesome. up true story. <laughs> I don't know if it's awesome or I don't know. <laughs> no, I mean I don't know if I'd call it awesome, but it's definitely <laughs> an experience. <laughs> you you, 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 you actually saw certainly. the process of you saw the first step Whoa. of the process of making dog meat. They literally, they, they literally, they literally brought the big, the big curtain out, and then they brought the, the, the bulldozer, whatever the hell they did to gurney it off. Uh, a little disturbing. Right. The bulldozer. <laughs> the old front loader. You know it's a good time. Oh, though. It was more a uh, front loader. If you do want to make a trip, the Ohio Derby is a good time. It's a good weekend to come in. It's in the, it's like second or third weekend in June. And where's that in Ohio? Uh, 20 minutes from my oh. house. You just come oh, through. Okay. Come through. If, if I do, I'll let you know. Yeah. Oh, our, but our Thistle Down. Down. It's at Thistle Down. And <laughs> the year with all the COVID bullshit, it, we ended up getting a grade three race. And you've seen some horses that were going to, uh, you know, to the Derby there. It was a weird schedule because the Derby was like one of the the last ones, I believe. And that was that 50 to one uh, country house. I think it was 50 to one <laughs> ended up winning. It was like a 30 minute uh, review too. one of the craziest, most bullshit things I was a part of. Philly Mathis says, fuck this next fight, huh? Yeah, it, fuck this fight. Fight. Fuck all these fights. I'm already lost the first three fights. What the fuck is this? 
Victor Hugo. Oh, six, He's nine, not even nine. trying, this guy. It's horrible, isn't it? It's tough to watch. Six, it's, nine, like a, it's like a fucking car wreck. You just can't look away. Yeah. Well, now he's going to butt fuck him. So here we go. That's nice. Unreal. Dave, you might as well say it. Yeah. Easy, boys. There's, there's no need to <laughs> we're, all, we're all thinking it. <laughs> I'm sober, too. So here we go. 9 10. Now nah, he's, he's on his back here. Yeah. Yeah, I, I am on, a, I'm on a Victor Hugo Silva. At minus 145. Slap my unit on him. Matsumoto, though, is making some moves here yeah. in the second yeah. half of the first round. Yeah, I don't think he's going to win the round. I mean, it's still two minutes left, but I don't think he's necessarily going to win this round. But in the long run, we'll see what happens. In the long run. It's fucked up. You go as a minus 142. It's reasonable. I get I got him at a uh, minus 145. Oh Mike, yeah, I did. I actually, I told you. Oh no, here I, I don't know if I told you. I ended up watching uh I watched Roadhouse the other day. Oh yeah? Oh, the, the remake? Yeah. Yeah, the remake. I, I didn't think it was that bad. No, it was okay. It was a lot of CGI, though, wasn't it? What's that? The, a lot of animated bullshit, though. There was like, you could yeah. see, like, no need for a remake of that movie. It was stupid. She didn't like it, but it was okay. It was actually stupid. It was the stupidest thing I watched for a long time. There you it's go. All, it's all sunshine and butterflies for you, Ashley. Yeah. You, are, you are right. It was animated. I was just like, this is not even possible. I like Conor McGregor. I liked him coming in there. Yeah, I think that was the only reason why we watched it. I was actually surprised it took him so long to get onto the, you know, onto the screen. It was like 20, 30 minutes in before he actually uh, jumped on the screen. I thought he'd be like more of a he walks right away, out. I guess. Walks out naked, sets the house on fire, sets the, gets the guy's coat, and then sets the park on fire. Yeah. That was a good. I, I thought it was a good movie, though. I don't know. I saw a bunch of mixed reviews on it, and a bunch of people hating it. And I was like, I, I didn't think it was that bad. It was all right. I mean, this premise was there. It was kind of a similar. You know, it's like it's like I've said to you before. You watch it there. People didn't like uh, the remake of Point Break. I Point Break, okay. yeah. I was fine with it. I like the original Point Break better. Matsumoto gets a kick in the face here to end the round. A big flying knee that gets kind of stopped short. Now they're going to go to the ring. I'm going to get a refill. Don't let Ashley pick any winners without me here. I'll be right back. She'll be back to throw some winners out there. Pick my fucking boy there from Cleveland. Calls me on like Tuesday. He was like, hey, I'm going to, I'm going to stop by on Thursday. He was like, is that cool if I crash? So I was like, sure. Then he's like, hey, I'm uh, picking up a couple of friends up in Toronto. He's like, I got to go to the airport. He's like, can I leave my shit here? And I'm like, sure. He fucking drops out like 20 joints. He's like, if you want to smoke, I'm like, I don't really, I don't really smoke like that. And he was like, if you want to smoke them, he's like, just a couple of those, if they got spots on them, he was like, they're fucking double dipped in the fucking all kinds of bullshit. I don't know what the fuck he's doing. <laughs> Formaldehyde. Yeah. <laughs> He's got some oils and shit he uses. Uh, Michael B., I think we're all on him originally. I think I took him at minus 165. Um, I, that's, not a, that's not a bad live line, actually, plus 110. He's just getting chased down, though. Pressured, I should say. Needs to keep it to the feet. Yeah, every time he goes back up against the cage there and he gets taken to the ground, it's just not a good look. There's just yeah, no right. ground, there's no there's no ground control. There's nothing. He's just out there getting slapped. He's got the neck, but ah, slip it off. He needs to keep it on the feet. He's back up though. Back up on the feet. Back up against the cage though, too.
Eck. Damn you, Eck. There's so much going on, and here I am looking at horse racing. <laughs> I keep putting him up there for him. I don't, he's not calling him out, so <laughs> throw it out there. Keenan, Keeneland 7, huh? Yeah, Matsumoto is definitely embellishing the eating of the floor. He's eating the mat. Yeah, 10 9 is what they're saying there in the first round. Yeah, there's no question. He looked like he did not win that first round. He's going to have to do something here. He's going to have to get aggressive to try to get this thing back. Plenty of time, though, in the second round. 334. He's, he's down in Guantanamo eating those sandwiches. <laughs> oh. These boys got to be doing some sweating. They can't even get the arm. They can't can't even sink the arm in there. Every time they try, they just slide right off. Perky's got a new browser. I think he just. I think uh, Argueta just ate a ate a fucking right that. It looked like uh, it. Yeah, that put him down back. a little yep. bit there, right? Yep. It kind of did, but he's back up. The lot, you know, I was just gonna. He looks like one of those dumb idiots that that is concussed <laughs> but looks normal. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> he's been, he look, he looks he's like been shooting takedowns so much you wouldn't even be able to tell he went down. Yeah. Ooh, he's getting pieced up there. The old one too. I'll tell you, I'm excited for the uh, NCAA games. Though these should be some good games. Clearly, it's the the final four, but. Uh, the matchups are compelling. NC State, the Cinderella story. I think NC State's the, this year's FAU. They probably cover. They don't win. But but if they do get blown out, there's a reason why. I'm actually on the other side. I think Fat Boy and Diarrhea have never seen a guy that's this big. And they're going to have to foul the fuck out. Either, either Edie's yeah. going to pass it out to the shooters. Either because you know the Purdue has three guys that shoot over forty four percent from three, so yep. Edie's either going to pass it out to them or he's going to get foul fucked the whole game. Well, um, the problem is Edie's been catching all the foul breaks all tournament long. So you're right. So we'll see how the officiate. It's going to be a, an officiating deal. Like it, they're they're gonna. It's going to matter. Uh, if if they let him bang, it's going to be a game. If they don't, Purdue runs away with it. That's how I feel. But my money's. I don't have a bet in the game. My money's with you guys. Though I'd be an NC State with a point. Um, in the other game. I've I've haven't bet it yet. I might lay the wood with UConn, and I have a player prop. I'm on Klingon's uh, points. So I, you know, the thing that I heard about this this uh, matchup specifically though is they're playing at the football stadium, so yeah. it's not an actual yeah. basketball situation yeah. there. Which I think the sight lines fuck up the guys that like to throw the threes, which is Alabama, right? But I don't know. Maybe it's a square take, but. That's a good. That's a great really angle. At all. Like, I think the way that you, the way that you're, that you're used to it. looking at the floor and everything is totally fucking different. It is. It really is. Yeah. yeah. And a lot of so these you, guys, they're you know they're not pros. They're still just college kids. You know. And so the books have taken not everyone's years. ready for that big moment. Your the books perception. have taken two years in a row of fist fucking from UConn. I think UConn's ten and zero against the spread the last two years. I, I don't know. It's just. So what do you maybe think about the game starting off slow then? I like another spot where I, in this game, I like Alabama in the first five. And the reason the first five, not the full game for me is because if they don't, just like the NC State game, but similar, but I guess for Alabama, for them to have a chance, their threes have to be dropping. They have to be dropping early. They have to be running pace. And that's the thing that UConn, you know, certainly can struggle with. Oh, he tapped out with three seconds left in the second round. Congratulations. That's what you call a win, boys. Three seconds left, he tapped out. I hate you. He's got a beautiful back swing. That's, oh, he got all of that one. Um, yeah! Let's go, baby, let's go, plus... Uh, I'm going to walk this situation off, and I will see you later. Let's oh, get it, baby. Man, he was nice. Plus 150 at 1.5. All right, I'm going to go smoke. Be back. All right. Uh, I, I'm on Hugo on this next one. I'm about to put $500 on this next fight. I'm getting pissed. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't overjuice it on us here. Maybe it's I've, lost, I, I, I've, lost, I've lost fucking uh, $400 right now on these three fucking bag fights. Matsumoto. 
I was on him. I was actually That's on the motherfucker. I lost for days. Three, three seconds. What, what, what fight? Yeah. The I was on the winner and I lost the fight. I was on the winner and I lost the fight. How about I think that? I had to turn around and jump back out for that one. I thought listen, I heard it. Because I, I don't want to embellish it there. I just uh, listen. Let's go. No, yeah, we Onward and upward. Victor Hugo. Five hundred dollars. Next fight. Hugo. See, this is the one that I was saying. That, you know, in that minus one fifty range, minus one sixty range, you just got to take the win when you can get it, and. uh I mean, easier said than done now at this point, but you know, some of these guys that are minus 800s, all right, you got to figure out a different way to skin the cat, but take the cash where you can. I do think this is a spot where Hugo wins this one early. Uh, the over two and a half is minus 115. I could see it rolling under. I could see this going under. I could see Hugo winning by uh, either a knockout or a sub, probably a sub. The sub prop is 200 uh, plus 300 here. It's too much with all these fucking books. And I got TVG open, too. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we got I'm two minutes. I'm autistic Whoa. right now, this. This is the Appalachian uh, grade two here. On the dirt. Let's go, it. That's good conditions. The pick four pool is getting up there. I am on the four, six, nine, ten, exacta, and tri boxes for this race. Keeneland, Ray 7, the Appalachian Grade 2. Let's go. Four, we're getting, a little, we're getting a little price there so far, um, with it being 8 to 1, and the 9 as well, currently at 6 to 1. The, your, the 6 is now 3 to 1, and the 10 is your odds on favorite. At five to two, we got we got on the four here. We got Chad Brown and Flavian Pratt with the Jackie Trainer combo, three hundred two times twenty five percent rate of hitting. That's the four at nine to one. The six, we got Gaff Leon. And Walsh, they're hitting at a 19% clip. The nine, Garcia and Bauer, 38 times together, 26%. And you got a Cassie trained horse here with Castiano on it, hitting at a 16% clip on the 10. Let's bring home a 4-9 for a nice number, but... We'll take it any which way it comes. And that's what she said. Let's go. Let's go. All right, for shits and giggles, I'm just gonna throw just throw 10 bucks on this. You go win. Shits and giggles, Mike, I'm gonna just throw this motherfucker back. And then I'm gonna get back to uh Dad mode because I think I hear some kiddos. Russ, what up now? Kelly V in the house. What's up, Kelly V? Good to see you here hanging out. Lee Mathis says Victor Hugo minus 145. Yes, sir. That's the consensus here. Fanatical Jim cash in the Matsumoto decision or sub. Let's go. That's for Dylan shotgun and like. At least three beers. I know he four, did. Four. Four. Shout out to Dylan. I was pretty drunk that night. It was good times. Good times. Guess what? My man still went to work like a fucking real man. Like a fucking Yeah, G. I got there. Winnipeg like Jets are up Four minutes to spare that day. It was beautiful. Hey, better than four minutes late, bud. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Let's have a day. Let's have a day, Mike. I think fuck, somebody could get finished in this fucking fight too, boys. That's what I think. Under two and a half rounds, minus 110. I got Hugo to get him done. 
and some round yeah, action. You can take a, the fight ending in round two and three because I really can't pick a side. Both of them have a lot of subs and KOs, so plus 350 and plus 700 on the fight ending in round two or three. Pretty good look, too. Let's go. I jumped on, I jumped on Hugo um, at minus 145. I, I didn't want to screw around with rounds and things like that because the 145 isn't a bad price, but I do like the submission in round two. I'm screwing around. I'm taking them all under two and a half and fight ends in round two and three. Yeah, Perky, we're looking at Hugo. That's our guy. We're going to take the minus 145. Now it's just a matter of getting cute. I'm betting somebody to get fucked. That's what I'm betting on. First quarter was ran pretty quick. Betting on violence. violence. Well, here we go. The Century Downs race that we snuffed on that first one here. The odds have dropped way down. Two to one. Yeah, there's only Seven. four horse race. Perky, that's what we're here for, my friend. This Appalachian grade two. I was, uh, I misspoke too. I said it was on the dirt. This is a turf race. You got four horses in the field. They can't even get the five up to the gate. Get up there, you fucker. Oh, Silva jumped. Five. Come on, two. Make your move. Silva jumped to minus 155. And they're on the final stretch. They're Sharks all are on it. The one is out front. The nine is making a strong move. We got... The three on the outside trying to make a nice move, too. It's looking like, uh, oh, the eight's coming through. Look at the three. Holy shit. It's going to be a nine, eight, three. That's going to pay six to one. The eight was 58 to one, and the three was 10 to one. Wow. Nine, eight, three. We're right with the nine. There's just a lot of horses in that one there, and they kind of got bunched up. What a fucking race, though. Make some money. I, I do want you to tell, Kelly. <laughs> Holy fuck. That three came flying at the end. Well, we are on the Century Downs race here. We did fade the four. It's the one, the two, the four, and the five now. The five has moved up there. Five couldn't get to the gate and has been hanging back the entire time, maybe saving its energy, popping like Pez. Time to pop some of them Pez here. Five, move, make a move. The four is trying to move on the outside of the two. The one, the two, now the one and the four. The four is just strutting along, trying to make it happen. The five just checked out. But the two says not so fast. Four. Here we go. One, yeah. Fucking Rushia in the house is fifty-eight to one to place. Fucking good. Woo! <laughs> you boys running hot in the horses? That's yeah. gonna be so fucking good. <laughs> nice. Did you hit it? No. Oh. I didn't have the fifty-eight to one in there. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't share that with us. <laughs> no, I, I hope somebody. Uh, we had the nine right. That was a decent uh, price out of the four we chose. Well, we cashed at Century Downs, but it's only six to one, so we got our money back. But that's okay. And that was the one two five, right? Yeah, the one two five. It ended up being one two four five. Man. Cornelio Williams in the house there. He says, what's up, y'all? <laughs> Cornelio. 983. Yeah, the 8 was 50. We got the great Cornelio earlier today there. The plus 1,000. Let's go. The, the super is going to be even crazier. A 34 to 1 came in fourth. So we all, we, we all like Victor Hugo for this next one. We got plenty of action in play as well. Uh Florida Panthers in the revenge spot. They're tied 1-1, 2.30 to go. Uh, Winnipeg Jets have just let them tie it up 1-1. I'm on the Winnipeg Jets there. The 6-10 game, St. Louis, San Jose. Plenty of time to figure it out, but not getting involved in that one. Look at this guy. The fucking Brazil. They got three names for their cities. Goiona, Goalas, Brazil. 
Dang. Let's go, Perky. Let's go. Senior bumps in the house. Let's go, Perky. <laughs> Senior bumps. <laughs> Irvin sucks. Philly. Minus one in the hook. First MMA of the day for Perky Bumps. Let's get this one. Let's go. Go, baby. Let's go, baby. Baby boy. All right. I laid minus 142 with this fucking idiot. Let's go. Let's go, Dave. Let's go, Dave. If, not, if I lose this, I'm going to go make an omelet. Do you have steak? Uh, No. An omelet with steak? No, you make a steak on the side and then just no, have it. No, a... no. I have... I have uh, today is going to be you ground beef. An and how Ground beef and eggs. Oh, okay. Nice. Because I'm on... I've been it. ketoing for over two weeks and it's working. Can you do I would roll with the, I would roll with yeah, the... Yeah, I can do the, yeah. The Philly cheesesteak omelet, peppers, onions, cheese, and then chopped up steak. Yeah. yeah. Well, this is just this is just gonna have cheese in it. It's just gonna be cheese. But I I did a ham. I did a Denver omelet the other day. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, I threw in the other day. Actually, the other other day when when my family was here, my mom made pulled pork. I did a pulled pork omelet. That's kind of crazy. Ooh. That was that sounds crazy. good. Yeah. Kelly V says the Jets are in was thinking a letdown spot. Yeah, I, I don't know. Minnesota's been reaching. Minnesota has they're pulling goalies in fucking overtime. I don't think any other team has done that in the NHL. We'll see what happens. I think I think I'm gonna load for bear in this UFC though. Here it seems like uh Early early indicators show that I'm dialed in. So let's uh let's dial in together collectively. This guy's a UFC. This is his UFC debut. This other guy, yeah, yeah. Pedro. Yeah, that's always or, for horses that, that always scares spot. me. Oh no! In all fairness, though, he's tatted up like a motherfucker. Look at those. We're tats. gonna lose. Whenever there's a horse that's that's like a maiden a maiden race, you never know. You never know. It's it's scary. This it's his UFC debut because he just got out of prison. <laughs> That's even worse. <laughs> it's fine, Dave. Why They're are we both... betting the other guy? He it's fine. They're building. both making their UFC debut. It's fine. Oh, are they? Yeah, oh, okay. Well, okay. I'm only fucking around. We're good. <laughs> Look at the reach it, man. Yeah, no, the they're reach both on their debut. Just... It's fine. Oh well, Dylan, you gotta speak up. You're scaring me here. Victor with the big reach advantage. That's good. Can I bet against both of them? Dylan? <laughs> Draw? Draw. Yeah. The under. <laughs> <laughs> Round two submissions. Somebody's, somebody's getting finished here, I think. Under two I, and a half I, wanted, I wanted to take this Hugo guy's submission, but I looked at the other dudes on topology, and he's never been submitted. So. Yeah, well, that, those are prison rules. It's a little different. Somebody's <laughs> getting finished. If you don't get death. submitted in prison, you just get killed. <laughs> die. Uh, Dylan, that cage warrior play that I put out there is, is about to fight now. It's popping off. Mankinen. Let's go. Can you imagine putting a dollar, a dollar on that Superfecta? You would have won... Uh, Forty-eight thousand. Sheesh. Yeah, yeah. What a yeah, fucking Ke insane. Kelly, I think Dylan's on the first period in that Dallas game, I believe. Oh yeah, that lost already. They fucked. Oh, okay, up. yeah, I'm not watching it. Yeah, I'm gonna score. go to one four ten at Tampa nine. One four ten Tampa nine. Here we go. Me though. Falcao. Pushing Hugo up against the cage early. 15 seconds into round number one. Let's see what happens. It's always a great sign. Yeah, like you know what? Yeah, uh, our last guy started there kind of up against That's the what cage. I'm saying. <laughs> well, actually, then you won, then we won, didn't we? There we go. Or you won. I won. Yeah. Well, if I would have laid that, if I would have been greedy and got one plus money, I, we would have won, but I yeah. can't do it. Yeah. Huh. 
You go throwing the elbow on him. Pick a first round knockout. Give me that thing. And there's so much. I need like six more screens. <laughs> Saturday, the old Saturday six screen, boys. There's not enough fucking. It's not enough here. Was that bar used to go to? Uh, 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 Jack Astor's, where they had like thirty screens. And then each one could get into a specific game. Otherwise, if they wanted to put on the entire thing, I'm sure there's a lot of sports players out there like it, but that was one of the only ones around. Need something like that, Mike. An entire TV wall. Full wall. Jermaine D. Radami is going to be my next play. Norma Dumont. Getting touched up. Okay, let's look at this next one. Sounded like it, didn't it? What is he doing? Down, down 23 bucks from where I started. It's actually not too bad for uh <laughs> you know what could happen easily. You um, go to the horse track with, with $200, and it can easily be all gone pretty quick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mike, check check your fact checker on that. That's kind of like where I like to start. That play there. 200 Your boy. Die hard. Oh, the old analysis? Is... <laughs> yeah, oh, man. Yeah, I... You know what? Can't lose all your. If you do this full time, you can't lose all. Get your... away from the cage, you asshole! So Jets have scored. Let's go. Scored again. Yep, yeah, two to one. You go is minus one thirty right now. So. That shocks me because he's been up against the cage all the time. Granted, he's done a good job, but. He's Michael B says no pre-fight bet. Just took you go live plus one oh five. I hate laying negative odds. Yeah, well, this is a tricky card. This entire card has modestly priced spots. Kind of Agreed. Wrong. There's some spots where it makes sense, but you know that Mariscal, Jose Mariscal at plus one fifteen. That's a spot. That I why is he allowing the, uh, that guy to pr on the on the feet to to push the action and pushes him up against the cage? It's like he doesn't want to be the aggressor. I I, I would imagine this entire second round is going to be on the mat. Personally, that's something too. I think he wants it to be on the mat. The problem is I don't like that his hands aren't up. The other guy's hands are up, and it looks like he's he could catch one. I agreed. Now his hands are up. Now he now he looks more like a boxer, but he's got a. Kelly V, I agree. That was a tough one. There we go. There you go. Push you the go now goes. minus 160 live. Now minus 195 live. You goes putting some damage in. Knock him out. Oh, nice. Fuck him up. Minus 230 live right now. Let's go. Minus 270 live right now. Knock him out. Oh. Sub round two. <laughs> <laughs> round two, baby. I almost, I almost, I almost bet sub round two, three, but uh, I, I need to win before I start chasing. Hey, Perky get him! Is, oh, says, you go. Oh, looks like he was doing oh. whippets before the match. They didn't hit him in the nuts there. He just wanted to rest. Yeah, he wanted to rest. Fifteen seconds left, oh, too. As, as Hugo was about to come in for the kill shot, too. That wasn't. Yeah. That didn't. Oh that, yeah. That, oh, it did. Actually, it did get him. It did get him. It's questionable. Suspect. Oh, you are so suspect. Well, maybe that'll save us until round two. Come on. <laughs> I'm down with that. Just win the fucking fight. I don't care what round he wins. Over that's right, Dave. That's the attitude. Right, Dave. Just fucking Come win on. it. <laughs> Love to hear Dave coming over to the other side of this thing here. Just fucking win. He's minus 345 now as well. <laughs> well, the, I took 142. I'll take I'll take a UFC up to like one, 145 is my new limit for almost every bet. Yeah, especially now with baseball season and hockey the way it is right now. I mean, those are yeah. – you hate to say it because there's definitely plus money spots to get it to, to attack. But yeah, sometimes that's the uh, that's the price of playing. Yeah. Uh, if Falco was smart, he would say, I can't finish. 
I just ruptured a testicle. I can't finish this thing. <laughs> he got... Don't hug each other. No! I hate that. I absolutely hate that. Oh, it's man. It's a war. Hugo is going to fuck this dude up, though. It's a war for 15 minutes. It's a war. You hate him. He's your enemy. I don't care if he's your best friend. Would you? What would you guys do at the end of the? If it was a good round, would you go up to the other guy and be like, "Oh, good job"? I wouldn't. No, I don't have that in me. I mean, afterwards you can go have a beer, go play slap ass after. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, after, like, after the drink. third round, but. Oh no 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 no! I'm not saying I'll be friendly after, but during the round, if your mind's not in it to kill him, like. That's what I mean. After the third round, when it's over, then you could do that. Of course, and I'm it, friendly it, after. Tampa Bay, that. the tr the exacta. 13 to 1 and 4 to 1, and the try has an 8 to 1 in there. Tampa Bay. There's some fucking numbers popping off today, man. I always like to target the, the last race of a horse track because. I feel yeah, like you normally really get some money back right. for, for the track itself. Usually, it seems like the uh, the marquee events are the one, the, like the one or two before the final, and then yeah. they kind of toss a bunch of shit in there to finish it off. Yep. That nine to four is sixty seven to one in the exacta at Tampa, and the the tries got to pay. Ridiculous. I like to look at a jockey that might have not won too that day or whatever that's been pretty much racing all day or just whatever. It's certain different angles on that last one. Um, I definitely wouldn't play the last race, especially if you're live with, um, favorites, try to fucking get a big score for cheap. Yeah. Take it as, as it comes. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> yeah. Let's lock in, uh, let's lock in one more motherfucker. Up in ya. What a fucking crazy. Yep. That a dollar exact to 441 on that. The try 50 cent try 1541. Yes, babe. Yeah, of course. Crazy though. The super fact that Dave yeah, called it out. Just under five grand. That's nuts. Yeah, no, we'll go outside in a minute. But hell yeah. I hope you guys cash the rest of the day. I hope this Hugo gets the job done for you. Always a pleasure hanging out with hope you guys. So but now it's dad duty. Something I love just a little bit more than hanging out with you guys. <laughs> Good man, Nick. It's always great to hang out with you, my guy. What's going on with you? Let's uh let's get you a little fucking solo action here. Talk about what's going on in the world of X Nizzle and who banging, my guy. Uh hanging out as much as we can when we can, supporting the the homies. But um, yeah, every Tuesday night you can find us on the live sweat over there at Who Banging. Much love to Who Banging, DJ Big Boss, everybody over there. Shout out to Dylan. You know, for all the hard work he does, you can catch him on Tuesdays as well with my main man, Jimmy Gomez, along with Dave and Mike. I've been holding it down with me uh, now for almost a year now. It started around baseball, and I truly appreciate you guys. Much love from the land. You know, let's go Cavs. Hopefully Donovan Mitchell doesn't choke this year. And cheers. Cheers. Cheers, my guy, Ick. It's great hanging out, dude. Appreciate you as always. Do your thing, man. Enjoy your Saturday. Family is where it's at. Do what you got to do. If you're around later on, you know we'll be here getting it done, too. So appreciate you, my guy. Yeah, appreciate you guys. Much love. See you, buddy. All right, boys. Let's we see at? what we got. Where are we Eagles at live? On this 500. What is it? Eagles minus Eagles. 500 live. Hugo is now minus 810 live. Woo. Hugo, minus 810. Doesn't mean anything yeah, was, when they uh, go to the judges, but. He was minus 1,500 previously, and then this guy pushed him up against the cage a little bit. But 
I think he's running out of energy. So if this turns into a striking battle, it's all Hugo. His nickname is the striker after all. Nasty Nate in the house. He says, where's my wrench? <laughs> Get a wrench to the head. Motherfucker. Got to figure out how to distribute some wrenches, Nasty Nate. <laughs> we appreciate you, man. Great to see you in here. We're kicking ass and taking names, my guy. We're going after it today. Big money getting scored across the board. So let's keep it rolling. You go. No, oh, there's Perky. Perky's, Perky's rolling. Oh, rolling with the horses. Tampa Bay, one over the four, oh, five, Victor. six box. Let's go. Let's have ourselves a day. Why not us? We already talked about this. It can be us. It should be us. It will we be us. We all put the time in. We might as well get after it. We've got some tie spots in the NHL, though. NHL right now, we're looking at a 1-1 Florida Panthers game here. We've got the Panthers. You can get them minus 110. The Jets are tied 2-2. We got the Jets. You can get them at minus 120 live right now. And we roll on. Phillies are up 1-0. Baltimore's down 3-0. Yeah, 3-0. What the hell? I'll tell you what, though. I like the Reds. I took the Reds pregame. Keep your eyes on that. Nasty Nate says, it's nice to see Jeff's on the sauce early. <laughs> I, I, I don't even know when it started and when it stopped. I don't know. <laughs> it's my they weekend, too, Nasty sometimes. Nate. going to be a fun night we're going to get this money tonight i can feel it we're already cashing in the ufc we got some big plus money spots early we got our little minus 155 there on the last one sometimes you just got to take your victory and move on so let's go here you go speaking of taking the victory and moving on and then i'm going to Jermaine de random i don't even know how to say it but i don't have to say it to play it I'm Jermaine de randomy fuck you dylan how about that Bet on her plus one hundred. Do you know who she lost to? No. Amanda Nunes. No. We were just talking about this the other night on that PFL card. I don't give a shit if these women are forty years old. They still tend to rock the women's divisions. Well, I'm taking her. I am taking her. Let's get it done. I Let's took her to. I don't like it, but I took her. <laughs> I feel, oh, like I, just whip, I feel like I'm dialed in here. I feel like I could do a parlay just looking at these things here. Jermaine, Walker, Moreno. I'm going to take Peak, Bahamines, Mariscal. Hernandez. All victors got them down. Let's go. Finish this in round three, buddy. Stand up. Get knocked there out. Is. There are 25 bucks on that. There it is. There it is. It's good. It looks good to me. It rounds off my balance as well. So it's, everyone's happy now. Everyone's happy now. Let's go. Plenty of happenings. There's the Chicago Blackhawks. 1-0. Where's Kelly V? Talking about that look-ahead spot there. Free call. Let's see what happens, Kelly. Looking good. Second period over. Man, I wish I saw that. I was looking at fucking horse racing. <laughs> he tried to get him to stop it. He didn't kick him in the nuts. He's a fucking faker. See? Hugo is not here to fuck around. Look at this nice. guy. Punch him in the face now. Nope. Right in the throat. Look it's like legal. Go him. for it. Finish him. Yep. Finish him. Oh, there we go. Knock him out. Knock him out. Nah, he's taking a shot. What are you guys at? What time do you guys have? Three fifteen. Okay, I'm. I'm a little. I'm actually ahead. Three twenty. What up, Steve Bailey? He says good afternoon, all. How about Curtis by knockout tonight? 2-0 for the Blackhawks, Kelly V. 2-0 for the Blackhawks. He knocked him out of the first fight, right? Didn't, didn't he? I think he did. He did. Round two. Round two. I think, yeah, I want him to lose. I hate his ponytail. I hate that stupid hat he wears. 
Hate all that. Hate everything about him, huh, Dave? Yeah, and I don't even know him. Yeah, I mean, how do you not bet on the stars right now? I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna play a clip here for uh, for the win in the uh, Cage Warriors. Cage Warriors threw it in the chat. Oh. <laughs> Needed more. Needed more. Yeah, you, need that. You, you twist that dick. Is the part yeah, I know. I, I, we'll get it next time. <laughs> oh, my fucking back. All right. Hugo, fuck this up. Fuck this guy. Can't get a knockout. Come on. Phillies go up 4-0. Let's go. Yeah, I'll tell you what. A lot of value now on Falco. Plus 3,000 if you want to get involved in that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you, actually, it might not be a bad play given the uh, shit judging that goes on here in the UFC. It's like a sprinkle, you know, like a couple bucks on it just in case. <laughs> I don't know, though. It's, it's hard. Even the judges have to have the, the judges be hard to say this one's not Hugo. No, I agree. <laughs> it's minus 20,000 right now. It's hard to believe it's that. I though he's he's been, I'm not saying he's losing clearly but uh he's been up against the cage most of the time I don't know they didn't do like, shit with it though yeah no agreed agreed there it is significant strikes 56 to 35 well if Hugo Come can on. just settle down and get this thing done for us it'll be plenty ah uh, fine Michael B says got 200 on Hugo plus 105 but I did hedge Took the other for 40 bucks plus 800. Hey, sounds good to me, man. Not a bad, not a bad play. Covering your bet, you're winning money either way at this point, Michael B. Yeah, nobody, play. nobody mentioned they were playing prison rules here either. <laughs> well, I think well, that's was fucking to tough. He took a few shots. He's like, someone tossed me a shank. There's no shanks, dude. <laughs> a shiv. He learned how to shiv. Is that what it was? You learned how to keister. Keister, that's what it was. They, you know what they call it? They call it hooping it. You hoop it. I didn't know that. <laughs> yep. That's what they call it. That's it. They're hugging it out. Let's see what the judges have to say. Why has this Panthers game been locked up for like two minutes? It's a power play? It must be a power play. I sure. went to go bet them. What's the end of the Michael first Bu period? Michael mm -hmm. Buellner with the hot take. He thinks Hugo took it. <laughs> I, if he, if Hugo didn't take it, I I'm gonna I'm not streaming for the rest of the day. This is a four zero oh, and four right off the bat. No. I tried to replicate Benson Henderson. I did see that he he jumped off the cage like he was Spider Man. Appreciate everybody rocking with us tonight. Guys, hit that thumbs up if you haven't done so already. Let them know we're here. We're doing it. This is what we do on a Saturday. We're kicking ass. We're taking names, and we're cashing checks. Let's get this Hugo one in here. Let's cash this Hugo check. All right. I'm jumping on the Panthers if I can get the bet in. Revenge spots in play today. Florida Panthers, New Jersey Devils, Philadelphia Flyers, and the Edmonton Oilers. Four teams. I do think the Ottawa Senators do beat New Jersey, though. So I'm I'm probably that's probably my next bet, to tell you the truth. So just depends. All right. Judges, raise his hand. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. We got all night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dylan, there's my next Cage Warriors play. There you go. Coming out for Mike. There it is. Coming out from Mike. There he is. There he is. You go. Cash you go. Shit. Oh, cash that shit. <laughs> they, were, they were plus 100, Michael B. I had him at plus 100 anyways. 
Somebody Fuck please you. tell me where else you're gonna have this much fucking fun. You the man. You the man. Let's go. Let's go, baby. I'm gonna catch a smoke after that one. Uh, I am on the um, the dog on this one. Unfortunately, your boy diehards on it, which I'm yeah I'm disappointed about. But <laughs> well, it is what it is. It is Full it is. disclosure. You can't lose them all. Uh, the Panthers pregame were minus one hundred five. That's right where I they're at now. Yeah, I got I got them at plus hundred pregame. Yeah, it might have been there. somewhere around there. All right, I'm gonna smoke. Get it, get that nicotine in you. Here we go, fanatical Jim. Looking for Jermaine by decision. You know, Dave likes that spot there as well. You know what's funny is is decision no bet. Jermaine's a dog, but decision no bets minus two sixty, which basically is saying if they goes the, the the other why why would the favorite so the favorite is a dog if it goes to distance. So they think she's going to what? Knock her out? No. Norma Dumont is going to do everything she can to hang on. But that well, what I mean is the Norma Dumont is, is, is a dog, is plus 192 if a decision no bet, but she's the, the, the fight favorite, which means they think she's going to finish her. But then the – oh, that doesn't even make any sense. Round one. The Blackhawks are now up 3-0. Wow. Yeah, that's incredible. Who is this? Whoa. Jermaine oh. out of the Netherlands. Shaved head, tatted up, looking angry. One of 11 Dutch fighters in the UFC right now. She is ready to roll. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo. Yeah, I'm going to take her by decision, too. I'm taking Jermaine Durand to me by decision at plus 275 also. Yeah, I see that. Uh, you know, this is this is one of those ones, though, where I look at it and go, I got I got even money for Jermaine. Uh, I'll sprinkle the decision, but I'm going to hammer this Jermaine spot here. Full unit on this one. Oh, yeah, I doubled down on the money line. Since we've been winning some UFC money, I doubled down on her for sure. And took the decision. Let's get it all, Mike. Let's go. I did roll a parlay. It's 55 to 1. I got Jermaine, Walker, Morono, Peak, Bobinus, Mariscal, Hernandez, and Allen in there. So just a little, just a little sprinkle, a little $25 sprinkle. Try to get myself a quick 1500 bucks. I'm fine with that. See what happens. Michael B says, I got the fade minus 110 for the decision and the dog plus 275. That's crazy. Got to take some of that plus 275. Let's roll. Norma. Bello Orzante. I mean, Jesus, there's so many names in that city that she's from. I couldn't even say it before they took it off the screen. <laughs> Brazil. I need to, what's wrong with Phoenix, Arizona? You know what I mean? Why well, you got to have six names for your city? Shit, Dave. I got I to gotta pick a leak and I got to get a cocktail. And everybody's gone but you and me, my guy. It's all good. You cashed that last one, Dave? I did. Dave's back on track. Let's go. Michael B says, you guys like Allen tonight over Action Jackson? I do, and I like him to sub, but uh, I think the boys are divided in this spot there. We'll see what happens. Do I want to go? Yeah, I'll do it too. I'll do it too. I'm going to go uh, – I did a larger bet on Jermaine to whatever the fuck. Oh, I just cashed out. I just closed. 
damn it. Well, I got her. I got her on the money line. I was going to do it uh, method of victory by points, but we're all good. Yeah, let's go. Jermaine is 39. That is the concern. A fighter approaching 40. But women, they tend to peak later in life. From what I'm oh. told. I don't know if that's true or not, but the sexual prowess definitely seems to be real. I doubt. I think I would fade both of these women's sexual prowesses. <laughs> they, they're, they're probably, we're probably not their type. Oh, Just guessing. Not. Educated guess. Well, you sit around betting on sports all day? Yeah. Not interested. That's okay, though. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit the restroom. I'm going to get a refill. Now you boys are back in action. Let's go. Let's get this one rolling. Let's let's get a little celebratory entrance in there. Oh, no one's coming in. It's just a celebratory departure, not entrance. <laughs> It'd be funny if like every time that. Mike went in his bathroom that played, opened the door. I, I, I like I like the clip though, because everyone starts bobbing their head. Yeah. Mm, mm, I think it's the best mm, thing you guys mm. have. Except for me, y'all grab his dick and twist. Oh, that is, yeah. <laughs> but, uh Big Show says that when they play when they play the uh one of the old uh commercial videos for PSR people do like he sees he sees all the people backstage he says people do air guitar and like people are nice. like doing all nice. sorts of stuff. yeah <laughs> yeah so what are we uh what are we doing in this Panthers game here is it still I, I one this oh, these geez. girls look kind of big how tall are they they kind of look for women five five six and five eight yeah yeah there Dumont's got some uh some we big did. old thighs. Yeah, she got a dump truck on her. Uh in the drawer. I don't think she wants to be on the ground. Damn it. <laughs> Night at the Roxbury. Hell yeah. <laughs> that was a great movie. All right, this is not yeah. where we want to be because we know that uh, uh, this is how women's fight, a lady fights go. They just lay on them and they win the fight. Yeah, Dumont had that 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 line moved against her um, as the fight was opening up, but uh, I don't know. I personally, I think she's the better fighter, but. I went the other way. Followed my boy, who's a scumbag. Not Mike. <laughs> Should I get a die hard? Die hard. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Mike, you were saying you didn't uh, you didn't like the uh, Blues Sharks game. I don't like the Blues at minus two thirty five. I do like the under six. But uh, I don't know if I'm gonna actually play anything on that one. Just have a tough time with the sharks who have been so fucking awful. Like uh, the they're bad. It's, it's not even like you can say they're trying to play spoiler. They're just trying to finish out the string. They they just don't give a fuck. And the Blues Green. to me are a team that I I don't want to be laying. That, that that's my problem is I don't not two thirty five on the Blues. Are you kidding me? It's ridiculous. No, I had some yep. games that I was. In. I, I had some games I liked. I just that's not one of them. Nope. There's so much tonight as well that, uh, you know. To me, I thought as, there's other spots to get involved with. The as Flyers. you know, I'm on the I'm on the Leafs and Canadians over six and a half, and I am on the Oilers and Flames over six and a half.
I like that first one. I don't know about the second one. We'll see what happens. We will see. Oh, this girl looks scared. This is some. To kiss a death in these girl fights when the fucking you're you lose the first round, you're done. You have to win the next two rounds because you know you're not knocking them out. And this bitch ain't subbing. Yeah, out. well, we already knew what the kiss of death was. We don't we don't need to say his name, but it wasn't looking good. Michael B, I wouldn't do that personally. Yeah, plus 300. I mean, the fucking thing just started. It's one round in. I'm good with that. Yeah, I wouldn't do it. I like her at minus 105. I got her plus 220. Shit, I got her minus 110. I was saying I didn't like it. I took it anyways. No, I'm saying right now I see plus 220. Oh, well. uh, what do you guys think about the uh, Sens game there from court? I like the Senators. I know it's a revenge spot. We've been talking about these angles here. You know, the end of the season, the angles are tough because uh, it's down to that single game type of spot. But uh, I like the Senators in that spot there. Fuck New Jersey. I don't know about the six and a half total over personally. I don't know. I, I don't see either team scoring much. They're two shit teams that really don't have – I mean, New Jersey's hoping on the life that they can get it done. But yep. the Senators have won a ton of games in a row. They're scoring. You're not. You're not winning because you're not scoring. You know, you win because you score. And uh, your goalie, you know, Carposalo, whoever the fuck it is in goal for Auto at this point, doesn't much matter. I I would feel good with the over in that game, uh, Court. But I like the uh, Senators for me personally. It's like a. I think it was plus one hundred five earlier today. I haven't seen what the line is now, but yeah, I'm good with that. And I rolled back in on Randami, plus two twenty for me. It wasn't plus three hundred. Uh, I got him at plus Ooh. 110 for the Senators. I, I, I didn't take him. I'm just saying that's, that's what the line's at on my book. Here we go. Round number two. We got a plus 250 now. Of course, I take a plus 220. It's no good. <laughs> Dumont does look uh, focused and ready to attack. Now we go back to plus 220. Let's go. Me here in the tits. Yeah. Let's go. Plus 200. Let's go. Why? Plus 175. Beat this bitch up. Let's go. Can't say that. I said it with positive affection. <laughs> it meant best intentions when I said it, too. It wasn't derogatory. <laughs> Fuck yes, Plus, Lee. 3 0, baby. Lee Mathis, my guy in the house. Court Wiley out there. Michael B. Real deal prime. The ground <laughs> Fucking Mr. 716. Real deal prime. You, me, and Jeff are going to have to go to see a Sabres game one of these days. Uh, Real deal prime is the biggest fucking Sabres fan in the world, Jeff. Dude, somebody literally just offered four tickets for uh, the Flyers Sabres game the other day. Uh, <laughs> for free. Them, huh? Yeah. I know. No, no. <laughs> we just we just got we just got the Sabres last night. It's the Flyers. Not we, you. I, I, I took the, the over night. and it was four <laughs> two, so it, it pushed my six. <laughs> Let's go. If you like Jermaine at plus two fifty, you gotta like her at plus one twenty four. She's definitely got cage control. Dumont is back oh, up God. against the cheese grater. Ready to grind her out a quick knee to the stomach there for Day Randami. Another knee to the stomach. Day Randami. Second round, three. Yeah, punch her in the degrees. face. Where else in the world can you say punch her in the face and it's okay? Like, Oh, there's a body. A big overhand, a big underhand. Now we well, see a desperation well, move from Dumont. The line has moved to plus 100. Plus 100 for Dumont. Uh, minus 130, I'm sorry, for Dumont. Now minus 115s across the board. Yes, we minus 115. The second round, two minutes in, is looking at like Dave Randami. Now a minus 130, softening her up. She's giving her the old pepper meal right there in the face. Big knee to the ground. Let's go. 
grab her tits and twist them. Do something. Oh, Perky Bumps is dropping fucking so, Saratoga harnesses in there. Saratoga. Perky, stop fucking with me. Now I got to go back into the TVG account. Perky, I'm not even looking. I'm just going to blindly tail you on this. Because it's Saratoga Harness. Oh, Hell yeah. Let's go. Keep this rolling. The problem. It's a problem when you open up the old horse tracks and you see harness, 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 harness. Nice knee. All right, Perky, I'm going to tell you. Oh, oh, head kick. Whew. You guys see that? It was kind of yeah. a sloppy one, but. Yeah, it was sloppy, but it was. Yeah. Actually, she acted like, oh, it didn't hurt Phaser. That you know it did. Still a foot to the face. Yeah, come on. Oh no, this Turkey, is not I'm really just fun. blindly telling you at my track, Saratoga Harness. I've unfortunately spent more time there than I care to admit. Why did you but pull the guard on that? House. You should have just stepped back and stuff. You have more right out front. It's a shit steakhouse. They fuck my order up every time I go there. More, it would it would be like a casino to have a chain brand fucking fucking. Steak oh, then, and then everyone's eating one hundred fifty dollars steaks, and mine like comes that. out. And yeah, I'm like, yeah. it's, a, it's a sirloin. I look at the guy. I was like, "You think I came to Morton's? Think to order, order a sirloin? sirloin? The fuck, get this <laughs> out of here!" He pulls his notepad out too. He was, the the first guy was committed, man. He pulled the notepad out. I'm like, I don't care what you wrote down. There's no fucking way I ordered a fucking sirloin at Morton Steakhouse. Fuck, her hips are bigger than yours. You can't roll her over. Don't be on the ground. Yeah, why did she do this? This is, I fucking hate it's her. Just for the last minute. So hope she hopefully she can still get out of it. I hope we made her pay plus 100 now. Fuck off. Plus 114. She's going to have to win a decisive round three to even fucking come close. It was four minutes of round two, but it's never good when it's at the end of the round. Oh, Perky, don't tell me you're throwing darts at this horse. He dropped Saratoga out there. Got me excited. We're at plus 114. Dumont does have the decided advantage to finish the second round off. Now. Yeah, yeah. This is going to be a tough one. Uh, we're cheers into cashing the, the Cage Warriors now. fight that I threw out in the chat. Cage Warrior Hell yeah. Cash. Hell yeah. Go, Was that 2-0 oh on Cage Warriors now? 2-0, oh, yeah. <laughs> I played a lot more. <laughs> I really, really I, think, I think that... I, I, I think I'm like 7-3 and three on the day, but yeah. 2-0 and oh for plays that I posted. Hell yeah. What's that, Dave? Do we really think that this Dutch freaky dicky Dutch chick can do this? She, she's gonna lay on her back. Th this girl's gonna try to put her on her back. Watch and and uh, cruise the fight out. Yeah, for the record, I wouldn't take any more bets on it live or. Well, no, I'm not live. betting it again. Oh yeah, no, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do it. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna take my take my lump and say fuck it. We just lost. Lick your wounds. I, I have no faith in this girl to finish this up. She need she needed to have been up 2-0. This 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 girl's gonna now they're hugging. Yeah, no, she lo she loses. We haven't seen judges fuckery just yet, though. <laughs> oh, Dumont it's is true. rolling. Dumont's now minus 195. Come on, Jermaine. This is why the uh the index has to be up, Jeff. You know the index. Well, he popped yep. her. Come on, girl. Nope, and then it on. takes her right down, and the odds change, of course. There you go. And you can tell the plus end of the plus one seventy five. Oh, up to plus two fifty though. Because he took yeah, she's on the ground, and, she, and then it goes to the decision. She's probably going to lose. Yeah, she has to get up, and and she needs to stay off the ground, like with Agreed. desperately stay yeah. off the ground. And that's where I take her down. I yeah, I just lay on top of her. I would too, Dave. Oh, she took her down again. All right, I'm turning the fight off. This is stupid. Next. 
somebody just popped up on the screen there. Nineteen nineteen. I don't. I don't see it that way personally, but. Well, she's a minus six hundred now. Fuck. Yeah. What a waste of money. I, I, I small head shirt at minus one thirty. All right, where is this? Oh, Dave, I got I got Dumont by decision here on my my list. I didn't play it. Yeah. Let's get some judge fuckery here. Nothing says we That's can't find it. Hey, look, look at this position right now. She's got an arm free. It's looking plenty energetic as well. I mean, the judges have to score that in an advantage. And she really isn't doing anything with these takedowns except for controlling her. They should take it away from her just because they don't want to see these fights going forward. Oh, here we go. A big move to the plus 100. Oh, no, no, it's back to plus 70. <laughs> what happened? I like it. Tell you what, if the book's gonna do that, I'm gonna sneak him. I'm gonna sneak him when they drop it back to 130. Start elbowing her in the back of the head. Typical. Over, Dave. Over. Yeah, I was minus almost 300. I I had it parlayed with the first fight, so that's another another beat. Shit fight. Yeah. There's still like six more fights, seven more. We're good. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, get I'm something. Kidding. Always do. I like Walker by KO in this next one. I actually took the under one and a half at uh, plus 155. Walker, I think it's going to happen. I think it's going to happen early in the second round, personally. It's terrible. Good news, though, boys. No more women's fights after this. How about that? Hey. <laughs> good news, everyone. I I don't I don't mind the women's fights when they're when they're. Obviously, when they're exciting, but like something, something like this, this is you know, it's just bad. It's ass. It's looking, looking grim. Dump truck, do battle. Yeah, that big Scott. That's. I didn't fucking play it. I should have. I think I did in the PSR competition. Yeah, do mount by decision. I did. Ah, I should have gone with my gut. I think we all should have. Yeah, yeah. Jumping on a 39. I'm still rooting for judges' fuckery. Um, I'm going to go smoke after this fight. I am smoke right now. Fuck it. I'll everyone's, be back. Everyone's thinking they lost here. and All of a sudden, the judges are going to come back. and I'm going to smoke because I already know what's happening here. Oh, they're kissing. Oh, they're kissing. Dave, how about the criminal, vi criminal victim spot of the day here? Everybody mm -hmm. loved this Dodgers-Cubs game to go over. 0-0 zero, zero in the fourth inning. Yeah. Well, I just I bet the same bet I've bet for 11 games. This might be the first game I lose, which is fine. I have no problem with that. Just the Dodgers auto bet. team total over? Yeah, just auto bet. I, I mean, it, bet on that too. Yeah. Plenty of time. Get the starting pitchers out of there, and let's get this bullpen in there. Leaky. I'll tell you what, though. The Cubs seem live to me. Plus 130. It's not even a great price anymore. Plus 130.
plus 145, that's a little better. I'm going to take the Cubs live, Dave. Plus 145. All right. Locking in. Why not be these fucking guys again? Let's go, Judge Fuckery. Look at this mutant. Good Lord. Oh, Perky, I didn't even see it. Sorry, my guy. Ah, Dumont decision. Congrats to everybody that cashed it. Sorry, we'll get another one. Mike, we're only just getting started here. The main card still coming up. Perky, I'm sorry, my guy. Let's go. Just a plus tag to me, you know, at this point. Let's look at this next UFC fight here. What do we have? Stakes are high. Walker, brother of Johnny Walker, looking spry, fit. The other guy, yeah. That's he not the right guy. Good. That's a different That's a different guy. Lucas Brazaski, he looks, he looks pretty good. All things considered, but I don't think that's the next fight, though. No, the next, next fight one is Court, be Court McGee and Alex. Court McGee. Yeah. No, I think you boys are off. Unless they dump that fight because the main card, the first fight, is the other one. No, that that fight's still scheduled for me. What it says, five forty-five. It could be, but they just showed the fighters for Walker and Brzezinski. Oh uh, yeah, that that. that are they switching the fight? Yeah, you know what? The time the time is the Walker fight, but the pre on the pre that's a main. Why did they put a they put in the prelim fight on the main card now? Look at the times. The prelim is three fifteen or five fifty or six fifteen. The other one's five forty. I think Walker's going to wear him out, and I think Walker's going to knock him out. So the question is here. I already took the plus one thirty. Seems like a second, third round situation. What's that going to pay? Let's take a look. I'm going to take third round without even looking. All right, plus 900 here on DraftKings. Okay. Load them up, boys. Let's go. Fanatical Jim says Walker by knockout first round sprinkle. I already took that first round. I'm questioning now if I have all the rounds. <laughs> I happen to knock them out for sure. The third round was plus 900 on DraftKings. <laughs> the second round, yeah, I do have all the rounds. As it turns out, I did. Uh, plus 275 for me in the first round. Well, as long as he knocks them out. It's not going to matter which round it is. For me, it'll be better if it's the third round, but I'm getting paid in all of them either way. And I took a, took a big fucking splash on Walker. Minus 250. Fuck him. What could go wrong? Dave, it's fucking brother of Johnny Walker. That other guy looks fit, though. He looks ready to fight. I'm going to send this invite to one of our guys here and see if he wants to rock and roll with us. All right, I'm on Walker just to knock him out any round. It's just by, by KOTK.
As I said, I'm on the under at plus 155. I do like the Walker by KO. Uh, I got that at plus 110 as well. All right, we're rolling back at it here. Let's go. NC State for me, plus nine and a half. I got the first five plus, or the first half plus at five. Jeez, that's a tricky tongue twister. Got to switch from baseball to college basketball here. Uh, NC State first half plus five. And I'm going to go with the sober. I think we're going to see some scoring. I want to take NC State on the money line, but. I'm not an asshole. I am an asshole, but I'm not that kind of an asshole. I'm I'm tempted to go the other side. I, I haven't bet it yet. I just I see. It. I don't know. This fat boy's never faced anyone like this. All right, I got my dog is being a little biatch. Uh, what are you guys on for this one? Walker. From Rio de Janeiro, Brasilia, Brazil. Let's go. Let's get this Walker spot here. I got him to knock him out. One and a half. I got him to knock him out in every round, as it turns out. Yeah, I, I took him by uh, by KO at uh, plus 110, and I got the under one and a half at plus 155. I dropped in on the minus 250. As well. Woo. Manuel. Woo. <laughs> Talk about the juice. Yeah, I know we've got a couple of decent days here. We'll put some money yeah. on the line. Uh, I hear you. Big Scott says, I'm on the under one and a half. They both have hands. Hopefully, Walker doesn't wrestle fucking for seven. Right. <laughs> Big Scott. <laughs> you know you're speaking our language. I appreciate you, my guy, Big Scott. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mike, this is actually uh, one of the guys I got in the round robin. Partly. Hey, oh, oh, there he is. Oh. Hey, oh. Hey, oh. There he is. Oh, there he is. Hey, oh. I'm very around. <laughs> What's our boy have on this one? Is this free and clear? I don't know. I'm looking. The only reason I, I knew about that uh, was because you said it. Jermaine, yeah, uh, uh, you know, doesn't look like we have anything permanent on this one, so we're all good. All right, the hey, oh. player, the player to, hey, yeah. hey, oh. hey oh. there he is, oh, there he is. Hey, oh. I'm very around. The player to remain nameless. We're all good. We're good on this one. We can all get some money on the phone, boys. Let's go. No Walker. <laughs> Let's get that money, boys. Hey, oh, there's a song. Isn't there a song that sounds like that? Oh. Make that money. Dylan, yeah. I, like, I like when I intro Dylan with that because he's dancing backstage. Dancing backstage. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, boys. We're free and clear on this one. The Winnipeg Jets have scored. It's 3-2. Let's the go. player to remain nameless does not have a bet on this one, so we are okay. This one's open for business. Let's go. This Brez dude, Brezinski, he looked cut as fuck coming into this thing. He's got a deer heart. Hanging in his back. No, look at his gut. Yeah, but look at the other guy's guts. Look at look at Walker's gut. He's like, oh, my brother's famous. I should be able to fight too. See him? Oh, there we go. Jeb, Jeb. Jeb, Jeb. 30 seconds into the first round. What do you guys have for time? 426, 425, 425. 420. 420. <laughs> hey. Fucked up. You guys are ahead of me. I'm five seconds behind. We're free and clear on this one, though, boys. That obviously frees things up a little bit. Yeah, Walker's going to touch him up. 
Look how big, much bigger he is. There he is. He's, there oh, don't guys. take him he's down. Trying to, he's fucking him. Now pull his panties down and finish his fight. Stand up. Your grandma's panties play of the day, was it? <laughs> <laughs> that thing's running hot, dude. It was cash on plus 355 yesterday. Nice. <laughs> Your What's grandma's wearing your sister's panties again. Play of the day. <laughs> Dave, I know you don't like PODs, but you got to respect that one. No, I, that's all good. I just, I'm just going to be, come on. Why, why would he take him down? What are you doing? I had to add the again in there just, just for emphasis, you know? He's wearing it again. <laughs> Yeah, he's, he's trying to wear him out from a. Good. If we win this one, we will give you that dick twisting video again. He says, "I laugh every time I see it." Let's go. <laughs> Literally fucking ridiculous. In court, on, on another note, as I've mentioned numerous times, I left a lot to be desired out there. So uh, I will certainly uh, do better next time. He's, he's trying to ride this round out. I don't like it. Get up. Yeah, big Scott. I I didn't didn't want to see this happening. I don't know. Hopefully, uh, hopefully Walker's certainly not going to just jump up at this point. He's he's riding it out for the round. From an under perspective, early next round. I don't know. Hopefully. All right. Back to the feet. Oh, minute twenty left. I don't. I don't see much happening here. But another uh, heavyweight fight that's uh, lackluster. And Dylan, you want to talk? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Good job. Try to wear him out, my ass. It wore himself out. What a fucking yep. retard. I hope he loses. I, if he doesn't knock him out, I hope he loses. I'm sorry, Mike. I hope he loses. <laughs> who, who? You want my guy to lose? It'll be yeah. It'll be the second time I bet on the guy that won, and I lose my bet. <laughs> That's why it's tough to hone in on the specifics, whether it's a well, KO no, okay. Well, here's the thing. I'm not trying to be the guy that's honing in on it. I'm trying to be the guy that's not spending uh, uh, paying juice. Oh, this is stupid. I'm going to go cook. I'll see you. I'll be back. All right. All right. I took the minus 130 for Walker right now. Was oh, that what it's at? You yeah. took him down. I'll take that. Yeah, I think as as time advances here, as we see this thing way down, it's the first round. Yeah. I hope oh, not even offering me a line. Yeah. Not even getting a line. We'll see how they look. It looks like maybe Walker could get fucking tired here, man. Same thing we've seen before. If he can't keep getting these takedowns, then Bresky might knock him out. I got Walker minus 225 live. I'm not taking it, but that's, that's what it's showing as. Walker is even money for me. I actually took the wrong guy. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, no, no, no. I got Walker. Yeah, Walker minus 225. I'm showing. No, I got a minus 130 there live. Fucking Boston Bruins scored. God damn it. We're going to need these Dallas Stars to come back in the third period. It's doable. I'm rolling back into Walker. I don't care. A 
Agreed, Big Scott. Unless there's a big shot thrown here early, which seems like they want to wrestle. Walker's now even money. Is he? Uh, showing him at minus 135. Walker's backing up. Looks like he's looking for a big shot, though. Yeah, he wants to finish with the knockout. He's just fucking ass the entire way. Yeah. Regardless, I need him to win for that round robin. <laughs> Plus 220. If you liked him at minus 135. Yeah, but the problem is I applied that logic to 175, 200, and 215. <laughs> Some point, Take them now, start. minus 115. There we go. Big move now. Let's go, Walker. Let's go, baby. Put this motherfucker in the face. Minus 130. He's covering up. Looking like a bitch out there. Let's go. Nah, taking him down. Big Scott, you had it right. Wrestle, fuck him. Can he get it, though? You. Oh. Walker's plus 124. There's money to be gained here. Let's go, Walker. It's now plus 200. What the yeah, fuck? My, my line's doing? taken down. Is he getting choked out? He's on top. <laughs> wow. He's got the back, anyways. All right, Walkers plus one ten. What? Yeah, I'm gonna take it. We reversed it. Plus two twenty. Plus one thirty five. Plus one sixty five. What the fuck? Is he getting beat plus up? Three hundred. Plus three hundred now, Johnny Walker, Junior. Bouter Walker is getting busted up right now. The over one and a half at minus 160 looks like the play of plays here. Yeah, I had the under at minus one or plus 155. Oh, Walker just took a fucking fierce overhand right. He's looking gassed. Gassing. Spinning man, waste that energy. Stupid. Plus 500 for Walker. What's Walker going to come out in this third round and just beat this dude up, knock him out? I think a knockout in the third round. He's just saving his energy. He's just taking a little, taking a little soft. Is that what he's doing? <laughs> I actually, I, I laid off. I just backed off the live line. Well, I live bet it or uh, pregame bet the third round knockout. So that's what it's going to take to win this fight. And you know, he can't go back to Johnny Walker and say he lost, but it's better than Juju. He's getting touched up. Sorry, we're going to go full unit on this next one. Full unit, Dylan. You might have to. Might have I'm going to my, I'm gonna rub my unit all over this next one. Fucking Lucas. Could have taken him at plus 200 pre-flop. You're not fading Morono, are you? You're going Court McGee? I don't know. I haven't, I haven't looked yet. Isn't that the next one? <laughs> I don't know. I haven't looked. <laughs> Balder Walker plus 750 in the second round, softening his opponent up. He's trying to gas him out. He's pulling the old Muhammad Ali where he lets him pound him like a fucking tenderized chicken. I don't know. Sounds crazy. 
<laughs> we'll see, though. Crazier things have happened. I'd love a knockout from him in round three right now. Michael B says Walker looks like a punching bag at this point. Yeah, I mean, look at straight you up. You know, they were saying Muhammad Ali didn't look good. You know, they were like, oh, well, you know, he's getting out there. Foreman's beating him up. All of a sudden, he gasses out the third round. Pop, pop, pop. The music changes. Everyone's happy. Let's go. I'm not advocating plus 750. I'm just saying, I'm rooting my. <laughs> my no, no, don't do it. Let's go. Wow. I mean, no. <laughs> well, you boys are crazy. I like to have a good time, but you boys are a little crazy. <laughs> Michael B says he's pulling the old mob. <laughs> Fuck. Let's go. No, I, 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 Mike, Mike, I'm, I'm actually uh, I'm taking Moreno in this next fight uh, by KO, TKO, or DQ at plus 150. Yeah, I like, uh, I like Moreno. I had Moreno parlayed with. Uh, I didn't like him at Fernanda. 340. Here we go. The baby cage. They're tapping gloves. The third round. Muhammad Walker Ali is in the cage. He's got the center of the cage as well. He's throwing big mitts. That was to our big bear mitts. Ooh, here we go. Huh. Walker looks angry. Walker looks like a bitch. In all fairness, I restrain myself. From the F word. Oh, damn, I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Come on. Shooter Muhammad Ali Walker trying to make some moves here. He's in the center of the cage. 414, 413, 412, 411 to go in the third round. Brezeski looks like a fucking guy cut from a stone. And he's sticking his tongue out as Walker's back against the cage, hiding in fear. Muhammad Ali never hid in fear. Here we go, though. Big movement. Big, big movement now. Plus 250 for Valter Walker. Now plus 100. Knock his ass out of the room. Okay, let's go. Muhammad Ali wouldn't wait for the judges. You shouldn't wait for the judges. Let's go. Took him to the ground, dude. <laughs> Take him to the ground. The ground and pond. Go. Let's fucking go. Let's go. Pond at me. Walk RVD, he down. did take him down. He's on top. He's riding him out. Three minutes left in the third round. Let's go, now, baby. If you overspent on Walker, as I did, now is a good time to jump back the other way. <laughs> Just to neutralize things a little bit. If you overspent. <laughs> if you overspent. Man, fuck that. I'm sticking with my gut. I'll double press Walker. Let's go. Yeah, yep. I'm on Walker. I got him all the way up. But I'm just trying to get a little reasonable oh, neutralizer. He's oh, he's on the back, but he's on the ground. On the back. Let's go, baby. Finish this buck. Let's go. What did I have in the flatten them out? There we go. Now we dump the truck. for the choke. He's got one arm in. Walker. To get it under the chin. Sub this fuck. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Finish it. He doesn't look happy. He's not happy. He's not under the chin, but he's not happy. Let's <laughs> go. So. Oh, ground to pound. Let's go, baby. Full mount. Full mount. Pound this fucker in the third round. Where's the pound? God damn it. Get those arms free. What are you doing here? You just riding them out? Come on. Yeah, he's trying, trying, to, trying to finish on top for the judges. I take this third round. Come on. Plenty of time. A minute 33, a minute 32, a minute 30. Yeah, he's got time. In this third round, plenty of time. The live line has moved to 
about there, Muhammad Ali Walker at minus 345 right now. <laughs> you boys heard it here. Let's you go. guys know what Muhammad Ali does. He lets him pepper him up. Wear yourselves out. And now we've got Brzezinski in the optimum position. The line has needs, moved back to minus 195. Needs to throw some elbows here. Brzezinski's trying to make a finish. Down to minus 130. What the fuck? It's because Walker's done nothing on top that they're... Yeah, he kicked off the cage there. Now he's on top. Blech. It's going to be a tight, tight one. Draw. Let's go. I take a draw. I didn't bet it, but I take it. <laughs> Yeah, Michael B. is definitely going to the cards. Yeah, Walker's fucking gassed. He's covering oh, up, yeah, too. Oh, yeah, he's absolutely gassed. There we go. Lean on him. Put that, there you go. that body finish on him. Pop. Just finish up. Oh, pop. let's go. He's back on top to finish the fight. He's in mounting position? Yeah. Fuck him. Fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And they're hugging it out. Well, at least we finished on top. It's important. That's what she said. That's a could wild fight some, there at the end. Could have need some rigged judges on this one. Yeah. Yeah, Let's we're going to need their help. You need the judges to want the Walker. Brothers oh, storyline. Big, big Scott. Scott at 29 28. Walker. Woo! Uh, I hope so. Me too. I certainly hope so. I don't I don't know if it's gonna go that way. I hope it does, but I don't, I don't know. I would probably go 29 28 the other way, unfortunately. What? Uh, there's gonna be a little scribble on the scorecard because they're gonna be like, oh, it's Walker's I fucking brother. hope so. Oh. <laughs> I oh, hope so. that one. Remember that one UFC fight where they scribbled yeah, on the Dallas Stars scorecard? got a second goal. They only need one more to tie it up. They're going to win this game, I tell you. Let's go. Give it to us. I deserve it. I've been a good boy. Court wants to see the video. Yeah. Go. Let's go win. <laughs> Let's go. Enough of this fucking commercial. We're all waiting for it. Here we go. Give it to us. No. Wow, you faggots. There you go. Wow. Who would have thought uh, who had money on it was me to drop the first F bomb, huh? Who had money on that? Wait, what what was that? <laughs> As I called these judges faggots, Jeff. <laughs> oh. That's you, boys, tough. you boys have done enough. Set the next few plays out. I'll run it. I'm on time out now. Moreno is the next fight up, though. I'm going to go Moreno decision. The over is minus 166. Moreno is minus 360. Uh, I'm actually surprised that was a unanimous decision. It's plus. Yeah. I am on uh, Moreno... KO, TKO, DQ, plus 150. Yeah, second round knockout.
Murano decision. Jesus. This was plus two twenty five over there in FanDuel. I'll take it. Court, you want you want to hear it? I'll play it. Here it is, Court. Grab his dick and twist it. <laughs> Fucking Needed boy. More. Needed more. <laughs> All right. We're rolling. I'm taking Moreno decision plus 200 on DraftKings. I'm taking Moreno and a parlay with Hernandez at even money. Moreno, Hernandez, even money parlay. Ah, fuck. It said Dallas had a goal, but I guess they've taken it away. God damn it. Parlay. Morono. Hernandez. Don't make me win alone, pussies. Yeah, I like uh, Hernandez to get done for sure. I'm going to do it again over here. Yep. It's losing us. Morono's dropping. How about that? Court McGee is catching some steam. A lot of steam. He went from plus 360 to plus 345 to plus 340. Some money coming in on the dog, Court McGee. Yeah, look at him. He, he, he doesn't look like no bitch. Uh, I mean, he was really good up until his last two fights. And he got knocked yeah. out twice in a row. So, I mean, it could be recency bias here. I don't know if he's going to get knocked out again. I see him getting knocked out. He's getting touched up. He's going to decision. No. Fight go the distance. Yes. Minus 105. No. Well, let's see. Time will tell. Let's go. Who we put in this UFC, boys? I'm tailing. We all like Moreno. We all like Moreno. Nobody wanted to pay the price for him. <laughs> Yeah, I got him. Uh, I got him by problem. KO at uh, plus one fifty TKO KO DQ. Um, I, I think I threw on on the PSR uh, competition. I think I threw him a uh, round two KO. Yep, there you are. Way behind, but you're still in the top 15 on the PSR contest. You have 250 points. I'm fucking way leaders behind, got, but I'm still in the top. What? Leaders got 380. Oh, fuck them. Yeah. Let's go. Let's see what happens here, boys. This is the big one. How do you, how do you spell whose last name? <laughs> Where's Dave? The Dodgers 3-0 in the sixth inning. Dave's auto bet the Dodgers over <laughs> four and a half every game of the season. Dos Fires cashed a ton, and they're at 3-0. Nice. Yeah. Here we go. What are, those li- what, what are those lines usually at? Uh, it depends. Anywhere from minus 105 to minus 140. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, that's yeah, not that's bad. bad. You could take it extended too. It's a nice one to ladder, you know, three and a half, four and a half, five and a half. They'll probably get a couple more. Maybe not nice. this late in the game, but I don't bet a lot of team totals. I think I'm too low this year when I do, but I just don't. I don't even. Rano fucking I... touched him up there with that right. Did 
You see there? He just told him, we're going to a decision. And uh, McGee shook his head, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you guys didn't see that? You're not going to beat me up here? <laughs> I don't know. Ronald wants no part of decisions. He's smacking him. Yep. Murano is minus 620 right now. Yeah, Murano's walking him down. Constant pressure putting him up against the cage. Let's go. All that late money coming in on McGee ain't no bitch. Knock this, knock this fucker out. No. Stop. Stop with that. <laughs> I got I got I got a full unit on it. Yeah, well. I had more than I expected on Murano by decision. I don't even know how that happened. Who was here that let that happen? And I got the fight goes the distance. I don't Let's go, know. McGee's starting to do a little shimmy shammy. Let's go. Is he? Muhammad Ali style? Come on. <laughs> All right, Dylan, what do you want? <laughs> I'm not on anything here. I passed. Wait for this fucking main card. Pussy. Fucking Canadian. It was Corn McGee or bust for me, but I couldn't bet on him. Damn. I hear you. I saw an interesting stat, too, on Twitter that said uh, Alex Morono betters are just losers, according to uh, like bet MMA tips. It's like the worst one. Worst fighter to bet on is this guy. Oh, I didn't a see what they Crazy. Is that a shot across the bow there? <laughs> oh, he's touching him up. Nope. Our boy doesn't have anything on this one. We're in good shape. Good. The fighter to remain nameless. <laughs> it's clean. They call it clean, Don. It's clean. Here we go. Moreno in the center of the ring. Minus one. Uh, minute 40. Minute 38. Minute 37. Minute 36. Put McGee back up there against the cage. Everybody was late money on Moreno is, or uh, McGee. Can he get out of this first round without getting touched up? And if he does, can he go the distance and cash my plus 200? Let's see. Back to the center of the cage they go. A minute 17, a minute 16, a minute 15. McGee, Moreno battle. And Moreno has the center of the ring. McGee trying to duck and jive around these this there, the fakes, the faints, everything else that Moreno's throwing at him. But McGee is trying to make a move, a little kick to the center of the cage there. Moves back out there, and uh, Moreno comes back over the top of the big bomb that misses as well. They're just kind of battling here. 51, 50, 49 left in the first round. We've got McGee now to the center of the ring. 43, 42, 41, 40 seconds left in the first round. Here we go. They're really not doing much of anything. Moreno tried to make a move. Then all of a sudden on the other counter is McGee. Pop, pop, pop. A big back kick. Miss from Moreno. 28 seconds. This thing is running backwards. 25, 24, 23. Moreno does have McGee back up against the cage with 20 seconds to go in the first round. He's trying to size him, but McGee is not going to settle for it. He's coming out there with the counter jabs. 10 seconds left. Moreno has moved back against the cage as opposed to McGee who has the center of the ring. Big spinning back kick miss from Moreno. They're going to the intermission here. They're going to give each other a token slap up. It's Jason Herzog. We expect violence. We're getting ready for the second round. Speechless. Second round. Everybody's speechless. Court McGee is now plus 400. Moreno is minus 620. I'm going to go take a leap so I can get ready for this thing to go to decision. Let's go.
Uh, agreed, Michael B. Uh, that's exactly why I think they uh, people are jumping on them. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think what's that? The biggest okay. dog on the card. Give it a shot, but uh, I don't think so tonight. Yeah, I don't think so. Either. I said I was tempted too, but uh, no. <laughs> 39-year-old uh, have not done well and hadn't done well tonight either, so I don't see him pulling through. Agreed, agreed. Perky, my book doesn't offer that. Otherwise, I would probably jump on that one. Are you? Uh, do you have Cage Warriors on, Dylan? No, I'm only it's watching like you. Co-main or, it's fucking bloody as hell. Interesting. Yeah, both guys are bloodied up, which I always like to see. Oh, Moreno's got the neck. Has he got the darts choking? He's squeezing. He's squeezing. I got him by KO though. I don't need the. I don't need the. He's looking for the submission here. Let's see. Let's see. He's got it in. It looks like it's tight. He's getting the the locking his legs up too. Yeah. Apply some more pressure. Legs are getting there. up high. Oh, jeez. He feels like he's got it. I don't need the submission. I need the KO, but. Everybody settle down. <laughs> oh, Court McGee is plus 140. Why did it drop? He's Well, he's on top now, and he's now he's got the ground and pound going. Yeah. Morano's going to get up here, hopefully. Yeah, fanatical. It can't be can't be working the way he is. He needs to get his ass up. KO's not looking good. Morono by decision, not looking bad. Not looking bad. Still. So, Three three minutes left in the second round, and it's just still time. Well, Moreno is still minus two ninety. He went from two seventy to two ninety eight. So we're moving in the right direction. Let's just do something here. Stop being a scumbag. We have a no scumbags allowed philosophy here on Saturday Night Sports. <laughs> it's official. Anytime Moreno wants to throw him off, that's fine. Right, we do have the Sharks and Blues game. I know you and I touched on it earlier, Mike. I actually think I'm going to jump on the under in that one. Under six, minus 115. I'm up money, so fuck them. Yeah, I took it. Baltimore's trying to come back. What, baseball? Yep. Uh, yeah, I didn't play that one. Court McGee odds are up to plus 260. If you like Court McGee to start this thing off, get him right now. It's plus 285. The second round, apparently, Morono has shown enough to shake him off. We all know I drunk clicked this Moreno decision. Accidentally went too heavy. So let's see what happens. It's going to be a big one if it gets there. The second round. <clears throat> real real deal. Were you talking about uh, the under in that game? <laughs> that was bold. Two teams I think are good for the comeback, Baltimore and Cincinnati. They're both down a run. Oh, he rocked them. Yeah. He 
Who got rocked? Port McGee. It's back to plus 175 now, minus 200 for Morono. Plus 140. Whew, Morono's throwing the fucking sleeper. Looking to put him out. The old dimmer switch. Let's go. Eight seconds left in the second round. A high kick from Moreno lands with a defensive effort from McGee. Three seconds, two seconds, one second. Moreno does a little aggressive bop, but doesn't really make many contact there. Away they go to the uh, corners. Second round's over. Florida Panthers tie it up. Two, two. Let's fucking go. Let's go, baby. Well, that's one we need. Yeah, Jets yeah. are up three, two. Yeah, that's oh, one yeah. we need. <laughs> Let's go. And Dallas starts two, three. Yeah. Let's go. It's all happening, boys. Let's go. Let's get this Moreno by decision, and then we can move on to the next one. <laughs> Here you go, Mike. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, sure let's go. Chicago has a penalty, and Dallas has the power play. Sure, I can. Let me take a look. Uh, Fleet, Fleet. I'm on the other side of that one. I'm on Campbell on the on the next fight. This is when the Dallas Stars tie it up. Cody on Norton, you're going to hear this one first before anybody else. Everybody else, close your ears. I'm going the Diamondbacks. I'm going to take the Diamondbacks for a half unit and a full unit on the plus one and a half. I'm moving on the Rockies money line. Fuck Tampa Bay. I'm taking the San Francisco Giants as well in Major League Baseball. Uh, and then as far as uh, this first game, I've got NC State plus nine and a half, and I've got the first half plus five. I like NC State to be competitive. Also on the over, I let, late added the over, so. I think that's pretty much it for right now. Let's see. NHL-wise, no. The 7 o'clock games are coming, but we still have an hour, so I'm, I'm waiting to see where we go. But uh, that's it. That's what I got for you guys right now. Cody Norton, get that cash, my guy. Lee Mathis is Trevor Peak plus 145. I like Trevor yeah, Peak. But I'm on the other Trevor, side of that. Yeah, Trevor yeah. Peake doesn't clear the uh, doesn't clear the evaluation process. So he does not. <laughs> you no, know, huge fan, really. and he great. He got through, but you know, now at this level, I uh, I know Charlie Campbell does have some good striking and you know, good training, all that. I don't think Trevor Peake's kind of wild style is going to get him that far. McKee, Morono, McKee still dancing around the center of the ring. Looks like he wants to bring home my decision. Let's see what happens, though. These judges can fuck around and yeah, find out. Nobody's really doing enough to make this third round decisive here. No, doesn't look like he's looking to knock him out either. Fuck all that's happened in this third round, really. It's like a first no, round. I'm like feeling each other out and missing punches. Like, what's going on? Wish I had that. Would, would you get it at plus 200, plus 220? Yeah, 200. Yeah, wish I had that. Still some hope. 245 left. On a principle, I have to go with Campbell by decision. It does not pass the. Uh, Free and clear test. There's mucked up spots all over Peak. So uh, Trevor I gotta Peak go to Campbell. I gotta the go to... test. Yeah, I just. I don't mind uh, Charlie Campbell by decision at all. The better to remain nameless is on Peak as well. So it, for me, it's just a sprinkle on the decision with Campbell. I, I am on Campbell straight up. Took the juice. In fact, I took that one heavy. (laughs) 
I'm on the Oilers game, as you guys know. I said it earlier. Uh, I'm on the Oilers over. I did a uh, parley with the Oilers and the Leafs game both over at uh, plus 250. I got the Oilers regulation minus 110. They're going to whip the Flames asses tonight. Well, I, I want Campbell decision for a sprinkle perky. I, yeah, perky, I'm, I, I ate the juice. I'm taking it. Smoking mirrors. What up, homie? <laughs> smoke. Oh, smoke. Smoke. Let's go, Smoke. Spending as little of the last evening in his 40s. With you, nutsacks. He's talking about you guys when he says nutsacks. Murano, that. I'm going to need to get a refill, and I'm going to have to do it between this fight ending and the decision. McGee tagging up Murano a little bit there at the end, though. I can't believe we didn't put him out. No, Murano's got this fight. Oof, throwing the fucking haymaker at the end there. Spinning back fist. Oh. Yeah, Perky, I'm on Campbell money line. I'm, uh, I'm rubbing my full unit all over him. McGee finishing on top. To close out this third round is going to be suspect. Let's see. I got to get a refill. All right. Nobody on this? Oh, he doesn't miss it. Uh, what do you got for this next one, Dylan? Uh, the next one, I'm on Charlie Campbell also. Yeah, I, I actually like – there hasn't been a whole lot of violence on this card as we talk about on a, on a regular basis, but – uh. I'm on I'm on Campbell, but I do like you know what I actually might take Campbell round one KO. There hasn't been a whole lot of KOs on this one. No, there hasn't. Ah, gee, what the fuck? God damn it! The under under one and a half is minus one fifty. So it actually was minus one forty five. So it's shifting to the under. I'm going to take Campbell by KO at plus 150. So I'm on Campbell with the juice at minus 165, and I am now taking Campbell by KO, TKO, DQ at plus 150. Mercy, you baby, let's go! Oh, well, we got no videos? I got a video. I'll take that plus 200 with a larger than expected bet. Let's fucking Perky, go. Yes. Somebody yes. please tell me where else you're going to have this much fucking fun. You the man. You the man. Perky, take it. Take it. I'll tell you what, the bookie just took it on that one. That was a big one right there, boys. <laughs> the larger than expected bet. Came through. Let's go. Fuck yeah. Oh, it just gets me excited. Makes Perky, me I'm going to dance. I'm going to smoke and then we're gonna come back in and fucking celebrate. Make that money. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, don't want that. Yeah. <laughs> That's a big win, boys. Big, yeah. big win. Gonna roll tonight. Fight goes the distance, minus 105. Cash it. Moreno by decision. Plus 200. Catch it. Moreno, Hernandez, two leg, even money, parlay, one leg, open and ready to roll for business. Let's go. 
Fuck yeah. Winnipeg scored another goal, four to two. Let's go. Yeah. It does look like. What up? Was, Eric Bush, my here. guy. Let's go. Fanatical Jim says, nice casher. Mike, let's go, baby. Let's get this money. Dallas Stars actually lost to the Blackhawks. What the fuck, Mike? Perky says, love you guys Crazy. for this shit on Campbell Moneyline. Either way it goes, I'm winning with your UFC, but this one has a W written all over it. Let's go, Perky. Fuck yeah, my yeah. guy, professional downhill skier. Michael B in the house. He says, LFG Moreno decision. Nice plus D25. And the little John one has to be the best. This is what Cody Norton says. Yeah, that's a good one, too. Yeah, listen. We're open for suggestions. We're just building this thing, you guys. know. we're just getting started here. It was important to get the plane in the air. We'll fix those wings while we're flying, baby. But we are flying right now. That was great casher. <laughs> that's a great casher. And it was it was way too heavy, which makes it even better. Way it, listen. Every so often things slip and you get a big one. Campbell, though. I'm gonna take Campbell by decision. I got you guys with Campbell minus 155. I like it, but I'm going decision. I just want a big spot there. This one's plus six hundred for me with this decision. Uh, there's a lot of juju factors in there. The better to remain nameless is on peak. We do not want to be on that side for sure. If you get them plus 160, it's down to plus 130. To be noted. Campbell. Juice is running. The look at this one though. The over one and a half is plus one fourteen. I'll tell you what. I'm gonna add that. Give me this over one and a half for Campbell Peak. Why not? Damon Santora in the house. I, I don't know why you're cursing, my guy. We're just getting started. Let's go. Oh, we're Let's go. over cash. I'm pushing both, Mike. I'm on that over one and a half with you. I'm going to take the over two and a half at plus 240 also. Well, you might as well take Campbell by decision at plus 600. Okay. What do you see? Oh, yeah. For? I took that earlier, too. Yeah. But I'm going to take the ladder. Why not take Let's it go. all? It's just, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Why not take it all? Go rescue that um, little kitten from the tree. Trevor the ladder's already fucking, up against it. Trevor Peak's tough as fuck, too. Like, he's, he can take a shot. Um, I'm not really liking that they're screaming Charlie Campbell to get the KO here. Seems a little sus. Shout out to you, Perky. Bumps, Trevor my Peak. guy. Yeah. You know what? Trevor Shout Peak survives on toughness alone. That's what got him here. Like you said, you can't trust him as a skilled fighter. He got by on swinging hammer fists, Mike, and being fucking tough as shit. That's why you got here, you know? So let's go. Oh, Damon Santori, you're welcome to come hang out with us, my guy. You want to you want to get the invite? Let us know. You're welcome to come in and talk some baseball, whatever you want to talk, man. Base, big card for baseball tonight as well, Damon Santori. So you're always welcome, my guy. Let me know. Minty Betts looks exceptional tonight. The best way you can watch Minty Betts is on mute, which I am, and she does look exceptional. What? That's not okay. That's not okay. Michael B says I took Campbell and round two to start plus one. I like that. I like that move, Michael B. <laughs> Round two to start. Dave's in the house. Dave got a wardrobe change. Important. It's a full day. We got to get a wardrobe change from Dave. Dave, Dave, stand up and give us a spin. You're on mute. You're on mute. Yeah, let's see this new felt, Dave. I just took my 
I just took my sweatshirt off. He's oh. ketoed up. He's well, ketoed he's up, motherfucker. In all of two weeks, okay? <laughs> Keto from Dave. You know, let's go. The omelet pimp is back. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Diet uh, cherry seven up. I got vodka. Well, I wish I could be there, but I can't. Dave, I'm not sure what happened when we were gone, but it seemed like a lot. I don't know. Reality is it was probably nothing. We'll see. Um, <laughs> I took this Campbell by guy by KO. That's what I did. Square. Hey, oh, I, I, I think Mike won a bet. Is what yeah, I think I won a bet. That's what happened. Oh, did oh yeah. I won the decision bet there. How about that? Hey. Hey. Awesome, boys. Hey. Plus 200. <laughs> What's the, and it was a heavy one, Dave. It was an accidental heavy one. I know you've been around for the accidental heavy bets. So you double tapped it or put an extra zero or what? Yeah, it was basically the extra zero. Yeah, there you go. Oops. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> and by decision, which was exceptionally oopsie. Let's roll. I got Campbell decision plus 600. I got over one and a half rounds of plus 120. I'll tell you what I'm trying to do, boys. You want to know what I'm trying to do? I'll tell you. I'll tell you exactly what I'm trying to do. Yeah, let's get this fucking money, bitches. Here we go. What's going on with this fight? Why are we not starting yet? I'm ready. They're scared. They're scared. They said they didn't want. They didn't want your action. They pulled it back. Uh, they're comfortable taking the better to remain nameless action, though. That seems fucked up. <laughs> Do you see how fucked up that is? Uh, I, I'm beyond literally. Yeah. yeah, literally. We've gone to the degree of talking about not using the red X's properly. I just want it to be, I just don't want to be on the side, but that's why you guys are here. We can tell you where not to be and uh, we will keep it rolling. So we have big fun well, coming up, Dave. Fuckers, we got some fucking hockey coming up at 7 p.m. You want the noise brought on you? Because here it comes. The what? The what? You want the noise brought on you? Dave? Uh, no, I don't. The Florida Panthers are tied six minutes to go in the third period. I've been pressing Michael all B's kinds of... Out, Michael B's throwing out your shit for uh, Baltimore there. Yeah, let's go. I'm going to take the Panthers again, though. Really? What's that? Yeah. I took them. Minus 110. Yeah, I mean, oh, yeah. we're down to five minutes left in the third period, and it's the revenge angle, so. Fuck them, why not? It's not like we're losing it. Yeah, Baltimore. Might not win, might not win it, but might lose it? No. Listen, just to cover all bases, I'm just going to parlay the Reds and the Baltimore Orioles together. It's plus 1700 Just throw 25 bucks on it. That's it. Dancing, dancing, spinematic. We are at that point, boys. Time to officially lock in. We're well past that point. Five minutes, four, 15 46 left in the first half. Purdue's up 12 4. 12 4. I'm going to take the over. God damn. You Let's think we go. were broke? First fight on the main card. We're popping off. Campbell Peak. David's big one. Yeah, it'd be nice to win a fucking fight. It'd be real nice. I, I, I'm i getting too tricky. I just Well, the problem is I'm not getting tricky. I'm not laying the juice, but I guess I should just stay off him if I don't. 
I was saying this to the boys a couple weeks ago. I said, up to minus 200. You just, you, you, you know, if you like the fighter, you got to eat the odds. But when you get to uh, minus 200 plus, you got to find different ways to play these guys. Take the win where you can. Hard enough to get a win. This baby cage is some shit, though. Look, at, it does look smaller when they when they zoom in from the overhead. Forever Peak, 9-in-1, fighting out of Chattanooga, Tennessee, plus 140 dog. First time as a UFC dog, the fighter, the better to remain oh. nameless is all over. Put him right in his face, Jet. <laughs> He's about to get touched up. Yeah, that seemed like a ballsy move, didn't it? Yeah, you don't do that. Unnecessarily walked over into the other fighter's face. No nonsense. Keith Peterson in the ring. Keith. Wrestling rules. Real deal prime. Keith, I like whiskey in my coffee, Peterson. Out there repping this matchup. What did they call him that? Have they caught him like drinking or something? Or uh he he called an early decision. Well, for the for the fighter. And uh, he then he called him out about smelling like smokes and whiskey. Yeah, it was Dominic Cruz. Was it Dominic Cruz? Like, I, yeah, I, 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 and yeah. I thought he smelled like cigarettes and alcohol. Yeah, well, yeah. Man, I, I said I whiskey. Was yeah. Yeah. Seems like a whiskey was, drinker to me. Listen to his voice, too. He's got raspy as fuck. He definitely smokes. It's the whiskey voice. I thought, hey, you ready? You ready? Hey. Sir, are you ready? Look at this natural redness in his cheeks. He does look like he's got a cocktail on him already, doesn't it? Watch him. Look at him over there. If you told me that guy had three cocktails in him already, I wouldn't argue with you. Look at it. Look at, look at his face. He's got three deep already? I wouldn't argue. Look at him. Just happy to be there. You're going to pay me to watch this right in person? He does a shot. He does a shot for a fight. Dave, the Dodgers, 4 0. Need one more. Yes, it, sir. Uh, how many more innings are left? Like one? Uh, yeah, maybe. I, I didn't see that far, but I'm with yeah. you. I'm with you on that four and a half. Let's go. Yeah, it's going to be tight. Oh, big kick to the leg on Peak. Kind of buckled. Now Peak's trying to throw him back up against the cheese grater. 320 left in the first round. A long way to go for Campbell by decision. All the action was on the under one and a half rounds. Three minutes left in the first round. What up, Dan? Says, sup, fellas. What up, Dan? You Aussie motherfucker, you got some fucking rugby for us? Ooh. Got real quiet in here. Did I did I get on mute? You offended everybody. Oh, possibly. Dan's gonna give us a real treat with some uh some rugby. Dan is a rugby yeah. specialist. All right, we got the uh, the Jets are up 4-2 over the Wild. Panthers sure are tied 2-2 two, two with uh, two and a half minutes left. Took them. Would you take them at? Uh, I don't know, minus 110, I think. Yeah, my, my book wasn't offering it. I took them pregame, minus 105, but I'm wrong. Campbell. Minus 155 live has been removed. Campbell is showing that he's the aggressor, but Peak is doing a little chirping of the beak there, trying to get him a little, little pop shot in the face here. Peak's no bitch, but... No, but Campbell's the aggressor. Campbell's the better yep. fighter. 
He's the big, he's got that stupid blonde streak in his hair too. So, you know, he ain't coming out <laughs> here to fuck around. Big kick to the midsection for Campbell. Peak back up against the cage. Of course, we know the better to remain nameless is on peak. We're rolling here with Campbell. 55 seconds left in the first round. He's got him back kind of against the cage. He's got the center of the ring. He throws a high kick. It doesn't get there, but he does follow back with a right counter. Now they're back to the middle of the ring. No, he touched oh, him up. No way. We see Peak tries to rush Campbell. He steps out of the way. Now Campbell gives him a big knee to the head. 34 seconds left in the first round, boys. Here we go. It's getting there. 28, 27, 26. Campbell is in the center of the ring. Peak against the cage. A big right hook from Campbell. 18 seconds, 17 seconds, 16 seconds. Here we go. Another right bobber. To the face of missed uppercut. Now they're squaring up at the center of the cage. Nine seconds. Peak gets thrown down by Campbell. Campbell's trying to give him the backpack. Instead, he settles for the knee of the cage. One second left. Campbell definitely put it on the line at the end of that first round. As fucking, did I. fucking dickhead. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Exciting. That was exciting. exciting. Well, and that was the end of the first round. <laughs> oh, We're only through round one. Shit. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's like anyway. Yeah. Well, listen, you boys, someone's on the next round. Good luck. Good luck following that. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, yeah, no, thank you. I uh, I let it go. I would do it, but if I get jacked up, my dog gets jacked up. This one sitting right here. No, oh, there's my girl. Leonard, I'm rolling on Alan. Fuck Curtis, in my opinion. He's too old, but we'll see. Yeah. All right, stop it. Yeah, Campbell is oh, working oh, oh. right now. Oh, oh. You hear that? You hear it? No, it's not outside. <laughs> Look, you hear it? Here we go. Round number two is squared off, boys. Yeah, uh, uh, Perky, he's he's pushing him up against that. Nah, not pushing him, but he's he's forcing him against the fence. Not right now, but in that first round, he was. Campbell's Ooh. minus 425. Those boys are swinging. Peach trying to foot stop. If Campbell, if Campbell doesn't knock him out this round, I kind of want him to lose the round so I can bet on a money line. Campbell by decision plus 600. Over one and a half is the bet we're sweating right now. We need another minute and a half, but Campbell is trying to throw uppercuts, lower leg kick, lower leg kick, lower leg kick, and then a bop over the top. This does a big miss, though. He's pulling the shorts up on Peak. He's got him back up against the cage. Three fifty. Uh, Peak looks go, scared. Boy. Peak looks scared. He looks winded. We're good. He's good. This is how he fights. Yep. Oh, what are you on, Peak? No, we're on the over one and a half, though. <laughs> No, yeah. One more minute. <laughs> one more minute, baby. Campbell shooting for a takedown misses. A a knee, a a knee. But he has him up against the cage. He's trying the foot stomp. The foot stomp would piss me off. He got both his feet, too. The right foot twice and then the left foot once. Yeah. <laughs> you see that he's moving his feet now, too, Campbell. You don't want to get the foot stomp <laughs> again. He got him twice. Three times, actually. Two on the right one. The right one's up against the cage. But here we go now. He's trying to make a move, a big knee to the middle as he's trying to get position. But Campbell just keeps throwing fists, a little lefty, a little righty, a couple righties. He's trying to spin out against the cage. Peak now does have him back against the cheese grater. Obviously, Campbell's aware of the foot stomp. 250 to go. We're back to the middle of the cage. Boom. Coming out aggressive, but Woo! Campbell throws him oh, down. Swinging the classic hammer fists. Yep. We got the first one. Let's go. Continue. Continue. Campbell's 
Campbell's fighting. Campbell's on top. We know the fighter to remain nameless was all over peak, but we have Campbell. He's minus 810 right now. Might see Campbell a submission. Not, trying to make some moves happen here. We have crossed over the barrier. We have cashed the over in the first one and a half rounds. We're on our way here. Oh, Let's yes. keep going. Hang in there, peak. Just enough to get us a decision at plus 600. Just hang in. Oh, 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 he's wearing the backpack, though. It's I never don't know. He's got to get out of there. I don't know. The backpack turned to the crucifix, turned to the Ooh. elbow against the throat. Could back to the oh, backpack. Boy. You put it out of the backpack. Good. Now he's squeezing the temples. He doesn't even care if he's on the throat. He just wants the temples. Shut up, this fucker. You can't finish him. You can't tap. But remember that as we go here, Campbell on top again. He's got a hook in already. He's wearing over the top. Oh, they're back to squaring up. Hey, get, up Pete. get up, Pete. Get up, Pete. minute, 15 to go. Peak is throwing some boxing moves in there. Campbell's doing everything he can just to hang on there with that stupid blonde streak in his hair. He's up against the cage. He's taking bonus. 102, 101, a minute left in the second round. This thing got creative all of a sudden. We're rolling. Campbell down to a knee, trying to do everything he can not to get hit in the I face. He's oh. dragging him across oh, the ground. Oh, clip, 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 clip. Campbell's clipping. He got some knee to the chest. 40 seconds. Ooh. Pete Ooh. throws down Campbell. We're good. They're clipping now on top. Peek is clip, clip, clipping. Peek has 17 significant takedowns and 27 Ooh. in the second round. So, Campbell's got, got 21. Survive. Here we go. 23 seconds to go. Peak has Campbell up against the cage. Knee to the chest. 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 Campbell's throwing these. And Peak had no choice but to disengage. Now he looks hurt. He looks hurt from those knees. Oh, man. Yeah. He's just leaning Let's out. Go. Hoping they can get done with this second round. One second. An extra little mercy kick. From both boys, they're going to the cage. Big the Scott is a oh. fucking battle. Great fight. It's a good fight. It's a really good fight. Yeah. Let's go. Why not get Campbell in the fucking distance plus 600? Let's go. God damn it. Dylan alternated the overs. He got the over two and a half. Let's go, Dylan. Let's go two and a half more minutes, baby. We could get there. Oh, we can get there. Someone's got to call this third round. My gasket's got to get re repaired. Blew it out there. All right, I'll fucking do it. Let's go. What are you doing? Calling the third round? It's calling the third round. All right. I'm looking forward to betting on the winner of the fight and losing my bet three times today. I'm looking forward. Hey, to we it. have so many you know, fights to go. I I I, I will, this, if I do not win this fight, this will be the last fight that I bet. Uh, I will have lost. I will be one in five. And uh, coming out here, healing each other out. Charlie with the leg kicks. Trevor goes for the brawl again with the hammer fist. On Purdue, Charlie right, gets the takedown. He's on top. S shooting for another submission. Looks like he's got it around the head. No, ties it up. Trevor Peak turns it around. He's got Charlie Campbell up against the fence now. Fucking Going foot stomping foot again. Stomps. See that? Yeah, that yeah, fucking foot stomp from Peak. Dirty motherfucker, that Peak. Charlie Campbell's trying to get out of there, fishing for an underhook, shooting some inside shots, but uh, Trevor Peak hits him in the quad with some knees. He's pressing his head right into his stomach. Come on, get out of there, Charlie. Let's go. They're just holding hands right now. Trevor Peak with another foot stomp. Aggressive foot stomps, too. Big fuck-off foot stomps. Yeah, Charlie dickhead. Campbell turns it around, though. Puts a knee to his stomach, another knee. Elbow over the top. Trevor Peak with a big three-piece combination and another takedown. Great fight. Oh, fuck to put Boston about a goal in overtime. Fuck you, Boston. 
Charlie Campbell gets out of it. This is horrible. Oh, no. Campbell needs to end Trevor this round on top. on top. He's back on top now. I think Trevor Peak is running out of steam. Yeah. For sure. Charlie Campbell's looking to take his back. He's got yeah, one the leg. Better remain, the the better leg better remain nameless. His back. He turns him over. Still has his back. Now a back mount, feeding him some shots, looking for a rear naked choke. He's got the body lock in now. He's got the arm in, though, does peak. So the submission's not there. He's got to get his arm around that shoulder and inside. And he would be able to submit him here. But let's go. We need 25 more seconds for this over two and a half. Let's get there. Let's fucking get there. Charlie Campbell's just feeding him some shots from the back. Still has back mounts. Body triangle locked right in. Let's fucking go. Looking for so the you got that choke in there? Over. He's trying to fish it in there. He turns him over onto his back. Still fishing for it. Could be there. We hit the over two and a half officially. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Survive two and a half more minutes peak. Looking for an arm triangle. I don't think he has any of these submissions in. No, don't have it yet. Let's go. He doesn't Just have any of them close to him. He's fishing for it, but it's not Give the proper. Give me the plus 600 now. It's fine. not the proper position at all. His hands Kirk, on you know what's happening here. You know what's happening here. He keeps fishing around. Yeah. Get it. Get it. Honestly, there no. hasn't been any threatening submission attempts that I've seen. No. no. I mean, he's, he's kind of got it. But he's no. pushing it off. Peaks a survivor. He's out. Peaks back up against the fence. Charlie Campbell still has his back. Got a leg in. Trying to drag him around. Trevor Peak defends the takedown. With pure body strength. Nothing but pure strength for this guy. Taking his back again. Trying to sneak the leg in there. Trying to take him down. Feeding him some knees. Nah. Minute 18, again. minute 17, minute 16. We're back. getting down to it. We're close enough. There we Tries go. Center of the ring, baby. Oh, and they're touch back it. to the center. Touch him up. No. Okay, no. Look for Stop. Trevor Peak to just go nuts yeah. here in the last minute. Yeah. No. no he's got nothing. He's back no. down. Charlie Campbell he's has down. him back. Fetal position. Tick tock. Get this fucking Let's thing go. over with. 48, 47, 46, 45 seconds. Come on, Dylan. Let's go. They're just wrestling around right now, really. Mashing Campbell's on top looking for the head and arm choke. And uh, now they're, they're – He doesn't have any – every submission he tries, he's not going to get it. We're getting this decision. Yeah, no, I agree. I agree. He tries, he's you know, to, a weak-ass He's looking ass to get in the full mount, but he's got the light tied up. I think Charlie Campbell's a little bit tired here, too. You know, I agree. He's going to keep fishing around here. 20 seconds left. Sneaks the arm through. Just laying on each other now. There Trevor Peak tries to get out. Get in the back. Get in the back. Position, dominant position. 10 seconds left. Quick slap to the head. Shot now to the head. Now he's got the backpack. He's going to try Five, it last time. Four, three, two, one. Zero. We're in the fucking money, baby. It's Let's gotta go. gotta be. We're in the fucking money. You know it. <laughs> gotta be. <laughs> Woo. Campbell decision. I didn't even look at FanDuel. I, I should have. I just did this one on DraftKings. It was plus 600. Let's go, Campbell. Right Let's back. Let's go. God damn it. We deserve it. I took Campbell straight up. Then he went down to minus 130. I jumped in on him at minus 130. He's got to be the guy no. here. Oh, he's absolutely the guy here. Oh, yeah. I, no the doubt. Over, over one and a half was plus 114 as well. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. That's a pretty big tickets. Oh, man. Cash plus one, that shit. <laughs> plus 105 I got for over one and a half, plus 240 Give for it over to two us. and a half. And plus 500. We're about to get this. Woo that was no joke on that one. <laughs> Even the last one, minus 130. Let's go. Give it to us.
and the Cincinnati Reds pull up nine five. Nine five. Perk, fuck yeah, dude. Appreciate you joining in and following along, motherfucker. Fuck yeah. Let's go! Let's fucking go! Uh, oops. <laughs> That's how you win the UFC, boys. I'm on a uh, Baja Munez here. Uh, what did I take? Uh, by KO TKO. I don't think there's been enough KOs tonight. Or today, I guess I should say. It's only 6.30. That was a big one. So I'm on Baja Munez, uh, KO TKO. Fucking, that's it. I'm going to go smoke. Uh, you know what? Jeff talked. I didn't hear a single word he said. Dylan, what did he say? He said he was going for a smoke and he's on uh, Ignacio. Baja Munez by fucking KO. Yeah, come back. KO, man. He might get a fucking sub. I got you. Get the fuck out of here. Go smoke. You got you. I got you now. But I'm, yeah, I'm with you. I like that spot too. I'm just going to. Get in there and be oh, your bucket. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it if you like it. No, oh, scumbag. You better. You've known me too long to say that. I'll tell you what I have. Bob Munez KO and rounds two or three. Let's take a look at what those are pay, paying out here. That was a big one. That last one was absolutely a big one. Glorious plus six hundred. Man, I opened up cash in a plus a thousand, cash a plus six hundred. Got some plus spots along the way. Got we took some dogs minus one fifty five, minus one forty five. <coughs> Sometimes the UFC just does me right. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, it's been good today. Ba, Kamunas. Let's see. There's always some greasy shit on the prelims through the middle, but uh, main card, I know we always fucking smash it, so let's go. All right. I'm taking hmm. Ooh, I like this one. I found this little nugget. Baja Munez and over one and a half is minus 105. Like that. A little sneaker. Oh. Do you hear that, Dylan? I did. I found that little Baja Munez and over one and a half at minus 105. Take that. It's not bad. Um... <sighs> I don't know. I'm considering fading this fucking kid and taking Christos Giagos. Baltimore has tied up the game with Pittsburgh. Oh my god. That that parlay was like I'll look, I'll tell you exactly what it was. I took it. When I said Baltimore and fucking Cincinnati, let's go. Did Cincinnati lose though. I feel like they might have lost. Nope. They're not losing when they're up 9-5. I think that was like a plus 800. I'll have to look. I will have to look. God damn. 
Big Jets win. Let's go. Big Jets win. We get that Jets money yet? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, another play I took in basketball coming up in an hour or so. Memphis Grizzlies plus 14 and a half with the 76ers. Yeah, Michael B. I see that. Since it is up four, the boys are rolling. We need Baltimore to win now, too. That I, I didn't look at what the parlay was, but it's okay. Bob Munez knocks him out in the second or third round. Plus 650 plus 850. Okay. I'm here. Let's go. The glorious day. The sun is still out. Jose Bouquet says joining the program soon, lads. Oh, it's going to be a lot of fun. We got oh, Jose Bouquet coming in here. Let's get this cash, boys. It's go fucking time right now. We've got uh, Bahamunas. Let me just double check back. You guys know there is a better to remain nameless. Just have to make sure he's not in this action. Nope, doesn't look like he is. Doesn't look like he is. It's always important for me. Yeah. I've made my decision, Mike. They're favoring him inside the distance. I kind of feel like a sub. Jeff likes the KO, but I'm going to do the round two and three. It's the classic play. Ignacio round two or three at plus 350 and plus 400. Court, I'm not going to say it. <laughs> You can hit me on DM. Hit me on hit me on X, and I'll I'll say I don't I don't uh, no I don't want to disrespect anybody. I'll disrespect him on oh, my DM. I'll disrespect two, him on my DM. I don't want to do it here publicly. Round two starts at minus one thirty five. It's not bad. It's not bad either. Yeah. Let's go, boys. Let's get this action. I'll tell you what, I took the second and third round knockouts by Ignacio Bahamundes. Let's go. JPZ in the house. What it is, my guy, JPZ. Perky Bump says, if it's me, Mike, I, it's no, it's not Perky. No. You can hit you can hit me up on DM too, my guy. You always know. I'll tell you who it is. It's not you. Okay. See, I got something else for that Oilers game. I just looked it up versus the Flames. Zach Hyman's got four goals. I think we could expect him to get another one tonight. I'm going to take one goal prop on that game, and I'll tell you who it is when we get there. Leandre Isaac. Yeah. What? This is a free and clear game. Nothing Ooh. is mucking up the window. What do you think about this fight? You like Bahamunes uh, KO? Yep. I took it. I took it. We got a fucking Jose is going to jump in this fucker? Yeah. Fucking real treat. Everybody tighten up, you know? Pull it back together. <laughs> Sync up. A couple of schools. Second and third round knockouts for me. Plus 650, plus 850. Of course I took them. I like I do it. like the over. We just made some great cash. 
I'm gonna smack that the fuck up. Whew. <laughs> run and run. I tell you, we're gonna get this. Look at this. The Baja Munez and over one and a half rounds. Plus 200. Or plus 110. <coughs> Baja Munez and over one and a half rounds. Same game, Carl. Let's go. Why not? Why not? I've been striking. Who cares? All right. Okay. Over. And that correlates with my over two and three round knockouts. Let's go. Hell yeah, Michael B. Baja. He's going to get this. Fuck it. I like it. I like it, boys. Getting all we appreciate it. everybody hanging out with us tonight. Guys, go out there, hit that thumbs up button, show the support for us. You guys are loyal guys. Appreciate everybody. I see all you guys in the chat. Uh, throw the thumbs up out there. Help us uh help us promote the brand, if you will, here Saturday night. A lot of fun. We got games popping, we're games in play as well, and we're all looking at Baja Mendes. Let's go. Big Scott says, me and Jeff are separated by 20 points in the PSR contest. <laughs> oh, Big Scott, get him. Get him, Big Scott. <laughs> I can appreciate it. Well, who's in the lead? <laughs> Is it me? Am I in the lead? No, no, I got Big Scott by 20 points. Gee, I don't even fucking see your name on the list. Yo, stop. <laughs> Don't you, Did you even enter this week? Me. <laughs> gotta scroll all the way down to see your shit. <laughs> no, nah, Big Scott, fuck it. Hell yeah, dude. Rock it. Sounds like a side bet. Sounds God. like a side bet. A little $10 God, I, side bet. I, I certainly will, but uh, as you know, I'm uh, tied up for the next couple of weeks. Bye. MMA Ashley? Uh, oh. Is this her time? Hang on. Does she have intro music? We'll find some intro music for her. Hang on. Yeah. Yeah. Turn up the heat. No. Everyone's oh, that was that was that was a shit intro. What do you mean? Hang on, I'll find another one. Hang on. <laughs> All right, let's take a deep breath. Now we gonna think about how we gonna get back. Okay? But we can't let emotion cloud our judgment. Okay. You already wobbled them with a leg kick. <laughs> yeah, she's coming in a minute. She's trying to oh, get the dog always... inside. Everybody's ready for the MMA Ashley segment here. We're uh we'll we'll buy some time. The Cincinnati's Reds won. Fuck yeah. It's a short one. Hang on, MMA Ashley's gonna come in in a minute. Hang on. Do you yeah, think? We'll give her an intro. Where is she? You want the noise brought on yeah, you? Because here it comes. What? The noise brought on you? Because here it comes. Just hike the ball and let job. Just hike the ball and let job. Hang on, she's fucking feeding the dog. I gotta, I gotta get her prepped up here. Hang on. Dylan. I don't know. What up? Seems appropriate for this. <laughs> Grab his dick and twist it! <laughs> Grab his dick. 
See, and that's where he needs to follow it up and say, you twist his dick. Yeah. And then Ashley it. comes in and says, twist his dick. That's how that should have been finished. Oh, come on. Hey, Get out of there. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Okay, fine. Well, hang on. Let's get you a proper Not yet. intro here. What do we have going on here? Let's get that look. money. Get, get that money. Make that money. Yeah, that's right. All right. Can I give my pick? Please. Please do. Okay. Uh, so uh, I am on Alexander Hernandez. Uh, it looks like Damian Jackson is old as fuck. Uh, time to uh, retire. If I do say so myself, I couldn't imagine fighting at 35, but how we. So uh, that is my pick. Get on it. Fluffy on the money line. Hernandez money line, That's motherfuckers. Right. Get it. Get that money. Get, get that money. <laughs> Perky likes it. Let's go. <laughs> Sounds hey, like you're tap that play off. Make that money, baby. Do that, do that money all right. Yeah. Yeah. MMA Ashley is on Hernandez. Bahamundes has knocked out Dory no. What? You couldn't what? wait till round two. What? What? <laughs> Perky, I hope you fucking tail me on that one. Woo! Woo! Ugh, we just needed another minute. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, that. It's going to hurt a little. Fuck yeah, Perky. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. KO, you bitch slapped him? Yeah. KO this bitch ass. Yeah, I saw, I saw it. <laughs> my internet oh, froze. Sick kick to the face. Oh, my God. <laughs> Fuck yeah, Perky. Woo! Oh. Woo. Woo. That's a nice knockout. Woo. I don't know. Do I get to get the brown bottle? I don't know. You boys know what happens when I get the brown bottle. <laughs> that was yeah. fucking lovely. That was a uh, plus 150. KO. I didn't even take it in the first round. Well, I was on round two and three. On another note, the Blues and Sharks are at the end of the first period. Take zero, zero. Sharks. Under. Under. I, I called the under earlier. I say I called it. I played it. <laughs> Mariscal. 7.15. Heavy. Wait, let me go back and look and make sure that the Chepe. better to remain nameless isn't on there. Oh, shit. Morgan just moved up 20 points before it even started. Oh, is this an even better situation? No, Chepe didn't change. Oh, it's an even better situation. Oh, God damn. All right, boys, we're going Mariscal. Chepe. Nope. You're not? You're on the nope. side with your boy? Be better to remain nameless? I, uh, I, as you know, I don't give a fuck what he plays. Play my place. No, I'm on, uh, I'm, I'm on the other girl. The other girl. Or the other Sherry. girl. I'm sorry, the, the, biggest, the other two. The biggest play of the character. No, I was looking at, looking at my, my screen. Uh. 
Yeah, I'm on. I'm on Morgan. Can't wait to watch it with you, boys. Yes, it will. Yes, Tune in, boys. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually on Morgan too, and I'm making a parlay with Morgan for the last three fights. Morgan, <laughs> Hernandez, and Chris Curtis at plus six fifty. That's the last parlay of the night. Extra innings in the O's game. What do you got? What do you got there, Perky? This one is a toss-up. Who do I choose? Mikey Money or MMA Jeff, aka Jeffy Cash? Ah, I do cash. You know, I fucking lose the first three fights every fucking stream. But then I come out wrong. And yeah, we're good. No worries. <laughs> uh yeah, no. I, like I said, I, I took uh, I took Morgan here at minus one forty five. There it is. It's, it's fucked up that money when it hits the account. When the money hits the account, it looks real. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> All class Ignacio Bahamandes. I think he's actually really Straight good. Jeff. This kid is actually going to go far. I was thinking about fading him because he was young and all that, and I was like, man, don't be an idiot. I've been on this yeah, right? and knockout props like every single fight. Oh, we got a new guest in the house, and I'm going to play a video for him. Yeah. Jose. Hello, gentlemen. It's nice to see you guys. Hello, hello. Nice to see you guys. Shout out to MMA Jeff, first of all, for uh, putting cash in my pocket last weekend. Thank you, Jeff. Nice to see you. Hell Dylan. Yeah. What's up, Mr. Buddy? Mikey? How are you yes, guys sir. doing? Uh, we're having fun. Doing it's a nice good. Saturday. Uh, Jose, 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 I'm going to give you a video just because just I don't know if you've seen it yet. Please give it to me. Grab his dick and twist it. It's a good move. It's a good move. Whenever I'm in a bind, I, I always go for the old dick twist first. That, that, Not last. That, 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 that was me at the LFA a couple weeks ago. <laughs> That's good. I wish, you know, I don't have the abilities to play uh to videos, play videos, but I have a good video of Mikey as well. Uh, oh, it's the happiest I've ever it. seen Mikey. Let's see it. Yeah. I wish I uh, Mike uh Mike, oh, I might have to send it to you so you can play it. Yeah, you gotta play that shit. Hershey, <laughs> straight up, dude. Fucking cash. <laughs> Jose, my guy. It's great to see you, what Jose. Jose. What you fucking baseball? Here. Yeah, no, uh, I was sweating out some baseball. That's 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 been my day so far, <laughs> and preparing for tomorrow. Mikey Money uh, put it in a a fast one, coming in uh, and and replacing someone. So I'm gonna get hung over Mikey tomorrow. It's gonna be great. Yeah. Oh yeah. We're gonna make some moves. I'll tell you what we did do. We took the Cincinnati Reds when they were down. We nice. parlayed it with the Baltimore Orioles when they were down, and it was a plus 750 spot, Jose. Guess what just happened? The Orioles just uh, score? Yes, sir. Cash yeah. that. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Oh, yeah. Now, 4-3 four, uh, four, now? Yes, uh, four, Perky, three. yes. Yes. Nice. Nice. I uh, The last two bets I have today – uh, both unders, first five under in the Yankees game. My Yankees, obviously, everyone knows okay. me. Uh, and the first five under in the Braves Diamondbacks game as well, under four, under five. So I'm going to sweat those out right now. And it's going to be fun. Jose, I, I, I don't want to persuade your action here, but um, the Arizona Diamondbacks were that close yesterday. They were up the whole time. 
They got yeah, they hot are. bats going on right now, Jose. Uh, and Arizona sitting here plus one and a half, minus 110. Money line plus 170. Tell me Arizona can't come out here and beat Max Free today. Persuade. Uh, no, they absolutely can. I, I wouldn't be surprised at all. Uh, but it's definitely going to be a lower scoring, uh, hopefully, start of the game because Max Free shit all over his pants uh last time out and and he has to be uh better today and i, I just believe in a guy that has that much talent to pitch better than uh point two innings pitched so <laughs> yeah no i i think he pitches well and if you're gonna get it, it's gonna be laid off this bra- a braves bullpen that doesn't really inspire too much confidence hmm. interesting how about san fran and san diego i'm thinking san francisco I'm not a big fan of Michael King. Uh, I'm not either, and I actually like uh, fucking. It's not Jordan Hicks today. I was thinking uh, it was. Is it Jordan Hicks today? I've got my pictures confused because I'm getting my fucking uh, notes together for tomorrow, and I'm thinking I need to fade Matt Waldron already uh, for tomorrow. Uh, Keaton Win. Keaton Win for Wynn. San Fran. Yeah. Yeah, no, I passed the game because I fucking can't stand. Well, I don't, I just not good at betting either of these teams here, but I wouldn't hate like a team total or such. I just don't trust Keaton Wynn. I'm going to have to get my game ready for tomorrow here. It's going to be my first game here with uh, Say Hey Jose on Sundays here. I don't want to, I don't want to shit the bed. You can't. Damn and I just sent you that video. Uh, Mikey uh, on Twitter, so you have to download it and upload it to your shit because it's a great video, and I think Dylan and Jeff need to see it. I, I, I feel like I do need to see it. Uh, JPZ, that I, I'm signed in under Mike's account, so either way, uh, I'm on the under on that Preds game personally, but that wasn't that wasn't from Mike, just for the record. But I but but I I do want to see the video absolutely. I see Hell Dave's yeah. video with yes. that fucking lettuce head. Yeah, yeah Mikey. I, uh, I know immediately I'm going to regret uploading this. Let me. Uh... Yeah, this video <laughs> needs to be played often. When you hit a bet, like this, this is what I need to hear because, again, this is the most just genuine sounds of happiness I've ever heard. You know, I've never heard of such glee before. Who's happy? Please, straight up. I'm, I'm on it already. I'm already on it. I'm working on it here. I'm not I'm not a producer. I'm not I'm not good with the production elements here. Let me see if we can find it though. I believe in you. What UFC is tonight? Uh UFC Vegas 90, it's called. Oh boy. I was like, I got excited because I thought it was 300 tonight, but no. They would they wouldn't dare run it against WrestleMania. <laughs> No, they own both now. <laughs> they don't even have a good name on the video. It's just a... well, I think that's in two weeks. They're taking a break All and right. then. Uh, Do you get it? Then... Yeah, I find it is next week. Not even and then a good name. A week off. No, there's like no illusion to what's happening. You just know exactly what's happening. Well, I, I it's labeled for myself, not for anyone else. You know. Yeah, so, as soon as I yeah. saw it, I was disappointed. <laughs> no, give it yeah, to I mean, there's, yeah, Mikey, I need, yeah, I need that one. one. I'll give it to you, boys. I'll, I'll share uh, it. I need it. It was, uh, we had fun. That was a great time. Jose picked me up from the airport. He rolled up. He said, I'm surprised you're not five foot four. I said, I I, then I was. I was indeed surprised. I don't know what makes you think I will be five foot four, but okay. <laughs> Uh, by the way, I just joined you guys on uh, Morgan Sherry. I got minus one forty-five, unfortunately, but uh, yeah, I got a minus one forty-five, and my book jumped to one one fifty-five. Good. That makes me feel better. Yep. That makes me feel good. Yep. Well, I'll yep. be asked a lot because I'm on the other side. Here we go. Ah, uh, much anticipated. Nah, I don't worry, Jose. I, I win more. We were the bus. We were down in San Antonio. I don't even remember what day this was, Jose. Was it Sunday? Was it Monday? At this point, it doesn't even matter. Cocktail entrenched planes galore. These fuckers were mm-hmm. rolling two planes at a time and then rolling up another one when they were smoking. Let's go. 
Uh, we went to Ritama Park today, and it cost absolutely nothing to get into Sit Ritama Park. Lap. Matter of fact, it only Sit costs on you ten lap. bucks if you want to park. Do it. But Jose, uh, how much yeah. did you pay to get into Ritama? How'd I'll take my shirt off too, Mike. How's your seat? He right finally now? put one on. Uh, yeah, no, it's nice. It's very comfy. He's got. I, I, I again, I've told Mike this like six times this week. I thought Mike was five foot five, so I, this is a nice, Jose comfy seat. seat. <laughs> Mike actually looked chubbed up in that video there. Yeah, I mean, he sounded like it. I mean, you heard that. He's a squeal. Ah, he had, a, he had a great time. I, I, you know, Mikey, whenever we want to do that again, I'm down. Again, you had a very comfortable uh, leg to sit on, and I appreciated it. <laughs> oh, man. I told you, once you started grinding, you had to get off. Get well, off. you know, <laughs> I had to get comfortable, you know. You had to give it the gill wiggle wiggle. And I sent you know, the long version too. I didn't even send you the short one. That? I saw that. I, I was kind of pretty was that. I was pleasantly surprised to see the extended version of that one. <laughs> yeah, no, the, the the shorter version is just five seconds, and all you just see is Mikey just squealing in joy. I might have that as my ringtone, you know. Who knows, Mikey? <laughs> Who knows? When I Who call knows? Jose, that's what pops up. It's all good. It's all good. Uh, you know I, what? I, I would actually <laughs> like that as my ringtone. Jose, I mean, it's just joy. Just, that's what it is. That's just happiness. That's what that is. What, what can we say? <laughs> just pure happiness. I'll tell you what. Since you boys are here with me, and you're all on Morgan, I'm going to. How about this, Jose Mariscal? She's plus one twenty now. I'm taking Jose Mariscal. Give it to me. Fuck you guys. God, Mikey, I will be nonplussed if you hit this, Mikey. I will be nonplussed. I'm going to blame Flea Mathis primarily. Uh, <laughs> nah, fuck but... it. Put it on me. Nah, put it on me. Nah, fuck that. I'll yeah. take the blame. All right. No. Well, well, yeah, no. I'd that. rather be with you two than Mike, so it's okay. Except that one time where Let's Mike go. uh, got my ass the other day with the fucking... I forgot who it was now. Whoa. Uh, and I'm glad the pup's on my side too, Mike. You're fucked. Oh, yeah? No, I'll take my chances. I've seen that pup. I'll take my chance. That pup knows shit. The last ninja, him. our guy versus Chepe Mariscal. Yeah, I'm it's pulling go it time, up right they, now. They are rolling up to the ring right now here. We've got blue hair. Don't care with Morgan Charisar. The French fight winning streak, 11 wins by knockout, former cage warrior featherweight champion. I like my chances. Here, I, yeah. 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 Good when they're they champion. always say bet on the French. Well, well Dylan has something to say about that. <laughs> yeah, I never say bet on the French, but. <laughs> Vive la France. Fuck. France here, Jose. We're going with the other side. This game, Jose, what are you on? Yeah, Where yeah. You, at? Did you tell me? Yeah, he told you. You put it on. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm on Morgan Chevy. I'm on it. <laughs> We're riding oh. together here. I'll say yeah. uh, UFC, uh, I think might be my least favorite sport to bet just because when they start wrestling and your guy gets put on the ground. I just feel like I'm getting suffocated. I feel like I'm also underneath the guy just getting suffocated and just held down the just whole time. It's on the, the over. worst feeling. You bet on the over there, and you're like, yeah, keep doing that. Keep doing that. <laughs> Wait, uh, so, 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 Jose, if you look at the fights, and, and I know you're looking at a lot of different shit, but it, it, if you look at the fights and you see, like, the style of fighter that they are, if they're wrestlers, fucking over. Literally. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, uh, as, a, see, as a if former you're over versus a finisher, you take I the mean, finisher yeah. early or the over uh, for the for, uh, I, you know, the opposite side. There, there's know, ways to play them, obviously. I, I, as a former uh, wrestler myself, I can't <laughs> confirm that that's all they do. Uh, but as a former two and 14 wrestler, I can confirm I wasn't very good at it either. So. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Two and 14, <laughs> 0 and 9 in one tournament. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. <laughs> 0 and 9 sounds like you were a star. Yeah, the, were, the guy that was supposed to wrestle play. varsity uh, missed weight by like 20 pounds. 
And then I, I had to wrestle. Uh, and I, I, I just put up a crisp 0 and 9 that tournament. It was good. <laughs> it was really good. My coaches were like, God fucking damn it. They were, they were really not. They were like, God, we, they knew that I was going to lose every, every fucking match, but there's like, they had no one else. And then they were just like, just fucking get out there, do your best. And after every match, they're just like, ugh, just shaking their head. But, uh, 0 and 9, <laughs> 2 and 14, one turn, you know, not a big deal. Nice. Not a big deal. Well, are we just going to get this guy? These yeah, boys I was say, are going to immediate choke out. Yeah, I think Chariot is looking to go after him. He's got nothing but wiling out. He's kind of got a weird spot on Mariscal. He's got, I don't know if that's a half mount. It looks like a quarter mount. We'll call it a quarter mount. He's got him by the head, but we do see Mariscal throwing some fists. So uh, we'll see. It's a weird position. Oh, that's the north south right. position right now, Mike. Fuck you, Dylan. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Some real wrestling's going on right now. They are wrestling. Here we go. They're back to their feet, though. Mariscal comfortably got up, too. Did you see the way he got up from that ground? He's oh up on his feet there. The, uh, the, the, the knee to the there. thigh. The there you go, Jose. Trader. The knee to the thigh is just devastating. I would be in the hospital for weeks. Yeah, it's so there you go, Jose. I put it up on the screen for you. Perky likes your uh, your your team favorite there, Yankees. Great, great, Perky. Can't wait. Is, Perky, just let me know if they're if it's still zero zero. As long as it's a low scoring game, I'm not watching them right now, obviously, because I'm watching our boy Cherry Air uh, get kneed in the yeah. thighs. Chariot, baby, Mariscal. Okay, well, he, he just gave him his his front leg for the single leg, so that's not ideal. But we're battling here. We're battling. All right, Jose. Yeah, we're sliding out. We got we got the full Vaseline on our legs before the fight, so we're good. <laughs> I like it. I like that. I like that move. Why wouldn't you? You expecting to? Oh, oh he's out of it. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a second, like a second in front of you guys. So I'll stop being a cunt here. No, you're all fine. Yeah, it's all good. Well, Morgan Cherrier is minus one forty five. Maris got plus one fourteen right now, boys. Here we go. Yeah, well, I'll tell you, our boy Cherrier fucking hit him with two punches that really rocked him, and now he's holding yep. him against the cage, trying to get his shit together right now. Yep, <laughs> you know it. Jose, you fucking know. You know MMA. Hey, what? Sounds like you boys are on the other side. Right. Hey, let me tell you, I've I've lost an MMA bet or two. Trust me. I, I've lost one or two to know what I'm looking for nowadays. It's very fun. I think uh I think my, my former friend Alex Hernandez is also fighting on this card. I saw Alex Hernandez bets. Yeah, we I saw her. Yeah. Yeah, we uh, interviewed in him fairness, once. In all yeah. fairness, who gave out Hernandez? Is a bet. Who did? Huh? Oh, I threw it MMA in a Ashley. <laughs> MMA oh. Ashley. My my wife. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we interviewed him uh, for a fight here. Oh, boy. Our boy is in the greater right now. Uh, but, yeah, we interviewed him for a fight He's here. Uh, he was He's he was fun. a bit of a dick, uh, truthfully, and he was a bit of a cocky asshole, but I, was, I, I didn't mind him, you know. And uh, I, I, I will also admit, of course, um, I think that was the f before going into the Drew Dober fight, and he got fucking demolished. And that's why I like Drew Dober now. Drew Dober is my guy. Well, Drew nice. a good guy. Yeah, I could appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. I'm also guy. I'm also a big Dan Hooker guy. I liked him before his leg tats uh, as well. Yeah, I've always been a Dan uh, Hooker fan, but unfortunately, uh, he has a a good glass jaw now. He but. You know, he's still out there. He's he grinding. Does. I don't think he does. I, I hope. I hope. Really good. Yes. Yeah, I do remember him uh, winning his last fight, and I was like, all right, here we go. We're back. The Dan Hooker train. It's all yeah, back on I the track. Him plus 200 when everyone said it couldn't be done. Yeah, I was, cause I, was, I was worried about him when I saw him at plus 200. I was like, oh, no. <laughs> Please. This is not the twilight. I hope not. Well, let's go here. Let's go. Mariscal's doing please. damage, boys. Here we're down to a plus one twenty four money line. Let's go. Well, your your ass ain't fucking winning this round. Ooh, 
Nope. Nah. Back to what? plus one fifty. Oh. What? Yeah, no, I, I think I think we took that round. I don't think it's going to decision personally, but it does not seem like it. Let me tell you, the no, way they're no, throwing. it does not. <laughs> no. All right, let's let me damage myself wow. and check these fucking uh, scores Just a now. Windmill back fist to spinning kick at the end. <laughs> yeah, you see, you throw hitting all the buttons there at the end. Yeah. Like, fuck. All right. Morgan's still up minus 155 at the end of round one, plus 110 for Chepe. Yep. Good. Yep. I think Chepe does start to tire out. So, uh, Mikey, you took the Orioles, right? Yes, sir. Well, you're in a tough spot right now, let me tell you. Ooh. I <laughs> Did you I'm lead him into that one? <laughs> I just wanted to, I wanted to confirm that he Shout was out to Orioles. Jose. Loaded me in for bear. Uh, I'm it. taking the under nine in Milwaukee and uh, the Arizona Diamondbacks plus 175. Uh, nothing's happened yet, Mike. Should I give you the good news or the bad news when it happens? <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, they struck out the guy. Bases loaded. Two outs there. So you struck him out. And uh, now tie game still. 4-4. Four, four. All right. But uh, you were you were looking. That was the edge there. You, you were looking at the cliff, and the Orioles uh, just brought it back for you. Let's go! I, it sounds like I should live bet him again. Still oh, and apparently up. Michael Buena says that uh, they were bases loaded, no one out too. Oh, even better! I'll throw another fifty bucks on him. Let's go! <laughs> another fifty. My, it's minus one fifty. Those are shit odds, but whatever. We're here. We're live betting. Let's get it oh. done, boys and girls. Here we go. Juan, Juan Marshall here again. on the Let's fucking hit the yeah. fucking like button on YouTube. Let's fucking go. Juan Marshall is getting fucked up right now in the cage. Juan. He looks like Juan, you know. It's Jose. It's, it's Jose. Jose. <laughs> Come on, Jose. It's Jose Mariscal. Bet what against the Jose. Those oh, did beans. I? Fuck, I didn't know. Fuck, I would have bet on him if I knew he was a Jose. Thank God Jose Hosby? Yeah, I've heard that before. <laughs> shout out shout out to all the random things I bet because of whatever reason. I, I bet on uh, the Kentucky Derby winner last year because they were all from Venezuela, the trainer in them, and uh, I pulled that out of my ass last year. It was very funny. Yeah, but you're, uh, was it Bob Baffert? You're Baffert. No, oh, no, no, no. Fuck that guy. It's Martin Drexler, my Martin, dude. Martin, ah, right. Martin Drexler. <laughs> my, one of my goals, Mikey, for next year, I want Martin Drexler at Public Palooza 4. I need Martin Drexler there. It's my guy. Yeah. Martin Drexler is a horse trainer that, uh, may or may not be juicing his horses, and we bet on his horses. Oh, he's definitely juicing him. There's no That's question. Great. The guys drawing in five, six year olds and they're winning races. What, what all of a sudden they're he's got the magic eye? No way. Yeah, he has the magic touch. That's what he does. I, I hope one day Martin touches me with that magic touch, the, Mike. The magic touch with the needle. <laughs> oh my god. What a magic so needle. <laughs> this this second round has felt a lot e more even. Fucking our boy Cherry Air is taking some shots, but Juan Marichal still looks shitty over there. He's getting busted up. Yeah. Sticking Aesthetically, it looks like we're winning, but goddamn, we've taken some shots this round. Morgan's up to minus 300 on the money line. Settle down, boys. We got it. <laughs> oh. Ah. How many hours is that fucking... Is that a bear on his back? Is that a tiger? Yeah, Jesus. right? How many hours? How long does that take? Too much time oh away God. from the gym, boys. Is the right I, I, answer. I'd show you guys, Mike, that you as <laughs> a, a level of uh, time length. Oh boy, yeah, I uh, oh, I have a tattoo, and it took about forty-five minutes, and I paid the same amount as one of my friends that got the tattoo with me, and he got a full Celtics like logo tattooed on him, and I got fucking four lines basically tattooed on me so 
It's very funny. All right. I'll fucking drop it out there. <laughs> uh, I had six hours for the first outline, and then the color got thrown Dude. in. And that was eight hours. Sheesh. God, that's a, that's a lot of time back there. Oh, that's not even that big. That is sick, though. I'm more looking at your dog now, but well, that is sick. My, well, my, my previous dog that died, I got her footprints in there. So that, was, that cool. was the premise. And then it just got fucking blown up from there. But, Jose, I am going to Southeast Asia, and I am going to get the fucking whack, 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 whack tattoo thrown on me. That, Where they fucking get the pin in you. Yeah. That's going to be a grinder right there. I wish you luck. Fuck. Do it. I'll do it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you might as well, right? Fuck. I mean, I know. It, it, and it's going to look sick. I'll tell you that. Yeah. Ooh. I'm looking forward to it. I'm look literally looking forward to it. <laughs> I love how the, uh, the, the, you, I, I'm assuming they're the judges, but there's just three dudes. Oh my God. He actually caught him with that kick. Um, there's three dudes on the side of the Same. cage in just referee uniforms, just shirts, I should say. I love how they're just wearing the stripes, just sitting there. They're official. Yeah, they are. And if you if you're not wearing that striped shirt, then you're obviously not official. What up, Dana Delt? Thanks for coming back. Uh, are the Reds Reds game? Yeah, Reds, Reds won. won. Yeah. No shit. Come back. Reds in Boston parlay. Let's go. You're hey. on the Red Sox? No. Uh, uh, Baltimore. I'm sorry. They say Red Sox. I said, oh, no, I said Boston. Boston. Reds in Baltimore. Yeah. Are you are you oh, on any that, anything in that game? Uh, I haven't. No, I don't think so. That, that was one that did not make the radar. I've already cashed with them Red Sox, man. They snuck in there. They've been on the West Coast a long time. Yeah, Some they, uh, yeah. I love they, the, they open up the season over there, too. It's fucking disgusting, but yeah. Well, it's because it's cold and shitty in Boston. But yeah, there's snow get, on the ground over there. Right. They get they get the advantage of, uh, you know, playing more home games later in the season. So it's all good. But um, Well, Mike, don't give me the hopes that those home games at the end of the season will really matter. Mike, don't give me that hope. Especially because I've been betting on my New York Yankees, as everyone knows. I, I love the Yankees. I'll tell you what, Jose. Yeah, I watched the show the other day, and I saw how much you love the Yankees. I like it. That's disgusting. I fucking hate myself for it. But the, I, I really think they're going to make the World Series this year, and it's going to be disgusting. Like, I truly hate it. And then hopefully, if God, if God, if there is a God, the the Phillies will win the World Series and beat the Yankees and then I, it will all be worth it just to see the tears at the end. But yeah, I cannot, the, I do not want to see that. Build the up. Phillies are not winning the world series. I hope you're right Why about not? that too. Cause I hate Why their not? shortstop. You don't like Trey Turner. I do not like the, the shortstop for the Philadelphia Phillies. No, he's, he's number one on my hate list now. I don't Ooh. think he's all he's cracked up to be. He, uh, oh my God. Oh my God. Get out of the box. Jesus. Uh, Perky, hang on. I'll, oh, Hernandez. Perky okay. fucking MMA actually gave out the pick. I took the juice at minus 180. He jumped up to clap, minus 195. Clap, clap. Oh, big body, sir. Jose, you might be way ahead of me. Jesus. Yeah, no, it was it was scary there for a hot moment. Yeah. We we took him down. We're just trying oh, to get out this. I hope we won that second round. I understand. Oh, we definitely won the I, second round. I, I don't understand. Okay. What 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 are we even talking about? <laughs> we just had a quick he had a quick striking combo. That was it. He's still minus yeah. twelve hundred live. It's fine. Yeah, okay, good. Right. Good. All right. Well, that that combo was scary. Yeah, he was he was landing. I was like, "Fuck, man, get out!" And then he hit him with a perfect takedown. Last chance, right there. That's what that was. It was a hundred per a hundred percent agreed there. Yeah, get the knockout or lose the fight by decision. Well, what's just... uh, Perky MMA Ashley gave out Hernandez on the next play. 
Fuck, is he really the next fight? I, I, I have to bet my, my good friend Alex Hernandez again, huh? Fuck, yeah, I asked him. I, I, I took him, what what I say, minus 180. He's minus one. He was minus 195. I guess. Oh, my God. He's really that big of a favorite? Is he just fucking... Nah, he's going to bitch slap dicks? Nah, he's going to fuck this dude up. Damon Jackson's a little bit older, and he didn't look very good at the weigh-ins either. Yeah, he might he might actually pull his pants down and spank him. Well, two nothing Yankees immediately. Fucking stupid ass Aaron Judge is a home run. So all right. Game on. Game on Mike, now. Mike. Shout Mike, out to uh Perky. Mike, Mike, what's happening here? <laughs> Mariscal's got him right where he wants him. Does he? <laughs> it's almost over. Does he? Yeah. He's trying to show Ooh. him on. My God, if, if if one of these guys punched me in the fucking abs one time again, just send me to the fucking hospital. Oh, my straight God. up, straight or, up, or a punch, <laughs> a kick in the face. Can you imagine the kick in the face? No, I'd oh. be dead, Mikey. I can't imagine yeah. that because I'd just be yeah. deceased. I'm done. At least with like the liver punch, he'll he'll punch me in the liver, and then I'll have to have a liver replacement, and I'll have a few weeks to live after that. The the head kick, he'll just kick my head straight off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we got right. this. We got yeah, he, we got he, a minute just... left. I, I'm a, I'm actually gonna go crank one out real quick. I'll be back, boys. Uh, all right, good luck. All right. I hope it comes out well. I don't, I don't need any luck. We'll get it. We'll get there. Well, Jeff, I don't know. You know, I need I need I don't know about your impotence. You know, sometimes you you sometimes you do it, you just shoot out dust. Who knows? What, what are you talking to my wife? <laughs> no, nah, oh, he's on that's... top. He's on top, though. No. Oh, my God. He won, dude, this he, is won those, he won those first two rounds. Oh. Mariscal's finishing the fight, the better fighter, on top, throwing a little pepper into the old face mask there. Dude, he... Let's go. Oh. Mariscal is looking the fr- He's looking fresh. We see Sherry trying everything he can to get out of it, but we have Mariscal. I respect the hell out of fucking Juan Marichal for making this last 30 seconds of this fight a fucking sweaty one. Agreed. 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 Holy hell. This is somebody I've been betting on as a dog, you know? And I had to bait him this time. That guy, that guy was just, that guy scared the shit out of me there. Fuck me. Chefe is really good, man. Kelly. <laughs> Fluffy. All right. Let's I have to start investigating how I'm gonna bet Alex Hernandez here. Uh I told Hernandez. I, I I I ate the juice on Hernandez. Um I do like Hernandez by KO. And if you want to get crazy, Hernandez by KO in round one. For the record, Hernandez I've inside played, the I, distance only is minus one thirty. There you go. I yeah, I, I took Hernandez. I ate the yeah, juice. I, say, I think the sub is on the table too. Yeah, I that's, that's does why like I didn't play the downs. KO was because it could be a sub. But either way, I like I said, I ate the juice minus. I have inside the distance at plus uh, one hundred and five. I might get that. Oh my god, he's the second to last fight. Look at yeah, this guy. The main event. Oh my god! And this is obviously a shit card, but holy hell! Look at Alex Hernandez now. It is a shit card. All right, I will. Uh, let me get a. Let me fucking get a hand raise, and then immediately I'll be betting Alex Hernandez inside the distance here. Oh, uh, for the record, there. MMA Ashley gave out Hernandez. Yeah, we're riding. <laughs> Perky, Perky, what Perky fucking shoot it out in the chat. What's MMA Ashley's record? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I well, call her in with the camera is solely on your boy. Oh, there we go. We got a little camera. Well, yeah, let's let's not give the fight to the guy's Fine. fucking dripping let's blood. Give it to right my guy. Now. Let's give it to my guy. I deserve there you go. this one. There you go, Jose. MMA Ashley. Seven and one, Jesus. All right, MMA Ashley, shout out to her. 
Yeah, are you serious? Oh. All right. Well, you guys are about to be nonplussed. No, everybody's gonna be nonplussed, Jose. Let's go. What? That's oh, crazy. That's terrible. Let's that's some that. terrible judging. That's what that is. That, there's the judge's fucking decision that we were talking about. Dude, fuck that. That's that's horrible. Oh my God. God. Let's go. Oh, baby, let's go. Wow. Damn right. Plus 300. Let's go. Plus 120. Plus 124. Plus 118. Plus 120. Fuck. What would we live in that last round? Oh, my God. He's plus like 800. That's fucked up. Split decision. Are you? Fucking oh, kidding me? That's one of the worst ones I've seen in a long ass time. Literally. That uh eh, whatever. I was in I'm gonna give you boys the next winner when I come back. All right, well, all right, Hernandez inside the distance. Jesus. Oh, it's fucking literally. That was bad. That was bad. That's ugly stuff. All right, well, here we go. We need uh now I just we just win it back on our boy Alex Hernandez. That's that's how that happens. Alex Hernandez looking the exact same as I last saw him as well. So and I can confirm you, but... it's funny. One of his things is stay mentally strong. I can confirm he is a mental midget, mentally weak. So <laughs> that's hilarious. Jesse, please tell me that Max Fried's not giving up runs immediately again. If that's what Max Freed's doing immediately, I'm going to be nonplussed. And it's three nothing Yankees already. Jesus. Oh my God. Duh. Max Freed. It's three nothing uh, Diamondbacks Dude. already. Let's go, baby. That's one of the worst outs. I've ever that's seen. 170? No. There's no way like you can give Morgan 30-27. And then somehow, like, what what judge gave uh, him a thirty twenty seven? What the fuck was right. that judge saying? Are you serious? I'll tell you what, that was a big one for me, boys. It's disgusting. No joke. Congratulations, Mike. I'm glad somebody was yeah, on the, the right side of the fuckery there. But fuck the judges, right. man. Fuck the judges with a rhino's dick. I got that plus three hundred on top of all the the cherry on top was the plus three hundred. That's terrible. Oh, Turkey, I, I, I took uh, I took Hernandez, as I said, I ate the juice on it, and uh, I took him by KO, or to win by KO as well. Fucking. All right, I'm going to take uh, Hernandez and under two and a half rounds. It's plus 105. Let's go. Fuck you. At least, at least we're on the same side this time, Mikey. Fuck. Yeah, Jose. God. Woo! Jose, that was a big one. When I say that was the big one, you, you don't even know. Let's go. Well, looking at my phone and seeing immediately five runs by the Diamondbacks makes me want to throw myself off my balcony. So, plus 170, baby. Listen, tomorrow we'll steer you right. We got to please do. <laughs> please fucking do. Disgusting stuff uh, to start Disgusting. this. But. Yeah, welcome Let to us... the world of betting MMA, Jose. That's yeah. how it goes. It's fucking greasy sometimes. My my favorite MMA bet that I've made uh, was betting on uh, my guy Sean O'Malley in the first Cheeto fight when he fucking just broke his leg immediately. And I was like, oh, great. This is awesome. MMA is sick. Uh, but shout out to him for making my money back. Appreciate that. Is that, is that you, fanatical Jim? Fuck, you called me out. Oh, yeah. I put so much money. I usually don't, I don't, take I don't know if you're Jesus talking about me or the other dude. But Sean O'Malley at minus one. No, no, he's like, talking about the other dude. Right? The uh, <laughs> better to remain nameless was on the other side. So, Jose, we got all kinds of things popping over here. Good. Good. I'm trying to mentally recover after watching that uh, fucking debauchery from Max Fried in the fucking game cast just now. Fanatical Jim. That is what gave me the uh, 
confidence to take the plus 300. I literally thought about that as I was rolling around. The fighter to remain nameless, the better to remain nameless. And we are rolling. Let's go. (laughs) Not you, Jeff. The other guy. I know what he's talking about. (laughs) Jose, I'll have to put you offline about the uh, better to remain nameless here. I don't want to. Yeah, I don't. I don't call him out, but uh, yeah, no. I, uh, so fanatical Jim, I don't. I, I literally unfollowed him. And anytime somebody comes up in my feed, I fucking unfollow them too, because I don't want to see that fucking scumbag's fix. He fix like a yeah. chicken. That being said, let's go, boys. Let's look at Pub Sports Radio. What do we have here? Top of the contest, Alec Axel Martinez. Plus 655. Then just blue fit. Just blue fit. Plus 555. Try it with Trey. Jose, you do a lot better job than me reading things off on the fly. You do a great job at that. Thank Jose, you. I'm not a, a scumbag. Get on it. Uh, I'm not a, a notoriously, I'm not a good reader either. So I appreciate that, Mike. Yeah. Jose, it was outstanding when you did the uh, dog races yesterday. <laughs> well, yeah, sometimes the dog's got to get let loose, Mikey. Come on. The dog was, races were nice. That was a real treat. I, I was. Uh, I did get a good laugh out of watching the dogs run, and it's definitely going to be a thing going forward as well. <laughs> Flea, don't worry about it. Uh, just blow. We're, we're more pissed off at uh, fucking Max Freed and uh, Kevin Gosman. They're both just diary and all over their pants right now and from and, and max freed who knows he's gonna might get sent down to fucking triple a jesus can't get out of one inning find out but i will say i'm departing you guys after this uh alex hernandez fight so right. uh, as someone that does have uh his it went inside the distance i hope I leave in like 10 minutes here. I hope Alex Hernandez fucking knocks this guy out in one punch. And then we call it a day here. That'd be nice. Sounds great. Of course, I'll see you tomorrow. We're going to be uh, mixing up the MLB card. See if I can't put you on some big plus money winners. That'd be nice. I need a couple here. I need a couple here. That'd be nice. That is, that is disconcerting to say the least. So it'll be fun. And plus, I am getting a little hungry. And also, uh, Mikey, do you guys have Jack in the Box over there in the in the big Chester? No Jack in the Box. We no have, Jack in the Box. Eh? We don't have Raging Cajun or whatever that fucking chicken finger place is you guys have. Canes, yeah, want, Canes is great. Ra- Raging Canes. We don't have that one. We yeah. have. Uh, I I told uh, Dabby. I said. I was disappointed with the culinary experience of San Antonio. I'm down in Texas. I'm eating chicken fingers and fucking tacos. I wanted some barbecue. I wanted a big, thick fucking steak. You know, nothing, Jose. Yeah, here's the thing that I learn every year about Palooza is that we say we're going to do all these things, and then everyone starts drinking, and then all of those things become impossible. Yeah. Well, Very next fun. year, next year we're gonna roll the Airbnb. We're gonna have a big steak barbecue cookout. I'll cook it myself if I have to. But I, I'd I've seen it. it. I saw your skills. Listen, I'll go. Out I there love Nasty and- Nate, but he's not allowed around the grill. Apparently, he's, no, Nasty Nate is shut down on the grill permanently. I, again, I you love can't come Nasty back from Nate. That. You can't come back from that. There's no way. Uh, Hands and, me and the tongs. He says, "I ruined another four burgers." Uh, another meaning there was more before that you know I, uh, oh it's so funny dude alex you better fucking knock this guy out man i hate well, paying I like my hernandez local, so here one. we go i like hernandez let's get some cash hernandez is the other leg of my parlay so let's go oh wow it's, he, it's nice he's actually claiming san antonio again is he let me, let me go back. I need to see. Oh, no. He's fighting out of Denver, Colorado. But he did flash the 2-1-0. So, I don't know. Maybe, maybe he wants to claim where he's from. That's another reason I soured on uh, Alex Fernandez. He didn't. He stopped claiming San Antonio. 
even though I'm not really a San Antonio guy anyways. Well, I mean, it's your backyard. You got to you gotta represent. All right, Alex. Let's see what happens here. Hernandez. Mikey, I'll give you some commentary here since I'm a little ahead of you. Yeah, please. Well, first of all, we have Jackson in white trunks. So any shards from him, very visible, very visible. And he has two lines tattooed just all the way up from his back to his neck. Maybe I don't know where that uh, tattoo ends. Is it the ass crack? Do you think both those lines go down all the way to his butthole? I don't know. I am curious to find out, though. Alex, jipping. Jiving here. We're four minutes and 20 seconds into this fight. And uh, I'll tell you right now, he definitely looks like a, a fresh fighter just bipping and bopping around the octagon right now. And just some leg strikes. But nothing interesting to start this fight out. Maybe that's the reason why I'm talking about this guy's lines on his back. Uh, now that I see it, I can't unsee it. So fair to be oh, said. I'm curious. Yeah. Did those lines come together at some point? So they go all the way down his cheeks. And when I mean cheeks, I mean <laughs> cheeks. I, I bet know. you I bet you they roll down to an arrow that says insert penis here. I know I'd be sick. I'd be an awesome <laughs> tattoo. I'd laugh. I'd laugh. A lot of leg strikes from Jackson to start this off. And uh, it does not look like our friend Alex Hernandez is very comfortable to start that off. I, I sat in the same... Did I sit in the same room as this guy? I don't remember if he was over the phone or what. But I think he was in. He came to our studio. in beautiful Southtown 101 as well. Oh, caught his leg, and he's trying to take him down here. Now we're against the cage. And we're getting a great shot of those just majestic lines on his back. And I can confirm, he has not sharded his <laughs> pants yet. Hernandez minus 130 right now. I'm going to jump in. I don't like to yeah. see him being back mounted like a schoolgirl on prom night, but nonetheless, we got him and it's minus 130. So I'm going to think right now he's looking very baby seal esque and we're getting repeated knees to the <laughs> thigh. Uh, if someone need me in the thigh three times like that, I would be extremely pissed. Baby Alex seal esque. Yeah, Alex has turned around. We're facing the right way now. We flipped him. Now he's against the cage. Now we're back. And now he just pushes him away. And we're back fighting. And this round is not looking good. But Alex is starting to swing now. Alex, yep. maybe he's not non-plus here about his three knees to the thigh there. He's not happy about it, as you wouldn't be. Jose, have you ever heard a show where somebody describes a baby seal performance? Uh, no, no, I had never heard of uh, being treated like a baby seal and then clubbing them on the back of their head or, or whatever the fuck the original thing was. I've, I'd never heard of that. Have you heard of a mosquito? Mike, what was the mosquito you said earlier? I was, I was trying to cap the card today, Jose. I was looking at things. I, all kinds of distractions. I said I had the attention span of a mosquito. I was looking out the window. I got a phone call. Sure. I get an email. I got, you know, I, can't, I understand. I can't, can't focus on the card. That is, uh, that's me with tomorrow's card currently. I wrote down the pictures, but I uh, have not uh, fully capped it yet. And then I, I, I add uh, how the baseball is going right now. I do not look forward to it now. Oh my God, dude. I, I just, at this point, Alex Hernandez's thighs must be done. He's been needing the thigh like maybe 15 times this round. And, and again, if you need me once in the thigh, sure. it's over. He's got him in single leg position now, but Alex is, is fighting in here. Now he's going full takedown. He's got the doubles. He's to pick them up, slammed his ass. All right. 35 seconds left. We're battling. I'll say this. If this was actual wrestling, I don't know if he scored the two points yet. I don't know. I don't think he's, I don't think we can call the two points of the official yet, but uh, now our boy Jackson's taking a breather. They're both just sitting there. 20 seconds left sitting there. Oh, I saw the end of the lines. I, I can't confirm the end of the lines. Do not go to his asshole. Oh, that, that, 
there, yeah. there is an end. <laughs> Jack, Jackson's fucking gassing himself out. I'm All right, well, Jackson wins live, round one. Agreed, agreed, agreed. Yeah, agreed. Fluffy live, plus 140. Let's go. Oh, man. All right, lads. Let's all jump in together again. I ran in the pool. Man, I, I'm having such flashbacks. This feels like the first weeks of Pub Sports Radio all over again and betting on Alex Hernandez and this fucking guy coming back to fuck us would just be classic. All right, I just rebetted as well. I got plus 102, unfortunately. You guys are getting plus 130. Jesus. Yeah, I got, I got plus 120. I booked sure didn't, I even, fully... didn't even offer it. Yeah, plus 102 officially is what I got there. All right, Alex. Can you prove some fucking worth, you son of a bitch? Now, now I am very invested in this fight, and uh, we have to stand up here for this one. You boys know what I want to say, but I won't say it. Well, don't say it, scumbag. I'm not. <laughs> I hope I hope Alex's coaches, which I, I think I do have Alex Hernandez's coaches number still, um, but. I hope his uh, I'll, I'll text his coach right now and be like, "Dude, get your boy shit together." Yeah, tell him to throw some fucking elbows. Yeah, throw the elbows is what my text will be. That that'll be just it. He'll be like, "Who is this?" Get him against the cage. Throw some elbows. You're fine. This is Jose. <laughs> That's all you gotta say. God, my my. I think my least favorite thing about Alex Hernandez is that he bleeds so easily and when i when i see my fighter bleeding and the other guy is not bleeding it's like all right well we've lost already see that 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 doesn't necessarily bother me i guess from an mma perspective i don't like him getting busted up though either no 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 i don't want my dude getting fucking clipped but yeah, well, no action here. Still 350 into the round. We're just bipping and bopping around. Jackson just feels like he's walking down Alex right now. Now he's just looking, just jumping around, trying to figure out where he's going. Where is he going? Alex, don't fucking disappoint MMA Ashley right now. God damn it. Right? Right. Get it done. She's seven and one. You cannot blow this, my man. No. Let's go. The record on the line. It's bigger than you, Alex. <laughs> Here we go. He is plus 150 now, though, on the money line. So uh, it's getting touched up a little bit here. Plus 175 now as well. Damon Jackson. Nah, Hernandez is coming oh, back. Come on. It's a decent combo, but. Plus 200. Stiff jab up the middle. Plus 200 now for Hernandez. At some point, we got to see him take over. At He's some point, we got to see some kind of life. Show me, a, show me a combo that maybe hurts him a little bit. Yeah, do something. God damn. 240 left, 239, 238, 237, plus 250 for Hernandez. Halfway point of the fight. He's plus 250. Shout out to Steven Strasburg, who officially retired today. Oh, did he really? Yeah, the paperwork got filed and everything. Was that cap relief for the Nationals? No, they no, they owe them that shit still. That's fully daring guaranteed. Fully guaranteed money right there. So shout out to Steven Strasburg for an all-time money grab right there. <laughs> but he earned it. He earned it. Yeah, I mean his he his, his number will be retired, his jersey, uh, you know, so will be there forever, and uh, it would be smart if they build a statue of him. Fuck. All right, we see Hernandez trying to throw a hook, but he has gone from plus two fifty to plus three hundred simply because he is not doing anything aggressive or offensive at this point. He's got a couple leg kicks plus. 300 for Hernandez at this point. 
Jackson yeah, I, is moving in on I it. I took him. I took him live at plus 300. Left back that. Down yeah, to... so he's back down on the ground again. Jackson double leg. All right, well, <sighs> Jackson's going to be up two rounds. Mm -hmm. So at least uh, fucking Alex's coaches will be like, stop dicking around and start throwing these fucking punches. This is, if you lose this main event, this is it, my man. You're not going to yeah, push right? back up at the fucking main event if you can't fucking beat this slap dick. You're back Literally. to Walmart bagging groceries if you can't figure this one out. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna see him close. I'm gonna see him having drinks at the Taft Town 101 here in two years if he can't get this <laughs> together. Oh, Jackson just koala onto his back. Nah. It looks like a, a mama koala. He's gonna finish this round on his back. Alex, just jump and fucking plop. Oh god, he's got a oh no, he's good. Thank God. Hernandez oh, wearing the is. backpack is plus four hundred. Uh, he's got he's got one arm underneath the chin there, but he's held on to the other one, so he's not going to get it out. Uh, I'm assuming Alex is going to leave that arm right there. Just fucking fall, like do something, my man. You just you've got seven seconds. You're getting your ass kicked now. He's just just attached. He's not going to fall down, and that's the end of the fucking round. Jesus Christ. <sighs> oh. <laughs> well. All right. Here we go. MMA Ashley's sterling record on the line right now. This is bigger than you, Alex. You bastard. Wake the fuck up, dude. Give him some smelling salts. Do something. What you're doing right now isn't working. Arizona Diamondbacks up 6-0. Yeah, and, and, and Kevin Gosman. There's something wrong with Gosman, too, because his velocity is down. And he's fucking horrible today. So we're going to lose another pitcher. Yankees are up 3-0, though. Big news yeah. for Yankee fans. I texted my buddy the uh, parlay the other day. Plus 355, oh. Toronto in the under. He told me to fuck myself. I said, all right. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I'm not going to bet against my team on opening day. Oh! Alex straight punching the jaw that knocks down Jackson. We're on We're on top of him now. We're, we're punching. We're punching. Oh, we're Punch punching. Come on, Alex, you son of a bitch. Punch Come on, it. Alex. Now he's, he's koala on his back. He's koala on his back. He's going for the choke. Get him. He's, oh, we're on top again. Oh, we're on top again. He got around him. Spider monkey rolls in. Let's go. Spider okay, monkey. Alex rolls. now just on top of him here. Just holding on. He's trying to get some kind of weird choke, but it doesn't seem like I think Jackson's just fucking chilling. He's like, all right, if you want to do this, we'll just waste time. Head and arm Alex. choke. Head and arm choke. Head and arm choke. A Alex lot of time left top. in this round for him to be on top. So all of a sudden Hernandez is a minus one ten, now plus one hundred. Oh, Dana Delp. Dana Delp in the chest. He's up. He's he's back up now. They're shooting. He's he's out. He's up and just trying to fend off to, uh, takedowns right now as Jackson's trying to milk this round. Jackson's fucking hurt. Yeah, he is. Jackson, he, he Jackson's looks just holding on, trying to trying to save uh, you know time here and fucking regain his consciousness. Come on, turn him around. Oh, Whip his ass for five rounds, and the oh, judges can forgive brother. this one to you. We're we're in we're naked choke territory for Alex Hernandez now. God damn it! We're we're in a bad spot now with Alex. Jackson is on Fuck top, of just raining down. He bad. has the hooks. He has the hooks in. He's All of a sudden, up. Big Hernandez flip flop here. Let's go. Keep, keep sliding. That's off, what you got to do. Shake, shake him, him off. Shrug his ass off. off. And and pound. Let's go. Shake him off. Shake you bastard. There it is. Move your ass. Do some twerking, Alex. 
Work like you do on Sundays. He's and he's liberated. He's back now. He's back on top of him. Oh baby, let Come him on. go, you son of a bitch! Oh my god, that's true, right? Let him go. All right, Alex is using all the muscle he can to try to fucking get him off his leg, but this is just. Killing more time for Jackson to regain his fucking consciousness. Jesus. No, I think My we got the ref refresh side on this one. Get out of there. Back away. Oh my God, dude. It just does not make sense, Alex. Well, what round do you think you won that lets you think that you can do this, my man? I think he's going to end up on top. This is just, it's just Jackson just holding on to him. Yeah. And, and and just burning this clock. They turned it around. And Alex, yeah. Alex just Alex just looking at the ref, saying, "Hey man, you gonna is he gonna stop this? Are you gonna let this go? Pull away and, and get some and the fucking ref, striking going. Come on, man." And the ref's just looking at it, saying, "No, Alex, get out of it yourself. You fucking bum. Fifty seconds left. <laughs> right? And, uh, you fucking still bum. just Under held on here. to him." The entire time. And we've got nothing. I got for 40 him. seconds. I'll give you a, I'll give you a sneak preview at 30 seconds. He's still just holding on to him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 20 Let's seconds. Still just, just, he's still holding on. <laughs> still holding on to him. 15 seconds got, left. Right. He's still holding on got to him. Judge fuckery in my corner. Let's get another one. 10 seconds left. He's still just holding on to him. Five seconds left, and Jackson finally lets go and just swings. And that will probably claim Jackson the victory. No. No. I agree, but no. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Well, he just Fleet. walked by. Damn Alex right. Hit the put the your fucking hand like down. button. Uh, Flea, I'm on fucking Allen. I'm gonna, I'm gonna max my account out on Allen. All Two. right. Well, that was uh, that was tragic there. Jose Bouquet, we're here. We've got the decision pending. We know we got a big day tomorrow, so. Got to get yourself scrubbing and prepping. Yeah, yeah, no, I have to uh, feed a hungry Helga here. Um, I'm a little hungry myself. And then after that, it's just going to be trying to figure out what to cap tomorrow or what to bet tomorrow, I should say. Uh, but yeah, no, it's after a shit day today with these fucking unders, man. Unbelievable. But those pitchers just blow up like that. But yeah, that was uh, that was really disappointing. I think I have to just continue the anti Alex Hernandez agenda now. I, I believed in him there again, and 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 that was disappointing. Yeah, he's but a bum. Get... He's a bum. However, yeah, if, the, uh... if the refs want to help us, well, we'll see what happens here with this decision. Maybe I mean, who yeah. knows? Look at that second round. Look at the significant strikes in the second round. I don't know. Well, I don't know. Third two. He had the third two. He all three of them. In all fairness, Hernandez. Yeah, did right. <laughs> Let's, Let's go, go, baby. Let's go. God. Here we go. Judge's decision. Twenty fuckers is definitely going to be a split decision. Split. Disappointing. All right, Damon wins. It was a split decision, too. I can't believe it wasn't actually a split decision. I'm surprised by that as well. 
All right. Well, that was uh, that was a fun time, lads. I'm glad that we could share the screen, and uh, at least for us three, uh, except for Mikey, you got fucked on that one bat. Yeah, I'm glad we could all experience that together. <laughs> Jose, I will uh, absolutely see it tomorrow morning, 11 a.m. Pub Sports Radio, we're going to get after it. What's going on? Yeah, no, uh, obviously say hey plays tomorrow, 10 in, a, 10 in the morning in Central Time, 11 uh, Eastern. Oh, I'm full screen now. You can see my yeah, bags, man. my exhaustion. Uh, but yeah, no, and then Mondays, I'll be on Last Call with good old Mikey Money here, and I'll be on Muddy Kate Mondays, Tuesday through Friday. I'm on with Jimmy and Pete and all of them. Uh, 11 a.m. Eastern, and then the weekends, like we just said, we do it 11 a.m. Eastern as well. Breaking on baseball every day. It's going to be fun. Cannot wait. Going to have to shake off this fucking fight because, or not this fight, these uh, these unders, I should say, because Kevin Galsman obviously hurt, it seems. Max Freed, maybe just be a bum. Who knows? But it's nice to uh, be with on, on screen with you guys. And, uh, Mikey, I think uh, before I go, you have to play it again, Mikey. Oh, I'll find it. Jose, you, ha you have uh, to play I, it again, in, Mikey. In your honor, I will. Uh, we went to Rotama Park today, and it cost absolutely nothing to get into Sit Rotama Park. Back. Matter of fact, it only costs you 10 back. bucks if you want to park. Do it. But, Jose, uh, how much yeah. did you pay <laughs> to get into Rotama? How's I'll take your, my shirt off too, Mike. How's your seat? He right finally now? put one on. Uh, yeah, no, it's nice. It's very comfy. He's got. I, I, I again, I've told Mike this like six times this week. I thought Mike was five foot five, so I, this is Can nice, comfy seat. seat. Shout out to our guy Jose Bouquet. <laughs> he chose the bounce on that note. Class move. Last move. Let's go, boys. What do we have left here? Oh, the main events, baby. Uh, flea, flea, I, flea. I, I, I did lay the juice. Uh, I got it at two forty. I'm on Chris Curtis. Plus one seventy five. Do it again. Yeah. Ooh. Terrible. And that judging was terrible again, too. Another judge had it 30 27. Like, he right. his ass all three rounds. Like, what? Right? Yeah. RVD, he saw it. No, I, I agree. It sucks. Hey, it is what it is. It sucks that Jose came in and took some of those fucking, <laughs> some of those losers. <laughs> that two fucking shitty decisions. Literally. Just remember, it can fade him in the future. Yep. Damon Jackson was supposed to get crushed. This is supposed to be Anthony Hernandez's spot to get to the top and promote him. And uh -huh. he's a bum. He wasted his spot. I, I, he did waste. Yo, absolutely, he wasted his spot. But I, I actually thought he won that fight, which... Is what it is. Uh, yeah, I think he took it with defending the takedowns and all that. Yep. Yeah. So I'm. Uh. Yeah. I, I'm on Allen on this one. Minus. Uh. Minus two forty. I am eating the juice. Flea. Yeah, I like Allen. I like Allen by submission. Allen by finish. What's that look like? Uh, I would look at Allen by decision. It's tough, though, because it's a five-round fight. Allen to win by KO, sub, or DQ is plus 120. That's where I'm going to put my money here. There you go. I ate the juice. Dylan, what are you doing? Chris Curtis, money line. Fuck you, Dylan. Sorry, it has to be done. Fucking <laughs> scumbag. Fucking Canadian. Fucking Canadians. That's what they do. 
Did you fucking vote for Trudeau? Do you guys even vote? No. Definitely no, did they, not vote for him. They just tell no. him who's coming up. That's what happens in Canada. Hey, Dylan, Trudeau's up. You're good. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. This guy looks like Justin Trudeau. Bring him up. Brendan Allen looks like Justin Trudeau. What? Looks like a bitch. Yeah, I would have said something differently, but yeah. <laughs> Shit talk to me, please. No, he says he wasted his opportunity. But still one. Why do you keep bothering me, Cat? Why do you keep bothering me, Cat? In, in, in all fairness, Flea, I generally win every week. So we're good. We're all good. Oh, oh, we got a new fucking. Yeah, we got somebody joining. Oh, Who's joining for know. the main event? I don't want to keep fucking playing my video. Eh? There he is. C-Mac. What up, boys? What's going on? What's going on? Jeffy Jeff. I what up? What up? What up? Watching this or UFC, what? Uh, UFC main events. Yeah, we're doing all right. Last two fights went to greasy decisions by the judges, and they did not swing our way. But overall, the night was good. What is uh, uh, the shit, main part, fight. though? The next fight. C-Mac! Curtis and uh, Brendan Allen. It's the main event. Oh, wow. It's the main event's already right now? Yeah. This yeah, it's really, really Oh, shit. Yeah. My favorite place got? to be against Dylan. Yeah, we're head to head. I'm on Chris Curtis. They're on Brendan Allen. You know it, baby. It's mm. a rematch. Chris Curtis won the first fight. And I'll think he wants to whoop his he ass back. Win. Mikey, what up, C Mac? In all fairness, one of the uh, one of the check marks is against it, and it's a big check mark here. So we're rolling with the favorite in this spot. Brendan Allen. Minus 225. Eat, eat, I'm on the dog, plus 180. Let's go. I got him to win by knockout, sub, or DQ at plus 120. That's fine. I got him sub plus 175 as well. So let's see what happens, boys. Steam at big NCAA action rolling on right now. Let's go. Yeah. Bama Yukon starts here in about a half an hour. I like to think it's a good game, but yeah, I don't know how Bama stays with them. They better be drained from everywhere. I think the problem Bama has here is it's a uh, off location type <laughs> site. They're playing in a football stadium. It's going to be tough for the sight lines. It's too big a floor, I think. Alabama gets yeah. run off the gym. UConn's defense is just too good. Too good. Yeah, I think uh I mean it's a big spread, but I think it's a big spread for a reason. I don't I don't know if they blow them out, but I think it's gonna be close here. Ten and a half. I, I, I don't like- want the points. I, I just can't take the points unless they're hitting their shots. I think they can. I just I've seen all these teams. <laughs> I'd like to see them have a, a tight game. Maybe that's if they win Purdue. But right. man, it's just been a cakewalk for two years. I just I just think with the uh different gym set up here, Alabama dependent on the three. UConn yeah. plays a hell of a defense too. So now, now you're looking at a team that should. The under almost seems to me to be the play, but 
Alabama can hit them early, it's going to be a big deal for Alabama. But uh, I just think UConn's going to work these boys. And I hate it because I I, I do really, too. I didn't I'm, want to I'm see UConn. UConn minus 10 and a half. Yeah, that's the only way is to lay it. I mean, I'd lay it first yeah. half. As they're that good. They Really? Especially with the defensive aspect and the way that Alabama likes to play. These side yeah, they got to have the game of their life. Literally. Sears has got to be huge. Yeah. Everyone's got to be dunking threes right off the hop. You know what? This is going to be one of those. Dunking threes. Things. I like that, Mikey. Yeah. <laughs> I like a few dunk threes. threes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I just, I, I don't, I guess I'm going to take UConn in the first half. I think that's what I'm going to play. I don't like it. I, I want Bama to beat UConn. That's what makes this too tough for me. I just want to see some sort of an upset. Minus six now. Get the fuck out of here now. Really? UConn's going to handle some, these boys? I know. There's what, some Alabama... Love from somebody, but I don't know. See what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna take Alabama plus six. You know what? You might you might as well take Alabama plus six, and then go the other side minus six. That's why you win. <laughs> hey, I had a. I thought Purdue would win that game. And there wasn't a six. NC State three point game. Dudes hit a three right before the end of the half. I lose the bet. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Uh. All right. There's some. What is that? Race to. How about Alabama race to 10? Give me that. Give me this thing. Three and one as a UFC dog is Chris Curtis. What's Chris Curtis, dude? He doesn't. He doesn't qualify. I fucking threw two hundred bucks on Allen. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I think it's like four hundred bucks to win two hundred. Yeah, Allen's fucking. Fuck that. C-Mac, unfortunately, we have a uh, better to remain nameless. And uh, he <laughs> is on Curtis. So we're uh, we're we're not just fading. Ew. Um, Ew. Dylan's <laughs> not fading. Dylan's jumping in. <laughs> I'm not fucking fading anybody. I'm just making my picks. <laughs> All right, let's go, boys. Look at these boys. They're ready to fight. C-Mac, they're ready to roll. Let's go. Let's get it. C-Mac, what do you got? You got a nothing. You got a dog in this fight? No, I would take uh, the dog, though. Keep, keep the live line on there. Oh, well. oh Alabama. Man. I'll tell you what. I want Al I, this is where my heart and my head don't Yeah, go. that's where I, I can't I, I don't want my money on it. I, I want Alabama plus six in the first half. I want Alabama on the money line in the first half. It looks like I accidentally threw 150 bucks on Alabama in the first half on the money line. So <laughs> looks like that's where I'm I don't know how it happened. I don't know who did it. Somebody did it. It must have been me sitting in front of my computer, but okay. No, I'm on it. I'll tell you what, boys. Alabama's leading in this first half. That'll be big. Yeah. Let's big. go, Alan, though. Has him up against the fence. There they are rolling. It's not the scissor kick when it's two dudes, but here we go with Allen with the backpack. 
There's been a lot of shit fights tonight, in all fairness. with this Horrible, season. horrible card. Really? Yeah. Oh, it's been bad. There's just not... There's been a few standing bangers. The the it's bad to say. Uh girl kick girl fight kick in the face or the first round. Uh the first fight had uh the knockout plus a thousand. She kicked her in the face, she knocked her out. It was downhill more or less from that a couple plus six hundreds. But here we go. Allen and Curtis. Looks like I could use Allen to win by sub. You got a live line? No. Hang on. Yeah. Fucking look it up. I didn't know if you had it readily. Allen was available. Minus 270. Yeah. Allen yeah, in the a, white trunks. The I got white a 324. Trunks. Minus 324. Yes, sir. Oh, shit. Big O says first half over. Kelly V. Allen lost to him in 2020. Little revenge spot there for Allen. Agreed. He doesn't want to get clipped twice. I think he lost by KO, too. So, yeah. Allen is minus 270 right now. College hoops, a half an hour to pop off. Two quick goals for the Leafs. Fanatical Jim. I, I'm actually I'm on the over six and a half. Oh, Looking sketchy. All right. Bunch of revenge games. The Flyers blew it in a revenge spot. Or I'm sorry, the Florida Panthers. The Flyers are down in the revenge spot. They're down 2-0. And New Jersey is up 3-1 over Ottawa. That's the team I did like. C-Mac, it's tough as fuck to bet these uh, NHL games here with just a couple days to go. It's tough. Yeah, I've had some uh, a couple just like fucking unreal. <laughs> they just can't. Yeah. Games. I got the jackets here today. I have the over since Ottawa. How about the other day? You won that over Panthers. <laughs> I was thinking of your bitch ass when uh, six nothing the whole third period. I couldn't get one goddamn goal. Well, at, least my, at least Mikey's uh, Mikey's cashing. I was like, goddamn. Sixteen and one of the under Thursdays, baby. One last game here. That's a hell of a trend. A hell of a trend. Yeah, Sox wow. Royals under is glorious. It's glorious yesterday. Glorious day. I'm on the under in that Angels game. It's coming off under four and a half. All right. Under Whitlock, Detmers. First five. I've been dog hunting. I took uh, I took Arizona. <laughs> no, I wish I, I freed. Something's wrong with him. I wish yeah. uh, Arizona versus Lefty. And I like the over there a little bit. I mean, obviously, what was it? Ten runs. But, yeah, the backs. Fuck. You know, I had him so. yesterday. I had him uh, plus 275. And then the, the run line plus 230 or 130. You know, they lost by one, but they were winning that goddamn game the whole way right to the end. And uh, shout out to Atlanta for figuring it out. But here we go. This is a little different now. Second game of the series, 6-0. Oof. Oof. Yeah. I, I was reluctant to bet it, but I took the uh, the Sharks uh, 
St. Louis game under six, and we're at two one going well into the third period. Blue's gonna lose again to the Sharks. No. I like that. <laughs> Yeah. No, no, no. I think the Sharks are actually going to win this one, which is crazy. Yeah. Which is crazy. But San Jose has been so six. fucking awful for what are they one and nine in their last ten games? They're just yeah. terrible. The and they're Jack up and the Leafs are up three zero now. It's whipping it, ass. I mean, it's like taking the Blackhawks. They won today. Yeah, the worst world. teams. The Stars red hot. Right. I definitely Shit. took the stars live today. You can't even say they're trying to play spoiler. They're just bad team. You can't play spoiler if you're that fucking bad, but here we go. <laughs> God, yeah. I mean, Sam, right? yeah. Man. Well, here we go. We've got this Allen battle right now, boys. I gotta pull this up. Who's winning? You guys think? Boring. Well, right. Yeah, it's boring. Yeah, that's the way yeah, to boring. describe it. C -Mac. I think it's a good strike. Minus one ninety five. Uh, it's more or less right where it started, right? Yeah. We see. Yeah, it's a boring fight. We're in round two with three minutes left, and the line's still the same. Literally. Rushia says Fandle has a boost. UConn minus five and a half in the over 154 at plus 154. I don't know. Rushia, it's tough for me when I get to these final spots because. There's just teams I don't want to win, and that and that compromises my unbiased view on these lines. And I don't want UConn to win, so I do think they win. I think that it's probably going to be a higher scoring game. I just would rather UConn not win. It's tough for me. What do you guys think? I mean, you see some of these numbers all season long, all week long, everything else. Why can't Alabama go out there and fucking cover the spread? Yeah. I, lo so I like play the first defense. half under. I like the first half under for the Alabama game. Hey, if UConn gets the lead, they're so good at just sitting on these oh, yeah. and been able to do great. And they just they just melt the clock. They're fish on offense, defense. They stymie. That's, that's why I like Bama in the first half because I don't I don't need to see the rest of the game. If Bama can't be in there in the first half, then they're they're nuked and it's gonna be a 30 point win. How about the uh women's games selling more expensive tickets than the men's games? The average price of ticket, I, I know you guys saw that. It was fucked up. Iowa. I guess Caitlin Clark, you want to see Caitlin Clark do her thing, but man. What'd you think about that call? Yeah. Uh, the screen. I don't I don't the call of that right then of the game to end it. I don't know. It's gotta be really bad. I mean, I mean, it wasn't was as bad like, as it should have been to warrant the yeah. Is what it comes down to. Yeah, it was it, it was questionable, but down but, to a pick them now. It's not too late to jump on the Chris Curtis side. Fuck you and Chris Curtis. No, I was I was I was okay with it. I thought. You shouldn't have let it get to that point is what it comes down to. Just shouldn't have let it come down to the, the final mm -hmm. mix, right? Caitlin Clark, though. 
that are saying she should go to the NBA as opposed to the WNBA. I don't know about that. Historically, NHL, NBA, it don't, that, that hasn't worked out well. Who said that, Billy Briss? <laughs> <laughs> no. They were saying the Sixers should draft her. One of the teams was Sixers or Toronto. No way. Yeah. Really? Yeah. If the Sixers drafted her, it, it, respect. I I would not follow the Sixers anymore. Hate them every game. No. Go to the NBA, do your thing, but try to generate some fucking revenue in the WNBA. Here we go. Allen, second yeah. round. Round number three. Oh, excuse me. I was going to say it's round three. No, nah, he's more of the aggressor. Allen's even money. You boys are on Curtis? No, I'm on Allen. Allen needs to do something. It's fucking... Come on now. Get in there and unleash shell. Come on. Oh, Curtis is looking looking windy. It's like he's he's taking a fucking fist to the face. All right. Allen is rolling up. Let's go. Dan Delp says Allen's plus a hundred. He's minus 218 now. Oh. He's swinging with, with aggression. It's also a five-round fight. It's not, not the three rounds like typical. A couple good shots. What are you poking in the eye? Or is that the end round? Yeah, I like yeah, the in the eye. See, Mac, you're fucking light years ahead. Suck. Damn it. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out. <laughs> no, no, it's all good. I, uh, I'm on, I guess I'm on regular cable. My cable's not as good as you boys down there in Vegas. <laughs> I don't know, though. That didn't look like, I, I guess I got to see the uh, iPug. Nah, really it wasn't. It was more of a rake than it was a poke. Yeah. Yeah. You just need a break. These guys are already fucking gassed. Yeah. Here we go. Allen ready for battle. The number six versus the number 14. They gave it a little, little hug there. Third round. We are smack dab in the middle of this fight. Here we go. I don't like that Allen's been comfortable against the cage the entire fucking fight. Go out there and be an aggressor. Stop just trying to pat him and wait. Oh. Allen is now a minus 270. Choke him out. Choke him. Out. 
shot for the panic takedown. He was getting rocked. Blues tie it. Guns. Fucking back back in a mirror. Hit the like. Guns. My dude, where are you at? Get on here. Hey, fine, guns. Let's mm. get him in here. Oh, he's tired out. He let him go. Yeah, he's got his fucking ass. Yeah, let's see if our boy wants to join up. Let's go. So, send it. I'll pop it. I sent it, guns. Let's go. We're all waiting on you. Flyer score, 3 1. I'll tell you, the NHL, today's a tough, uh, it's borderline undebatable the last week. It's, yeah. I, I want to bet. I just. Oh, we got guns coming in singing. <laughs> I sent it to him. We're guns waiting. Guns are singing. Well, St. Louis did tie it up, and they're going into overtime. Under? It's at four, so you should be good. <laughs> Would you get five and a half? Six. Oh, yeah, you'll get that. Yep. I didn't want to play that game. Somebody was talking. Talking in the chat. Forced me into making a play, and I made it. Oh, you heard him with a body shot. Did you see that? What's going on here? Here we go. Allen's in minus 218 right now. Let's go, boys. You got eye poked. Blue Jackets responded. Got another goal. Oh, yeah. The over in the uh, Toronto-Montreal game was six and a half. I took it at six and a half, and it's at five right now with eight minutes left in the second period. Bob. Four one. Let's go. Two more goals. Jackets. Thank you. 
We got a big fight here, though, boys. What's going on right uh, now? Well, Allen is plus one twenty-four. I'm surprised mm -hmm. he's dropped that low, but. Okay, Ken. He's going to box him up, I think. Ellen's minus. No, he's Ellen's plus 124. He's on his back. Am I that far he behind? Was my, he was minus 165 just recently before they. Shut it out now. As soon as he got that takedown, he went back to a favorite. All right, man. I was going to say, what the fuck? <laughs> Come on. Get up, Chris. Get up again. There yeah, you go. Plus 120. There you go. Yeah. Now Chris Curtis is back to a favorite. Yeah. So if it's on the ground, they favorite him immediately. The live lines flip so fast there. Let's go, Curtis. Do you, do you think Curtis is winning this fight, Dylan? I do think he's winning the boxing match, yeah. Well, the bo no, the fight in general. Yeah, so I, he's I don't think he's striking, he and then Allen can't really get the takedowns. Chris keeps defending them, so I do think he's winning it. The striking numbers are very even, though. Mm -hmm. There. I think back Allen... Take him on the live line, though. What's that? It's back to a pick him at minus 115 on the live line. Allen's on his back. Uh, I don't like that. He's dropping down. Oh, oh, there we go. He's going back up now. Yeah. Get up again, Curtis. There's only 30 bitch. seconds. Yeah, he's not doing anything here. Whew. Allen's on top. Seven seconds left. You're on fucking elbows. He's rubbing his head. Brandon, I hope you're not on fucking Curtis fucking only dummies take fucking Curtis. Well, fuck off. Yeah, yeah you know damn well I'm talking about you, Dylan. I know you're talking a lot of shit. You know I like to talk shit. Your your screen's frozen though. Well, is it at least on my end? At least on my end. I don't know. Oh yeah. Yeah, this fight's pretty even. I actually think it's 3-1 Allen, but... I mean, maybe. You know these judges, it's like... Yeah, yeah. I can yeah. see that. Hang on. I, mean, I, just keep, seeing the, uh, I just keep seeing the Allen live line at minus 210, minus 215. It's close. It's close. And Don't get me wrong. Somebody just shot it out there. 38-38. Sounds like a good opportunity to double back on the favorite on the money line. Let's go, Allen. I accidentally fucked up and whacked Alabama money line. 
bad. And I did it big on DraftKings because uh, DraftKings wants to take 10% uh, just to cancel. So I'm all in, boys. I'm all in on Alabama. I'm not going to give them fucking, I'm not going to give them 100 bucks. Get the fuck out of here. Get his bucks back. You're going to get 100 bucks just to cancel my bet? Fuck off. I'll ride or die, motherfuckers. C-Mac, Dude. I'll ride or die. I don't give a fuck. Oh, That's get his leg. No, baby. Get up. Get up. Ah. He's out. Yeah. You know what's up. Die line. <laughs> Come on. You've got to be getting tired. Ooh. Line's dropping again now that he got out of it. Ooh, there we go. Good knee. Come on, Curtis. Put it on him. Curtis, bitch. Yeah, I'll fuck it. Shot. I'll fight Curtis. Yeah, I'll fight, fight Curtis. Let's go. I'll fight Curtis. That's the takedown. Let's go. Beat his ass. Yeah, I'm he's scrambling. He's in tight. Beat his ass. Beat his ass. Beat his ass. Watch this here. Curtis is about to get knocked out. Alan just looked knocked at him like you're. Mm -hmm. Anyone's getting knocked out. It's Alan. No. What? Oh, big undercut. There we go. Couple mops. You guys ahead of me? Mm -hmm. 233, 232, 233. There was no big uppercuts. Yeah. Nah, I saw a head kick. Haymakers. Let's go, Curtis. Put yeah, it on. Yeah, Alan's got him. Alan's got him. Alan's Punch, him got him. Punch him in the face. We're going to do a pick him again. Stuff the takedown again. Yeah. Stop. No. Alan is sitting at plus 130 right now, boys. You can go get yeah, him. Alan's easy gas. Gotta get up. Yeah, he's definitely gassed. Well, Chris. Ah, he's he's all right. Oh, he wants Oof. to go. Oh, oh, get up. Ooh. Ooh. You're not doing your Throw Muay Thai. Into you it, it. Baby. Throw it all into it, baby. Yeah. Oh. What? No! He's gassed. He's, he's gassed. He's wearing he's the back <laughs> He's gassed. Yeah, he is. Gas him up, baby. Both Curtis looks scared. <laughs> Curtis is like, where was that? What happened? You just got taken down, motherfucker. Let's go. Minute left. Get up again. He's not getting up. Yeah, he will. He'll reverse it again, just like he did every nah, other time. He, he's looking, like he he's looking for time. it. You see that? He was literally looking for the reverse. He's, he's fucking tied up. Tap out, motherfucker. No, too sweaty. Last 30 seconds. Here we go. I'll There's a lot of spider monkey Curtis. action. Curtis Turns is it around. back on top. Oh, boy. Oh, they're letting him go back to stand and moves, and Curtis is getting touched up by Alan. Oh, shit. <laughs> Alan's trying to. Ooh. Trying Ooh. to try. That was a good end there for Alan. Oh, oh there we go. Damn. Oh. Good knee. Oh, looks good for, looks is good Alan, for the judges. Is good Curtis beat up? Curtis looks done. Damn, Curtis blew out his knee or something. He's crying. <laughs> They're both dead. They're both fucking gassed. What a fight. Yeah, I think, he, I think fight. he fucked his knee, though. Fuck you. He's holding Yeah, it. his knee is fucked, C-Mac. Or his hamstring. Ball. Look at him. He's yeah, maybe his hamstring. The hamstring, yeah. Oh. Hammy. Look at it. Oh, man, he yeah. can't. He's dealing with it on the side. Oh, man. Woo! Woo, it hurts. I've been there. Oh, fuck. <laughs> We're going to give it to Alan. Come on. Yeah. Give him the fucking victory. Yeah. Give us Alan's victory. 
Yeah, I'm already celebrating. I don't know. Fuck you guys. I don't think you won that fight. No, honestly, it's, it's a close fight. I don't know who won right now. That was fucking tight back and forth. You know who won. You don't want to admit it. Allen didn't do shit with the You know who won. You fucking know who won. Defending the takedowns. <coughs> Defending don't the make, submissions. Don't make me say the F word. <coughs> Go ahead. Wait for the decision, though. <laughs> I'm not saying it. Oh, I'll, I'll be using that F word if we lose this decision. Action around here. <laughs> You boys are tough. You're fucking tough. Arizona tough. Diamondbacks are up eight to two right now. Man, I should almost just cash out. I'm in the bottom of the fifth. I got 90% of my money. Uh, C Mac, well, I'm not a big corner of the cash out. Just give it to me. But man, here we go. I man, saw Arizona. You want that yesterday. bullpen. That bullpen's shit. Oh, Here yeah. It has been for go. years. Here we go. Scorecards are together. Here we go. Oh, baby. Roll them up. Let's go. Let's see what we have here. Here we go. Brandon Allen, baby. What? What? Allen split decision. <laughs> Unreal. Split decision again. Huh. Yeah, I thought they were gonna. Yeah, yeah it's tough. That's three split decisions in a row. That's fucking wild. Nah, judges are shit. Ah, you know, in all fairness. Actually, Take that yeah. fucking raccoon or bobcat off here. Yeah, right. Jesus Christ. What the fuck is he wearing? Dude? What the fuck is he wearing? <laughs> what, what's Take that? that? Take that fucking thing off your head. I was asking Pete about it the other day. I said, Pete, take that fucking squirrel off your neck. <laughs> Let's check. Shitty Cody Allen. Michael B. <laughs> straight up, dude. So the last few fights have been shit calls. I've been on. I'm two and one of them. You're calls. on the. You're, you're on like, the right side of them. Fuck <laughs> I don't, you guys. Get it. <laughs> hey, the judges kicking better, but they cash for me so. I fucking threw four hundred. I threw four hundred bucks on the last fight, and I feel good about it. All right, there he is. Oh man! Like, give him a fucking intro. <laughs> oh jeez! Give him a fucking it. Ah, you want me to? I get it. I get it. He's got a beautiful back swing. Dad, oh he got. I'm not fucking leaving. <laughs> Good start to the final four. A little three and one action right now. Going into the next game. I'm not touching the side. I'm only touching the total. Give me the under. <laughs> yeah, I helped you out. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, guys? How you doing? Who did, who did that little treat there? Uh, excellent. Yeah. The big game is rolling. We, it is. It is. Uh, they're introducing the starters right now. Showing an HBO Max commercial. I'm ready. I'm not. I'm wearing a neutral hat, so I'm not on anybody's UConn side or Bama side. I will just enjoy the ride. What else are we back well, on, boys? There's a lot of distractions. I know we got MMA going on. What else? Well, guns. You'll be happy to know I accidentally made a massive bet on Alabama money line in the first five. Oh, accidentally. Is that you mean? I was drunk when I made this bet. Is that accidental? I mean, I don't even remember making it. It's just sitting there in my queue. So I got to own it at this point, right? Let's go. 
I got him plus six. That was a modest bet, but all of hey, a sudden. you know what? It, I would love to, you know, for my future that I have on Purdue to win the national championship, I think Bama would be who I'd be rooting for in this situation. But UConn is a monster. So yeah, I was good. I was good with that, but the uh, money line is what had me. I, whatever we are, where we are, we have the bet placed, and they're up three zero. So let's go. We are. Who we are. That's what they're gonna have to do. I mean, they're gonna have to hit threes to win this game. I mean, for Alabama. Yeah. So if they don't, they're they're finished. Because yeah, just like that, you saw the inside action there. Klingon's just sucking up that middle like a vacuum. He's going to knock everything that gets anywhere near that rim. And he just did it there, too. Uh, I, I might be behind, but I don't know why I am. Let's get this game up. Yeah, I'm thinking the same thing, C-Mac. <laughs> Nelson, that's what I was thinking about. Nelson going inside against Klingon is no bueno. Let me get this puppy on the big screen here. I did lean towards the uh, the uh, taking Bam on the plus twelve. I thought that was fine. Quick start here. Yeah, I liked them. I liked them there, and I liked them in the first half. I don't. I don't know where the uh, first five money line came into play, but I'm. I'm uh, the first half money line. First half. Right? Yeah. I mean, put out on it. Let's go. It's a big bet. Imagine if basketball was in innings. <laughs> <What'd you> fucking... <laughs> I've been struggling between uh, the periods in the hockey. The because uh, you're betting on every single sport. It's like no, they're on the fourth hole. It's his Matt. This is the Masters uh, podcast. No, I've been. Did you take anything on this game, C Mac? No. I stayed off. I, I just, I, you know, two years. Nobody's like, I'm waiting for the fucking game. Yeah. Somebody gives UConn a game, and I haven't seen it. I don't think Alabama's the team. I mean, I think that offensively they could get hot. Right. You know what? They stayed around. San Diego State was good for the first 15 minutes of the first half, yep. and, and they only were down by 10, I think, at halftime because I had them plus seven first half. But Illinois was there the first half right with them. And then there's just going to be a lull, I think, here for Bama. They got to stay hot all game long. And UConn's just so good defensively. Yeah, Purdue did I that. I don't know. How. If you watch the Purdue Purdue stuff, did it today. They, they, and they can do it, yeah. They play with their food. And they they just barely covered the first half. Of the, the, that last, Tell me about last it. second three. I had, I had NC State first half. So I was like. So did I. But I was like, okay. You just told cool game, me, Purdue. You know, I loved it. Double, yeah. I doubled down on the second half on Purdue. It was like I just doubled so down. Did I. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I was because I the full game I liked it because I was like if they're in this one it's early. Yeah. You know I think NC State can hang. It was three points with like twenty five seconds. Like all right, here we go. Like basket or two, back four, uh, eight seconds left. Boom, three. I'm like fuck, whatever it was. Yeah. Uh, I wanted a six too, guns. I thought they might pop up. Because there was five and a half. I thought they might have been able to get a six. I waited but, yeah, I could second too because I thought I thought the line would move to ten. I, I really did. I thought yeah, it was short because I, in my opinion, the Purdue game was should have been twelve. That was the line that I mm -hmm. had. I, like, I think it should be twelve, and it was nine. And I was like, that I'm going to take Purdue full game, and that's going to be my biggest bet. But I was waiting on that, like up to the last second. All I could get was five and a half, and I and and the whole time I'm watching the back end. I go. Yeah. I like I'm gonna like they're gonna hit a three and ruin this. I know they're gonna. Do. I I had exactly <laughs> the same. But when it happened, I was like, Purdue's gonna wear them down. I did the same thing you did, double down. But man, I thought I could get NC State for a sack. Ah. Yeah. I did. I mean, I I still. I mean, it just told me what I had to do the second half. So, it, it's all washed and uh, hit the game. Uh, hit the uh, uh, the uh, total under for NC State as well, and the it was eighty five and a half or something like that. I thought that was high. Oh, I sixty eight and a half. I'm sorry, I don't say eighty. I'm thinking about the UConn. Yeah, sixty eight. Oh, look half. at this uh, fucking stadium, though. Look at this UConn Alabama fucking football stadium. There's people everywhere. I don't know how. Like 
playing basketball in that it, you're just kind of the, in the small capsule. I, I would think you'd it would just feel off in the first like 16 yeah. minutes of the game. I would just I, I wouldn't know <laughs> I, I would I wouldn't know how to shoot a three. That's for sure. I would I would go inside off the hop, score. right? Yeah, yeah. You're gonna. This is the sight line here, Mike. Yeah, yeah. That's sight line. Yeah. Sight line. I didn't want to use sight lines because everybody said <laughs> sight line, sight line. No, Shut up. No, <laughs> see, Matt, yeah. see, Matt and I are talking about that for months now. Here, <laughs> it yeah. seems like. Uh, I understand what you're talking about. You're, I mean, it's a clear glass uh, backboard, and you're shooting into a rim, and then all you see is this depth behind it, like it's a, see, you know, yeah. a Stanley Kubrick film. And you get lost <laughs> in trying to make shots, airballing the fuck out of the ball. Boy, I just don't All know right. how they're so gonna. So fucking. Uh, so so I fucking jumped in. Well, as I have the Maple Leafs Canadians over six and a half. It said uh, six in the end of the second period. I am jumping in on the Oilers Flames over six and a half. Which comes up at ten o'clock. That's a lot of goals. Is it? I don't know. I haven't watched hockey in a while. Um, Bruins are good though. I heard. Yeah, Mike talked me off. Mike talked me off that ledge, <laughs> and then it won. Yeah, this is this is the time when the Bruins win a win a championship. Though is when people think they're falling off. Last year they weren't falling off. They were like. They broke records in regular season wins this year. They they were winning a lot, and then they kind of like regressed a little bit. They'll heat up. Bruins going to win the championship. Celtics going to win the championship, and you're going to hate Boston again. Boston's back. Hey, are the Red Sox going to win too? Uh, if they make the playoffs, that's a no. that's a W. But they they ain't winning nothing. <laughs> that they're too. I mean, they have no pitching. They have just a bunch of – they look like a minor league baseball team for the most part. I mean, there's a couple stars in their Devers and Story. and um, I, 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 yeah. don't have, know, I don't know about the basketball, but the hockey, they're certainly not going to win. No way. Okay. I mean, so it, it comes down to a hot goalie at the right time anyway. So, yeah. A goalie standing on his head blocking shots, nothing you can do. <laughs> it looks like there's a lot of love for Boston. Yeah, <laughs> Boston, 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 smash, Boston. Celtics smash, Red Sox smash, and then yeah. Gordon says, yeah, it's fucking nasty, Nate. Nate. You know, Listen, Boston, you. Boston, you. And I'm just going to be doing uh, TikToks and be shooting fadeaway jumpers in my fucking bird jersey. That's what you're going to say. <laughs> Done in a, hey, hey, listen, they made a run in March, uh, what, February and March or something like that? 20, winning 21 out of the last 24, something like that. The last time that's happened uh, is there's, there's four occurrences for the Celtics, and they won two championships and made the finals in the next. So, I mean, at the very least, the team should make the finals statistically, if you know. They should, you know, get, they should get to the finals. Yeah. I mean, they may they fall in the finals, but we'll get to the yeah. finals. I think they'll win the East. It's not a hot take, anyways. He sucks. <laughs> hot take: Celtics to the yeah. finals. Hey, you know I'm, go I'm going off. I'm going right. off the grain here. I'm going off public perception here. You know what? I think the Celtics are going to win the championship. The Fuck East, the East, the East. That's <laughs> fucked. That's <laughs> he's going out on the limb, folks. Stephen A. Smith, fucking hot take. Stephen A. Guns. Just call me Stephen <laughs> Gay Smith. <laughs> <laughs> Now, on another <laughs> note, uh, taking the Kings as well. Kings of Sacramento. The Kings of Sacramento. Uh, no, 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 no. Hockey. Hockey. Oh, oh. I, 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 yeah, I, I don't. Do you would think that uh, <laughs> England would have a team or and call themselves the Kings or the Queens or something. Fucking gay. Yeah. I mean, we have no royalty in the U.S., so why would you call yourself the Kings? Especially if you haven't won a championship in a while. It's very well. It's here very we go, nice. boys. We are thirteen. On the peasants. Fifty. I'll tell you what. We're at this point. I'm rooting for my Alabama spot. 
13, 11, 15 minutes to go. But this I, could I, be I, another I, – I, I, I'm not trying to ruin the bet anyways, but this could be another uh, UConn playing with their food. Second half, Dan Hurley just starts yelling at them, and all of a sudden it's a 30 to nothing run, and you have no answer, no shot. Yeah, you know, guns. The funny thing is, I accidentally drunk clicked the shit out of Alabama money line in the first half. If they want to go play with their food in the second half, that's fine. <laughs> oh, Alabama. No, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Was I talking about I meant Purdue? <laughs> no, it's all good. I I I if I could undo it, I would have. If they wanted to charge me 10%. So now I'm sitting there going, I'm gonna take your fucking 10%. Take it in your ass. Let's go. It's 13 to 11. I like it. I like it. I like slow basketball. I like slow basketball. I like uh, 1950s. Uh, I don't do a crossover, and I shoot after a minute basketball. Is that still no? We have a shot clock. No. But pass it in. Take your time. UConn basketball. I want to see Klingon against Edie, uh, Edie though. That's what I want to see. The entire planet was on UConn today. I haven't looked at it, C Mac. I I don't know the percentages and the odds, but I'm going to assume the entire fucking planet is on the uh, the uh, noobs on the planet were on. Or actually, no, uh, the public perception people were on NC State and UConn for yeah. sure. It it doesn't surprise me. No. Before I even fill out a bracket, I heard people saying UConn was going to win the whole thing. But listen, no, everybody's bad. been on UConn throughout this entire tournament and cash tickets. So yeah, yeah. I've lost every time, and, and, I, 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 and I'm the asshole that fades them every time. Yeah, no, C Mac. <laughs> I, 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 I saw a trend that said they were ten and zero against the spread in their last two years. I'm like, well, of course. They've kicked the shit out of everybody. In yeah, the last but last year. year was fun because nobody saw it coming. I don't think anybody saw it coming. I thought that was a perfect spot to jump on UConn. As you, like you, UConn is winning. People. UConn is winning this. Yeah. There. Hand up. I did. I, I took him. I had 23 to 1. I, I think 23 to 1. I'm saying it straight up. They're going to win. This year, I was. I, I think, what happened? Do you leave? See, Matt got upset. You guys were talking about what you got winning, and he wants Alabama with me. He I wants Alabama with me. I didn't boot him. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Damn it. Listen, let's start talking about why Alabama's going to win, and maybe he'll come back. Let's go. I, I'll I, tell you like what I said, if they make threes, what? and no, and UConn sure. tries to play at their pace, UConn <laughs> tries to play, play at their pace. <laughs> Then Bama's finished. The Bama's gonna win. What? See Mac, you look different. <laughs> Let me go take a piss. <laughs> <laughs> you boys are a good time. Guns! You guys are a good time, man. I'll be right back. Fucking guns! I feel like I did something. But I didn't. I, I was hoping you'd sing some Billy Joel for us. Um I need a little bit for that one. It's been a long day. Sing us a song. You're a piano man. Sing us a song. Sing us us a song. You're the piano man. Not in the mood for a melody. Blah, blah, blah. It's feeling all right. 15 to 13. 13, 27 left. I was actually hoping for Uptown Girl, but that's all right. We'll fucking figure it out. Is that doo-wop Billy Joel? Doo-wop Billy Joel sucks. Fuck you. He's uh longest time. Whoa, like barbershop shit. I was like, yeah. I fucking call you a choice word, but I got called out about it. <laughs> but you did? What what's the choice word? Oh, the F word? Yeah. Oh. Don't say it. I didn't say it. Did I say I'm it not before? saying it. <laughs> no, I didn't say it before. I know what I said. Yeah, we can't use that word anymore. He just yelled, don't say it. <laughs> Can't use that word anymore. No, no, I think you he literally said say it, Jeff. Oh, nah, fuck him. C Mac left. Damn it. Fuck him. Let's go. Let's enjoy my un disgusting accidental click on Alabama money line. It's fifteen fifteen now. I know that, but 
All right, late. Yeah, we gotta start cheering for Bama now. I'm with you. Let's cheer for 18, Bama. 15. Let's go, baby. All right, there's a steal. Oh, play D. Play D, D boys. Play D. Play D. Play D. This is where I get fucked up. Oh no. finally clicked heavy on the Alabama money line in the first half. Uh, now I mean getting... like how many units are we talking about? Uh, oh, first half money line on Bama? Yeah. Yeah. That's it. So it's first half money line. It's not game. No, no. First half was two units, and Alabama plus six in the first half was a unit. So I, I got fucked you. this thing up. But here we go. We're 18 16. I can cash out just a few dollars, though, at this point. It's funny. Within a couple of minutes, you go from paying them to getting paid. You can do what the uh, former UConn coach did. He goes, I fucked up. I thought old Mecca 4 was good. And uh, well, remember that speech from the old, uh, I can't remember the UConn coach. You, yeah. Uh, 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 I, I, I know what you're talking about. He was talking about Johnny, uh, Go he was talking about Gomes, <laughs> Gomes ripping him apart. I fucked up. <laughs> I thought Omeka Ford was good. <laughs> Not a dime back. Same coach. He goes, they pay you this much a salary. He goes, not a dime back. <laughs> Look him up. Somebody's got it in the chat. Not a dime back. I can't think of who his name is right now. My brain's mush. It's so funny to see the money line bet I have versus the plus Hey, six. Bama's up to... Hey. Bama's up four right now. <laughs> they might be up more. I'm delayed, so. Yeah. yeah. I've had a I, have like, real score. I have like 50 bucks on the plus six. And I have 200 bucks on the money line. Doesn't even make sense. <laughs> I'm doing gambling math, and I and like it, that's not a sharp move. <laughs> yes. That move doesn't make any sense at all. Be my bad. Yeah, no. it's 23 to 20 now. I'm seeing. No. That move is just obviously Calhoun. That's it. Yeah, Calhoun. I forgot about that. Onward and upward. Let's go. Let me get this Bama first half. I take him. I don't care how the concoction is. Just give it to me. I did take the Colorado Rockies. I shared that here. I've got the Giants. They're zero zero as well. Let's go. Major League Baseball guns. Major League. Baseball. Oh no! I'll tell you what. I like the Yankees first five in full game. I missed it. I think it's because the UFC was going. I missed it, and they're smoking them, and I'm mad about it. Only because I missed it because I liked it so much. But the Diamondbacks are up eight five over the Braves. Let's go. And the home of the Braves. Let me look yes, at sir. the uh, what's going on in the MLB. Yeah, it's eight to uh, eight to two on Toronto. Gagoots. Alabama, baby. Let's go, Alabama. Why not? What happened? I, this is the second accidental click tonight. Uh, who, who, uh, someone came in. What's this? What's the click? Oh, the uh, you talk about the bet 20, uh, 23 to 20 timeout, 10 24 left is what I'm seeing. 10, four, yeah, 20. All right, I'll be right back. Yeah. All right. 10 25 to go in the first half. Here we go. Alabama's up 23 20. Your boy, me, needs Alabama on the money line. Uh, I hit it stupid hard. Stupid hard. And then somehow I ended up with a plus six. That doesn't even make sense, but <laughs> whatever. On way we go here. We need Bama in the first half, Dylan. You're you can yeah. go fuck yourself. How about that? I took the uh, Nashville Predators at plus two seventy five. 
Shut up, man. I'll tell you what. I'll I'll share you with a little family secret. You are you listening? What is it? A little family secret. Jeff doesn't even like hockey. <laughs> Let's go, guns. Let's yeah. get this. So, this that's literally fucking tough. I'm fucking trying to eat. I want to eat on stream. I think you're a scumbag if you eat on stream. That's tough. I've eaten on stream oh, before. Yeah. Ooh, who's, who's, eating who's, pussy. Oh, you're a scumbag. Uh, who's Alabama playing? UConn. UConn. I got UConn. Fuck them. <laughs> Why? <laughs> All right, go eat. Go eat. Go eat. <laughs> go eat. <laughs> Wonder what happened to C Mac. He had, he did an Irish goodbye. Yeah, uh, he's busy guy. I got to go on tomorrow with say hey, Major League Baseball guns. I'm ready for you, my guy. Uh yeah, I'll. I, I know you're doing May. Saturday guns, baseball, whatever it's called. I'm going to do go. something with baseball. I just don't know how. I mean, it's probably going to be more weekend oriented than it is anything else. I need a little bit of a break before uh, football comes back. Baseball is not my strongest suit, but it is fun to bet when you're bored in the summer. So, yeah. And it, yeah. And, you, and it's easy to, I, I think it's easy to cap if you track like, you know, you pick like first fives, you pick game and you just track everything and with the pitchers and yeah, it's, it can be fun. I'm starting to dip my toe in it a little bit just to get a taste. <laughs> Who's better? Is it clinging better than Edie? I, I don't. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. We need Alabama here. I, <laughs> I'm, it, well, Edie's not playing for Alabama, so we're good. No, I'm saying stop it. I need Alabama here. Look, I got to take a beating on these plays. Yeah. So you need a money line, though, right? Okay. Yeah. The first half, too. I'm not even fucking around. Nice. And I went big. That's stupid. All right. Yeah, but basketball is runs. We know how that works. I'm gonna shout out up uh, uh my my guy Sanderson, uh, Rusha Jr., Brandon Smith loves the Celtics. Love that. Nasty Nate, he hasn't called me gay yet, which is great. Um, if he wants to, he can. Um, Flea Mathis, Daniel Fick. I'm just going through. So Michael's in the chat. We have the same chat a lot. <laughs> Mike. <laughs> a lot of these guys are in my shit, too. So, but God love them. Family. That's right. What are you betting on, Dylan? Currently, I have uh, Nashville and Oilers in the upcoming game. I should have Grizzlies plus 14 and a half, too, but that's not looking good either. And that's it. Hmm. I need Alabama first half, boys. That's right. it. So we're cheering for, yeah, we're rooting for Bama money line. I like that money one in the line. first half. I, I like that one in the first half. I, I like, I mean, putting your nuts on the table, that is full definition of what you're doing. Spread, I, I think Bama would have been the spread on that one in the first half. Mm -hmm. If if UConn does what they normally do, that hopefully knock on wood that, you know, Bama's different on the offensive side than any other team that UConn's played, so. We'll see. Well, if Ben is not competitive in the first half, they're going to get busted up in the second half. So here yeah. they are right now, right? I mean, yeah, the points are cute. 
the plus five or plus six that I meant to tag heavy. Yeah, that's cute. But now here I am sitting on the money line. Uh, we need to be aggressive. If we're I like play. I like the fact that like Bam is playing UConn's pace and staying with UConn no matter what. They're not like trying to like yeah, I mean, that, like Alabama you know, hasn't done their pace yet. Right, Bama's defense is suspect to begin with, but yeah, you look at UConn, their defense is good, but you have to pivot back to the offense when Alabama is now going out there splashing. You, you you have to transition. You can't just be sitting there holding clock possession. You have to you have to be rolling the you know run and gun, and uh, hopefully Alabama can outrun and gun these fuckers. Let's see what happens. I, I'm fine with UConn not making it. You know what? It doesn't make sense. It's, it, it was like 25 years ago that the championship team went back the following year and got it done. So it's tough. It doesn't happen. Yeah, a lot. it doesn't happen. So I was. Bama. I think I was. Uh... <laughs> so that I... means Bama guns. Bama plus seven yeah. and a half, plus three hundred. That's right. Why can't they win this first half for me? Why can't? Why? Uh, why not us? Why not us? All right, here we go, Bama. There you go. Oh, foul! Foul! There we go. Ah! <laughs> Give him a foul. Oh, foul! Let's go, baby. Yeah. This will either be the best or worst call. If I could get you, just how do you like? Ooh, I don't want to say it yet. I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Don't do it. Whatever don't you're going to do, do it. can't do it. it. Won't do it. Uh, Gunner. Hey, Perky Bumps. What's going on, dude? Dude, I am lovely. I wish I had a better uh, tournament season, but you know, uh, finish strong. That's all you can do, and then move on to the next season. Regular season, we did really good, but you know, not yeah. Neutral floors are maybe my kryptonite. Last year, I did well, but whatever. Um, doesn't matter. Time goes on, and there you go. Hit a free throw. Tight. Uh, up one, up one, Bama. Let's go. Come on, Bama. Hit the horn, Bama. Come on. Let's go. Nobody. Don't give a piss about nothing but the tide. How's the show going anyways, Mike? Good? I don't know what to say. <laughs> Let's go. What the fuck? I'm sweating here. <laughs> oh, man. We opened up with a, we opened up with a plus 1,000. We've been running it and gunning ever since. Yeah. Plus six hundreds, plus six fifty. Yeah, we're doing fine. I, it's my accidental drunken mishap here that led me to Alabama on the money. Did line. you mean UConn? Or like, was it? Uh, you were trying to no, go? No, I, I meant to take him. I meant to take him. Yeah, with the spread. Yeah, yeah. Oh God. And I, you know, I, like if I, I don't know what happened. And then the worst part is, not only did I take the heavy bet on the money line, <laughs> I came back. And the sprinkle I wanted to put on the money line, I put on the plus five. So, uh, okay, Jesus, oh, no. yeah, <sighs> it's inexcusable. Now I'm sitting here sweating this monster. Uh, yeah. 27, 25, 8, 19 to go. Plenty of time. Yeah, you plenty can... of time for these guys with eight minutes to go in the first half. Yeah, it's tough to judge at this point, but UConn is, I'm sorry, uh, Alabama is staying with them, keeping no, them close. Alabama on the spread makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. The heavy bet on the money line makes Thank no you. sense. It's Gambit and Gold under this roof, but that Gator hat is nice, guns. Hell yeah, dude. Hit the horn. I do like this hat. I just don't have a lot of opportunities to wear it because it's rare that I bet on Florida in any sport. So um, it is a nice hat, though. I'll say that. I think it's one of those. Yeah, the Mitchell and Ness hats. Those things are good. Mitchell and Ness make some good ass hats. Uh, 
All right, let's go. Let's go, Todd. There, guy, back up. Uh, hey, great start so far, hey. Mikey. Hey. The threes. Guess what they there. need? Five of eight already for the three. If they could uh, just shoot sixty percent the go. whole game. Let's go. Let's go. I'm with you. I'm on Bama. Let's go. Let's go. Let's even go, with this, boy. even I was saying, uh, C Mac, they're playing like UConn's pace right now, and Bama's staying right with them. That's yeah. Yeah, he goes, look, that's basically like saying we can play your pace, no problem. And then they're playing they're playing great defense right now. Let's go. Here we go. Hit that three. Bang! Let's, go, my dude. Let's go. They gotta have a like, bang. Yeah. Hey, this is what they gotta do. If this uh they're they just swallowing played a tight right now. game. Yep, they're swallowing clinging right now. I love it. Reminds me, I kept thinking about it. There was no team that did this that I had seen. You know, Flores back to back was great, but yeah. UNLV right here, the first run, but the second one, the best team, the better team that year, undefeated, goes to the final four. You have a week off. You know, the upstart Duke was able to keep that game, even though Greg Anthony fouled out. There were a lot yeah. of fouls in that game that were bad, but I just meant I was thinking of that a little bit with. Bam, if they keep close, if they have to shoot it well today, you know. UConn we'll had scares even in this tournament. They had first half scares. It's like you have to figure it out. It like you have to have the coach that gets in that locker room and be like, listen, we may be up right now, but it, we're not guaranteed shit. Let's go. Get out of that locker room. They're going to come at you hard. It's like don't get down like Il Illinois did. It's like that's the example. It's like you have to come out there and, and fire away. Bama's offense, especially on like – three-point land they can they they have a lot of attempts the reason why they have a lot of attempts is because they get a lot of rebounds they do yeah. they're not bad at the rebounding element but yeah if strata's hitting two threes already it's huge that's huge that's nine. the only way you're gonna sit, like get a opportunity to beat this team hit your threes win yeah think about if they were one for nine or two for nine they're probably you know they're already down oh, 10. they'd be you'd be thinking oh. they're finished at this point That's the only tough part of the, you know, the handicap. Got to make shots, man. <laughs> well, the, the big head move is not only the spread, but they have to win this first half for me. That was that was bad clicking, C Mac. I Thanks. accidentally clicked it the wrong way. Let's get it for you. No you can tell it's you can tell it's the wrong click when you see the the bet placed on the money line and then you see the what should have been the sprinkle and the sprinkle was on the Alabama plus six in the first half. I had a I had a bet yesterday. It was a first five under bet on no, it's a first five over bet on I think the Houston game or something like that, and it hit over and I was like nice. And I looked at my phone and I had Houston team total over four and a half. I had the wrong one. Mm. I go, how did I hit? <laughs> yeah. Pay attention to what section you're on when you're uh, making those plays. Yeah. But I saw the four and a half. I knew it was four and a half, and I was switching to find the best uh, money line number, and I screwed up. All right, boys. I'm fucking getting out of here. The fucking. Get out of here. Wife came home. I gotta do something. I don't know. He's ready to beat your ass in that bedroom. Throw your ass around, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually gonna go visit my girlfriend too. So I'll take this opportunity to get the hell out of here, also. Oh, a couple of guys going with their women. Uh, right. uh, no. Uh, Turkey, dude, I fucking hope you cash like a motherfucker tonight, my friend. Straight up. Okay, I'll give you guys a bet before I leave. The Oilers to win and Zach Hyman for a goal. Put that into a same game parlay. I'm going to take the Oilers Zach and the Oilers about to minus get 110 too. About you got four goals versus the Calgary Flames. I think he gets another one. 
All right, boys. You have Fuck put the man. damper on the sale. We might as well shut it down. We've been rocking for a long time. Six and a half hours. Let's uh six and a half let's... hours. Jesus Christ. I just showed up. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Guns, I know. Let's put the bow on the show. You're not even gonna finish the first half here. Like I think we finished the first half at least, right? Yeah, right. I mean, you got right. a big bet going right. on. Uh, oh, Billy oh, wants to jump in. Billy wants to jump in. You guys roll. Yeah, send him the link. Billy Bruce. I will. Billy bets hoops. All right, I'll see you guys. A piece of right. half. Godspeed. Live long and prosper. Are you doing it like that? No. Oh yeah, Perk. I'll try to jump on there. Uh with my guy Sharpie. I know Mikey's doing it. Uh I love Sharpie. I'm going to He's great. Brought him along, brought him along. So I love doing a show with him. I wonder if he's watching WrestleMania right now. Is it is WrestleMania? Oh yeah. Now? He's watching it. Yeah. yeah. Big wrestling guy, my guy Sharpie. Wrestling is like you watch the major ones, but you have to do it in fast forward and just like cut through the bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, who wins these? Okay. Yeah, so I can talk to anybody that talks wrestling. There he is. Oops. Give him the horn. You know it him is. from his basement live and parts on you know from his shit. Like the ultimate warrior. They call him getting bills on X. And that means on ecstasy. Like he's from 1998. Give it up. Nervous, man. This ball game's got me nervous. What do you got? Yeah. I got the over and I got Bama money line. Overs. So like the real Good. bet is Bama the score. Bama money line is like the make back some money I lost. <laughs> oh, Overs. we got a chance. Well, actually, this is rain and three. So much going on right now. So much going on right now. I wish there was more uh, action to bet on, but we're getting towards the part of the evening where I think I'm going to have to be a baseball capper and bet the fucking <laughs> Red Sox and the Angels. Y'all bet the Sox? <laughs> Got the money under first five, Veeman. Under four first half. five? I was going to say, because yeah, Jared, Jared Whitlock has looked good. Yeah. yeah. Like they, they, have, they, they played it perfectly with the uh, back half being more road pitchers the last uh well they won last night but they gave up the grand slam that was like a bad pitch but their back end of their pitching staff is great on the road at least in first five elements like especially Low like close court Reed Detmers yeah. might not be the number one on the team <clears throat> pitching wise but he's the number one person that would bet on on the team pitching wise this year especially at home the best pitcher that they have at home, the problem with the Red Sox is none of those pitchers pitch great at home. <laughs> it's like, why would you be? Even... It's like because it's a small ballpark. It's like, yeah, they, they excel in like wider, larger ballparks, and that ain't Fenway. They you all mess with the NBA today? Uh, no, no NBA plays for me today, but I will be uh fucking with it tomorrow. Tomorrow is definitely NBA day. I'm gonna tail. Uh, I I'm don't bet on the Max under in the first five. That makes sense because they got they got uh, robbed of the first five under yesterday off that bases loaded walk. Yeah, and the Red Sox came back late. What was it, eight six? Well, they had the they had the big lead, and then the sixth inning they hit the grand slam, and it was like six to five at that point. And they won eight to six. I think, wait, they might have got another run. Maybe it tied it up. I can't remember. But in the sixth inning, in the bottom of the sixth inning, uh, Angels hit a, a grand slam, killed the uh, t uh, game total under. <laughs> in the ninth inning, yeah. grand slam. It, no, six. It was in the sixth in the grand slam. You know, it went under again, White Sox Royals. I saw you had that guns yesterday. I was yeah. on that as well. It was easy. 
Well, I think there's a theory, at least early season, when these teams have to play on Thursday and then go, like, which is a travel day for most teams, and then they have to go play Friday early. Like, I did that with, I think I put the Mets in there, too, because the Mets played, like, extra innings. They played a doubleheader. It's like, I didn't think they were going to score any runs next game. Yeah. This is the fun part of the year where uh, you get to bet on what you think. (laughs) Yeah. Well, I was like, oh. Mets are playing a doubleheader on Thursday. Then they have to go play again the next day. No. Nah, like, I don't care who the pitchers are. No, nah, dead ass. Under. Under. But the, uh, I had uh, under two ways on, on Boston, which that's why I remember every single fucking hit. <laughs> El Dorado, custodian. What's up, my dude? Cornelio. Oh, we, we're in a five minute sweat. And- Another three from Bama, Mike. seven to ten. Holy shit. This is hey, wild. they're doing what they had to do. Holy fuck. This is the only way that they win. They're not yeah, even I- playing fast, though. They're, they're just like shooting threes. Uh, we have they're, to they're three. making them. And, and they can. <laughs> can them. And you can't just answer, though. God damn it. I hate about UConn. He goes, oh, you want to play this shit? I got you. And then they wait until three seconds left on the shot clock. LA Kings tonight. Uh, Dylan just said that too, right? I like it. Rather have that than the Nucks. They're not playing good hockey. Let me pull this up. I need one last goal here in uh, Devil's Sense. Come on. Blue Jackets. Easy. And the over. I'm going to throw the Kings on there for Kings. a p- uh, slice of pizza. Let's go. Get a day off and just play the Sharks. Play the Shacks. We call them Shacks. Shacks. Who's in pipe between the pipes? (laughs) Sweat factory. Let's go. I'm good, Jason. My man. 35, 31. Three and a half minutes to go. Calum Talmud. Is it going to be DeSmith here? Oh, is it confirmed? Okay. Uh, What channel DeSmith can I get this one down? What up, Mikey Money? How you feeling tonight? How's it rolling this evening? What up, Billy Brands, my guy? It's great to see you, man. Uh, we're doing well. Had some great spots there in the UFC. Accidentally drunk clicked Alabama, not plus six in the first half with the money line. So uh, I'm dealing with that right now. I'm kind of right there with you. There we go. Goal Senators. All right. I'm on roll tie money line, but I actually need the over too. The 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 roll tie money lines like for the you know for the DoorDash delivery and not the weed yeah. I bought, the edibles, like <laughs> that's like the, that's that money, but like bankroll money is the over here, if that makes yeah. sense. Well, I want to take it here. We got three minutes and 12 seconds. I had an opportunity to get out of it afterwards, but I did not. What? The Bama money line? No, yeah, the no Bama hedge. first half money line. No, oh, never mistake. hedge on a mistake. You own your never. mistake. You're like, you know yeah. what? I own it. Yeah, especially in there. Fucking... Yeah. It, it's not I mean, they're right there. Sorry. They're right it's in not there. a bad yeah. bet. It's not a bad bet. 
Uh, I did that twice in the USC tonight, and they worked out both times, uh, which is surprising that this is my third time doing it because that's something I I go months without doing. So is that, here we are. like drunk Mike is the sharpest brain in the yeah. history of sports betting. My bet's telling me take this, take it, take it, take it. You haven't taken it yet. Take it. Yeah, he's like it. It just like it just like, that. That team just looks brighter on my screen right now. I should take that one. Oh. Well, I really don't know what you mean. All the NBA is tipped off unless you're looking live. How come they don't have, like, with college basketball, why don't they have, like, new commercials for, like, products like they do with the Super Bowl? I feel like there's a, a good audience watching the Final Four for men. Like, why wouldn't you add for new commercials? Me. I think this is the lowest college basketball Final Four. It's, it for feels me. boring. That's why, because the it's not the, the, the matchup they want to see is next week, right? I would think. Hey, on, you mean oh, on Monday? Gets through. Yeah, Don't they do. Nate Oates and the boys. The, the, Alabama has the most entertaining basketball style to watch. Like, T Mac, we watched that game. I think it was like the last Saturday before the regular season ended. The Arkansas game. game? Fucking roller coaster, bro. The Arkansas game, that was the most roller coaster meme basketball game I've ever seen. Where'd, where'd Musselman go? He left Arkansas, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. Musselbus Mus Mus went. Um, I think he might have stayed. No, no he, he just left. Where'd he, he go? Left. Who went to he SMU? Went? SMU. That was Enfield, or that was, was it? Was it SMU? No, Enfield. Enfield. Yes, you're right. That, I got it mixed up. He went to USC, maybe. Muscleman, USC. Then, yeah. Enfield yeah. goes SMU. He goes SC. That's what it was. Yeah. Shit, that's a good move for Muscleman. It's kind of a good. Bro, move. all these surprise. Enfield leaves SC to go. SMU. Oh, cool. You, you get the like, what, is there skeletons we don't know about? <laughs> There's yeah. some stuff that's gonna be. All right, whatever. Why would you go to SMU? <laughs> I gotta get the fuck out of here. It was like, why? What happened? <laughs> what, what, what are you doing? <laughs> Things were good, dude. Got offensive board. Go grab another contract before uh, some scandal comes out. Da, 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 da. 35 32 let's go 252 to go all right you just got fouled yeah this is sweat sweat factory time here we go 35 33 why not that let this be an accidental big fuck up for me it won't be come on now Buck up. No. You go, Make your free throws. Hey. That's all you can do. Yeah. Took the Colorado the Rockies, too. Beating up them Tampa Bay Rays 4-1 right now. Oh, yeah, I win. wish I came Rockies at home. Rockies first five. Rockies. Wouldn't have bet the Rockies so bad. Gover did me good yesterday. My big – my big uh, – MLB bet today was uh, Oakland. Yeah, Black I like Oakland. I took them. Yeah, I didn't. Ah, the one I didn't bet was D-backs. Where I just yeah, I I took it myself, man. I think I, I I pussied out and went run line. I think they were plus one eighty with Fadat or whatever. That guy's been hot in, since October. Fat. Yeah, fat. Whatever his name is. Did they win? Four zero. They did win. Yeah. Yeah. I could pay that Brandon Fadat. Fadat. I don't even know how to say his fucking last name. Fad. Fad. Is that what it is? Yeah. Right. Don't say that. Don't no say tea. that. Yeah, I remember fat. he was he was a fade like in the first like the first like he's a fade. Of he's got good stuff though, but it's gonna end the long ball. But then he got into playoff ball in October, and yeah, and he all of a sudden well. he he figured he figured this shit out, and I was like, okay, let let's say he's gonna carry this over to the next season. He did, so yeah. Um, this ain't good. Uh, 
UConn is smoking Alabama to close this first half off. This is not what I wanted to see. Accidental misclick pays me, you know, the... Hold on, there's still some time here. Yeah. Oh, uh, boy. Hopefully you get this, Mike. But to think right now, at least, they're 7 to 10 for three, even if they miss a go four or five from the free throw line. I kind of like 6%, and they're going to be down, though, maybe by five or set. Like, what the fuck? I kind of like them plus 10 and a half in the second half. Mm, I don't know. I'd wait on that. I worry the shots don't go. It could get ugly. You know what? It, it's funny, Seth. As as well as they have played in this first half, they're still down, what, four Seven. points? Yeah, that's what I'm like. Mm. And they've been damn good. They, yeah, this is damn near as perfect as you can play. That's perfect for your over. Uh yeah, big three by Sears there, finally. I thought the totals were connected with the pack pass to victory. If Bama covers, it probably goes over if UConn wins. This yes. Season. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Same. Yeah, that was a huge three right there, Mikey. Let's go. And, Mikey, you got money line? The first half, yeah, not the full game. No, I fucked up. It's hard to even hard to imagine how I fucked that up, but I did. Oh, I've I've done that before. I did that with a. Uh, it usually happens in the mid major games where like the market tickets aren't as clear as like the big games, and I'm just like, wait, I thought I just bet the fucking full game spread. How am I on the first half spread? And no, so I sprinkled I sprinkled the plus five for the first half, but I hammered the uh, <laughs> the money line. I meant to reverse it. I meant to go opposite Juju. Whatever. Here we are. Maybe I catch a break here. It's three. Seconds. That three was huge here. I think you could say, but hey, look, it was three points. Dude hit a three. I had a five and a half in my pocket. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the five and a half should have been my hammer bet. I, I dickhead. Dickhead play. Hard to even imagine how you could do that. Doesn't even make sense when you look at the way I bet it. <laughs> if you hammer the money line, why would you sprinkle the plus six? <laughs> uh, that sucks. I still think Bam is alive to roll here, boys. I'm going to tell you this. Hear me now. No fucking chance these books are saying, oh, yeah, you know, we're going to just get rolled over again by UConn. No chance. You mean second half? You're just going to take the live line. I got plus nine and a half uh, for the game. I got plus 450 I'm taking right now for the money line. It feels like they're scared, though, Gunn. The money line right now is exactly what I got it pre-flop, but the spread yep. is eight and a half. That makes no sense. Mm. If the line was 11 and a half and the money line was plus 450, how is the spread eight and a half and the money line plus still 450? Like what? Like what are they trying to do? Yeah, what are they? What is I that noticed, telling me? I noticed that they are. Uh, they had a lot of liability, at least the, the books did, on the money line with Bama. I thought it was North Carolina State. Everyone and their fucking mom was betting. NC State, I don't know if, I don't know how they were taking that. It seemed like they were taking a lot of spreads. but um, I saw uh, a tweet from Ben Falkies, and it was... Ben Fox. Yeah, Ben Fox. Ben Fox, you're right in the pussy. Um, it was like 78 Ben Fox is not Fox, that guy. Maybe he does. I don't know. Got her, baby. His don't picture, he doesn't look like you. Come on, you hang around the casino. They say, hey, you're Ben Fox. I've seen you on Twitter before. Can I get your number, guy? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it funny though? Like all the guys that would see him in person would be like, "Oh, what's up? Can I get a pick?" And then the fucking girl has no clue who this fucking guy is. <laughs> right here, big possession. Let's go. 
I don't think it's going to happen. 44-40. No, I think you're good. The yeah. three is the only thing, right? No. Uh, this is a cash uh, plus five, plus six, first half. Yeah. Let's go. I'll tell you what, though, boys. I am not dissuaded by Alabama's effort here in this first half here. Give me them plus nine and a half. I'm going to sprinkle their plus 500 on the money line as well. Fuck you, Con. I, I just don't think a team's going to win back-to-back times. That means that we have to see Bama win this game. And they're right in it right now, 44-40. Bama has every fucking characteristic of a dog that could win one of these games. Like, they just – they. They don't play defense, but, hey, I mean, it was really locking up UConn. When they're losing games, they're losing games because they're shooting bad. And, uh, you know, Hurley, Hurley, this is the most Fritz I've ever seen Hurley so far in this uh, NCAA tournament so far. No, um, that's not true. That uh, Illinois, he he got a, he got a up in their ass. Uh, they played shitty in the first half. Uh, Illinois kept it close, and then they well, buried them in the second half. At least Bama finished the first half with points. How about that? Let's I'm scared, point. though. Mike. I'm not saying Illinois and Bama are yin and yang. I think Bama's had a better uh, competitive tournament than Illinois going up to that point versus UConn. So I'm knows? scared, though, bro. They're shooting 50% from the field and 72% from the three-point line. They're still Who losing. <laughs> Bama. Yeah, so they're still losing. That's UConn. Like, they're going to have to shoot it again. Yeah. <laughs> UConn can shoot 20, 23% from three and, and still beat you by 20. That's crazy, That's though. If you just look at it's the box. Too, it, it's, inside, it's inside the arc. It's like they, their game is like, all right, we're going to give you nothing inside the arc. You make uh, as many threes as you want. If you can beat us with threes. You'd be you shocked, Guns. They actually shot more threes than Bama did in that first half. Which is that it's them almost playing to Bama's, Bama's tempo Bama. a little bit. But I, I think. I think it was slow, methodical, 18, 20 seconds per possession type of half, even though they put up, they must have been making threes, uh, 84 points in the first half. Feels like they're going to cool off. I don't, I don't, I mean, if you're, if you're going outside your, even your tournament averages at that point, shooting threes and uh, twos. I don't know. Can you repeat that in the second half? Well, I'll tell you what, boys. I was going to shut it down early. Here we are at halftime. I have lost my halftime bet. Oh, no. I'm lit. We've been rolling for seven hours deep here. I'm going to shut it down. Let's it down. enjoy everybody's company here. Let's start with guns. Give you guys the opportunity to talk about what's happening in your universe. Let's hear it. And speaking of uh, enjoying uh, people's company, you can enjoy my company on OnlyFans. No, I'm just kidding. Um, all right. Uh, yeah, just at Gunspix channel on YouTube, at Gunspix uh, X and Instagram and TikTok. If you want to get all the clips, you can follow me on all those social media platforms. Uh, join me. Yes, I'm going to be doing uh, content all the way through the year, the summer. We're actually going to be doing a draft show. I'm going to do a draft show with a shark. Uh, that's going to be coming up on Wednesday, I think. So, uh, yeah, we're going to be talking football uh, draft, and then we're going to go right into baseball content until uh, college football starts. So let's go. Let's cash. Let's dominate. Let's keep dancing. My guy, Guns. I appreciate you hanging out with us tonight, my guy. Billy Briz off a fresh stream himself. He came back here to say, knock, knock, let me in, motherfuckers. Let's go, Billy Bridge. Ah, ah, don't hit the lead too hard. Don't fall asleep. But, uh, but, but, everybody in the chat, man. See you guys uh, Monday, national championship game. Hopefully it's Bama. <laughs> Bama. I hope it's Bama too. Let's go, Billy Briz. Uh, I see my guy C-Mac has tucked up out of here, but uh, we'll give him a second or two to get back in if he wants to shut it down. But I appreciate all you guys, man. C-Mac, guns. Billy, the crew came out here today. Everyone was hanging out, having a good time. Picks from Dave. We had Jeff, MMA Jeff. We had Dylon, 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 and Dylon. All five of them showed up tonight. 
that's going to do it, boys. I got to go. I got to get ready for say hey. Oh, of course. We had Jose Bouquet show up tonight. I got to roll out there tomorrow. I got to be ready for Jose Bouquet, Pub Sports Radio. Until then, boys and girls, appreciate everybody hanging with us tonight. Let's get that cash. Let's get some cash. We be put. <laughs>